All right, can you guys believe it? It's coming up here. Let me see if I can get everything going. There we go. Okay, we're no longer starting soon. Let's get this all set up here. Um, so yeah, decided on this just kind of at the last second. Let me actually get on screen here. There we go. <laughs> we're all ready. Um, so yeah, I, I at first was just like, no, I'm just going to make a video. I'm not going to actually like live stream it. I think we're going to do both in the end. So that's, that's ultimately what I decided last second. Hope that you're ready with me. Look at this. We're so used to looking at these trailers where all they had was the story, the Dandori, or Dandori. I think that would be the correct way to pronounce it. And the Nintendo eShop now is there. You can purchase the full version of this game. You're going to have to pre-order it, of course, right now. Co-op mode? Can we actually... Okay, so we could actually do that in the demo, you guys. Could I co-op with myself? I think I probably could, actually. So I was more of a fan fan of playing with the the, 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 the Joy-Con and whatnot. So I don't know. Should I actually... I guess I'll try it with the Pro Controller? And we'll see, man. Uh, I'm a little bit worried, though. So you guys, you'll have to bear with me. If you complete this demo, you can receive special rewards in the smart device app Pikmin Bloom. So this is good because I actually play Pikmin Bloom. So you guys, you're going to have to hold up while I scan that. I'll just take a picture of it, of course. Get in the camera. There we go. All right, you guys. Fantasmic. Because I, I, I do. I like Pikmin Bloom. <laughs> I feel like all two of us in my town. Anyway, the demo version is complete once you collect... 1,500 units of sparklium and finish exploring for the day. So it's going to be either or. So, like, I would presume that you can't just, like, let it go on forever. <laughs> but, hey, we'll see. So you can import your saved data uh, from the demo into the full version of the game. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. Let's jump into it. I got to make sure that I have all my stuff right. Okay, hey, Shambler's here. I'm just making sure my chat was up because I did not. Um, so let's see. D -d 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 limited wow youtube's already limiting this hey i haven't sworn or anything at all okay youtube like why are we gonna limit that that is wag um so can y'all hear the game audio okay i know it's pretty low so <clears throat> generally i do like my voice more out front and stuff but y'all gotta let me know is, is that just way too low <laughs> right now there's not a whole lot going on so um you guys let me i don't know what ads Add available. Yeah. I'm gonna have them request it while I'm live, okay? If you think the video, including the thumbnails, then we'll review it again. Yes, review my live stream, YouTube. So they're gonna watch it, and you guys are gonna watch it. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. How many players are there? It's just me, but I do think uh, this would be an interesting challenge, right? To like put the Joy-Con in this hand while I'm playing and like try to pebble pitch while we're actually playing. I wonder if that'd be a funny challenge. Have it in my mouth. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, you guys, it's here. I cannot believe it. Shambler, are you ready for this? So, like I say, I know a lot of people are kind of filing in later as we've started this. Uh, I, I was originally just going to do a video and that was it. But, hey, I'm going to make sure I hear this. I was about to say, are we going to hear him speak like... Normal. Here, watch this. Shambler says, I'm excited. I'll go away for this. Yes, seems like Olimar's voice would be super deep. How I was ultimately rescued. Shambler's gonna try it, you guys. Gonna download and try it. That sounds good to me, man. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. I thought I was doomed. Beautimus. <laughs> Until I encountered a strange species, which I named Pikmin. So yes, Olimar is responsible for naming these cute little Pikmin. Isn't that amazing? 
Oh boy, la habara staro, tu ba. We ba, bula ba. Time passed and I met yet another mysterious creature. Oh yeah. Well, hey, you're not looking so good either, man. <laughs> nice. I mean, who wouldn't? Notice it has a leaf on the end of the tail. What's going on, Evan? We'll be on camera here soon. I just wanted to let this go on, you guys. Please let me know what the audio is like, if you'd rather have more game audio up. If you can't hear me for crap. said, I'm the creator of Pikmin Hybrids. That sounds wonderful. I want to see Pikmin Hybrids. Oh, it's not ready yet. I can't come off screen yet. <laughs> this is where they filmed I Love Lucy. Ricky, there's Pikmin here. Amazing. Would you look at that? So I think everybody's saying Olaman. Remember people were calling the little the, the, the red leafy Pikmin guy? They were calling him Olaman. I'm telling you, I kept it actually. Here, let's see what message log. Yeah, so message log. Kind of like I said in my videos, you can see all of the, the text that has gone on just in one place. <laughs> so I wonder if like later on is the message log just massive? You know what I mean? But yes. I actually said it in my videos, you guys. I don't know who would be the first to ever say this, but I never heard anyone else saying, those two guys could actually be good guys. I was saying the dude in the red leaves and stuff all over his body that looked like Elmo. Uh, and then the incredible Och, which is the incredible Hulk, but Ochi. So yeah, it could be them two. You guys, that's nuts. Boom. Wait, where are you running off to? What's going on, Risky Gumilar? Hope I'm saying that right. Gumilar. What is up, you guys? Thank you for coming on in. We just started. Already mind blown. Said, what's your opinion on MS versus Sony War? I don't even get involved in it anymore. <laughs> you know, like, I can remember it from the older days. And in, like, 2000, what was that, 13, when they released uh, the, the the PS what would that have been would that have been PS4 and Xbox one I think for that year anyway that can't be a good sign the Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts <laughs> damn I'm telling you guys the incredible Och he is he's it's the Hulk of Ochis oh my god we're playing as Olimar you guys look at this so look ahead, ZL, that just resets the camera. Boom. Dallas, the homeboy, what's going on, brother? Um, but yeah, they want us to look around and move, find the ship parts. Uh, can you believe it? We're going to start out as Olimar. Saw some of the Pikmin head this way. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. I just need to press X and hold it down. Then take aim. When she's at... It's a she, ladies and gentlemen. This dog is a wham... Oh, it's a whammon. You guys, amazing. So check this out. You can rush. Boom! Can you believe it? Dallas said, uh, I'm streaking today. I was playing Pokemon Go. I got shiny Nialigo. I can't believe it. That's amazing. That is incredible, dude. Good job. I knew it. Now I'll use B to call them back to me. That is generally how it works, Olimar, yes. So right now the cursor was just <laughs> moving every time I, I moved the left joystick. Yeah, Dallas, exactly. Your Olimar voice sounds like Kronk. <laughs> oh my god. Is that uh, the dude on Emperor's New Groove? Is that Kronk, Pikmin fan? Shambler said, this game is like Splatoon. I've never played Pikmin, so it's all new to me. 
please ask me anything. I am not going to gatekeep anybody's Pikmin stuff. Anyway, Risky earlier was saying uh, FTC is on the PS side. By the way, they want to block Microsoft Activision. Yeah, I don't get caught up in that, man. I'm a Nintendo person. If I play anything that's like not Nintendo, it's either on a Nintendo console like the Switch or it's on PC and like Steam. So uh, what's funny is that Kronk isn't that um, Patrick Warburton, and he voices Joe from Family Guy. You know, hey, Peter. Uh, maybe we should voice him like Joe. Hmm. I better make a note of this in my voyage log. I don't know. It, 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 that would get annoying. <laughs> record in log or record later. Why would we record later? You know what I mean? Why not record it now? You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it. Oh, Lima. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started, should we do him all gangster? Like, oh yeah, this is Olimar. They flew out of the onion. I'm just kidding. And immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. It's changing from like Kronk to gangster to Darth Vader. <laughs> this Olimar voice. I need to find my missing ship parts. But it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Amazing, you guys. We're back. We are back in it. So this is the thing about... I don't know if you can use the Joy-Con. I would presume you can, just because why would they limit your controls or whatever? Um, one good rush could break those. So let's do it then. I knew I'd find you here. He knew that we had our yellow Pikmin hiding out. Olimar is peak captain, you know what I mean? Peak, peak explorer, you wanna? I guess he is Captain Olimar, right? Wow, don't look before you leap as I look. So yeah, I think we're supposed to hit the fans to go back up, of course. But it looks like they want us to head back down. And this is crazy, you guys, because... The, 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 oh yeah, Dallas said, oh god, I just noticed Kronk does sound like Joe Swanson. It's because the dude, it's the same voice actor, it's Patrick Warburton. Anyway, I'm wasting time. I'm sorry. Terrible demo playthrough, right? That's why I'm going to do a video of this that, like, explores everything. This will be more of just that live reaction playthrough and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we're, I guess, just gathering up all of his Pikmin. And this is the thing is that, so far at least, I don't know that I can move the, like, cursor forward. And that's one thing about using a Joy-Con or a Wii Remote back in the old days. You could just kind of move that cursor more. Like, I could have called them from really far away. Right now, the cursor's at a fixed position in front of me. So, look ahead. Nope, that's not how to do it. Just trying to see if there was a button, maybe, that would help me. Uh, ground view. I should tap X to jump up. Why does it say ground view? I guess it's just saying to do this, and then you get the ground view. But yeah, you can also uh, do this to get the overhead view. Mm. Yep, we obviously can't jump that high. For some reason, I still try to hit. <laughs> All right. Okay, do I want to know what's up here? Sure. Why not? Boom. Someone just keeps a spatula piece right there. I don't know, that's not really a spatula. It's got like a whole thing on it. Me money! Spatula. Oh boy, you guys. Oh boy. A creature. I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? Let's just throw Pikmin at it all willy-nilly, right? <laughs> Those spiky things are gonna make this tough. I have to find an opening. Dang, so when you rush, you can actually launch the Pikmin via the rush onto it. Did you guys see that? That's nuts. So that is the pro tactics right here. Super Ace at Whiz Bangs now on Light Island. Very nice, man. Uh, maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. So there you go. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. So that thing is like me from a young age. This is me back when I had the spiky. Oh, I should have been charging the rush. What a dupe. See, this is what you gotta do. You gotta have the rush ready. Oh, dude, I put him on the spikes. Noob moves already. Yes, this is gonna work as I hit the spikes. Yeah. Wonderful. But don't stop there. Should rush it again after they're already on. 
I need to call the Pikmin and be now. Hey, I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it, Olimar. Can't we just do a regular bite? Dallas said, I'll dip out. I want to go in blind. All right, I appreci appreciate it. Thanks. Let's go do that. It's the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. That's the thing. Olimar crash lands. Everyone crash lands. So Shambler or anybody that's new to Pikmin, that's a theme, okay? Then, when Olimar crash landed, the people rescuing Olimar crash landed. That's us, the rescue corps. Not us right now. I'm saying gonna be us. But yeah, I so knew it, you guys. I called it. Here, let's get off camera for this. So we're gonna presume that this is Olimin. You know, our red leafy colored Olimar. I immediately sent out an SOS signal and attached the latest version of my voyage log. Days and weeks passed. Yes, yes. Here we are. They took off towards this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. So yeah, Shambler, he puts out the call. They're gonna come over, and then look what happens. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. Woo! Oops. We're gonna even let our dog fall out there. Cruelty to animals! Double shipwrecks are rare. Not in this universe. You might think that all hope was lost. There was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ. A rookie. You! Hey, who you calling a rookie? No. You are my last hope. Phone Pup said, how do you like the demo? Oh, looks like the intro. What's going on, Phone Pup? Yeah, it is. We'll be on camera here soon. I just wanted to let that uh, cinematic there play through. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corps is now your top priority. Yes, you guys, if you're just now joining us, we got to play as Olimar. And Olimar... It's almost 90% sure at this moment, if not more, that he is going to be the one with the girl dog version of Ochi that's like big and green. I was calling it the Incredible Och, because it's like the Incredible Hulk. I'm a pasty pale dude, so let's do that. I'm also kind of lanky ass, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll make this kind of like me, but surely it's not going to totally... <laughs> we should do these crazy eyes. Uh... I kind of like those. <laughs> Fun fact, I always envision myself having bigger eyes than I do. I've got tiny little eyes. Okay, we'll do that. We don't want too many options, right? We don't want to sit here customizing. Man, they do need more hair, though. But, hey, we'll, we'll just do that. They ain't got no brown hair, dude. What does somebody who's a brunette do? <laughs> All right. Um, Super Ray said peekaboo. So yeah, this was what I was talking about in my most recent video, drilling down into some of the details, was that you can change the color. The thing is, I'm going to be red or blue. Um, here, how about the chat, you guys? Red or blue clothing. So the color that we pick is going to stick with us and presumably into the full game. I don't know. I mean, it says you can change your name and look later, so I guess we could change it, but... I'm going to let you guys in the chat pick this while we talk about it. It's just that this will determine everything. So the Rescue Corps, they're going to... like they're gonna, Oh, okay. Alestian said pink. So you guys, do you want all the colors up there? Because I'm seeing Foam Pup say blue. So I want this to go fast. I don't see any other recommendations. Okay, someone else said green. That was Pikmin fan. But yes, Super A is right. Blue is my favorite color. Um, we're going to do that. And we'll be... We'll be legit here. Let's go for it. Can even have the period in the name? Yes, yes, sir. So there it is. I, I, I don't have freckles, but you know, I guess that's the closest we're gonna get in the Pikmin world. Is this me? If I do that face. The Rescue Corps' newest officer, they recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. I will determine whether that's dangerous or not, okay? 
Let's see it. Not only my fate, but my fate. But the fate of the Rescue Corps. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. Listen, I've played other Pikmin games. Game? Pikmin 3 and Pikmin Blue? Phone Pup said, Carrot is a new planet? Did it say Carrot? Is that what I was looking at? I, I completely missed my planet. But yes, they've got a lot of the new planets on here, like Planet Gia. Alessian was saying, I think the rookie doesn't crash land. Most of the trailers show it that way. I thought the rookie was basically part of that rescue core like crew that crash landed, but maybe you're right. Maybe actually we flew in differently because we're in the SS Beagle, but anyway, let's talk to Ochi. What's up, son? I love Ochi, you guys. Blue collar and all because we picked the blue. Ladies and gentlemen, Ochi! Beautiful. Chandler said I had to step away, but I would have said blue. All right, ma'am. Well, we got the blue for you. Home planet, Gia, you guys. So, Gia, that's after Kagia, I believe. Kagia. Kagia, as I understand it, no one corrected me on the video, but seems to be a translation. I think it's a common thing to say in Japanese when you're watching something spectacular like fireworks. They say, Kagia, like it's like an exclamation at something big and beautiful like that. So this young, loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Pikmin fan, you're right, Ochi, the certified good boy. There it is, you guys. Ochi, can you believe it? The first one on the list right here. You encountered the rescue course, rescue pup. Ochi, 10 out of 10, he's a good boy, Alestian. I would agree with you guys. Thank you and good night. Best part of the demo so far. <laughs> so Ochi's moving on its own right now, if you guys had any kind of question about that. But yes, potted plant, we gotta pull this out. You would think I would help, but it's, I'm probably just gonna make Ochi do it all. And who but none other than Colin. Shall I spoil this? Uh, everybody knows Colin. Looking at the show dad off. Okay. Ochi, pull this thing. There we go. Whistle Ochi. Send. There it goes. So yeah, this is where I wonder should I be playing with Joy-Con or not, man. It's like, you see the cursor? The cursor just it doesn't feel right on this. But yeah, because we didn't help Ochi out at all, we had to sit there and wait for him. All the dirt has been removed. If anybody is wondering, if you're brand new to Pikmin, the series franchise, you, you don't help. The Pikmin do all the work. And so clearly Ochi will too. Now look at this good boy. He's gonna lick the glass, man. Uh, oh. Is that you, Ochi? We gotta hear Colin's voice in here. I've heard it a few times on the trailers and stuff. Thank the stars! I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. Boom, you guys. Planet Gia again. Uh, yes, we got Colin as the Rescue Corps comms operator. He handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. You always keep someone like that around, right? Found comms operator. Colin. Boom. You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps comms operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? Phone Puff says, So this shows we didn't know them before, I suppose. Uh, yeah, like, we're the rookie, and I think in every sense of the word, like, we barely know the Rescue Corps crew. My path got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, they're always hungry, right? Like, Brittany, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. Wouldn't we all do that? Yeah, there you go. You're our latest recruit, right? So this is filling in the gap, the holes, while we're talking about it here on the stream. <laughs> but Haza said, wow, is it out on the Nintendo shop? Yes, it's on the Nintendo eShop. And yeah, the demo is big. Even on Google Fiber, it took me like 20 minutes. <laughs> I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. 
As I mentioned before, I was the one who... I'm making him sound like those old, like, uh... Yeah, see? The rest of the rescue corps, well... It's like a 1940s media affect. It was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Let's just say, oh no. Oh, yes. I've spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. It's not embarrassing at all, Colin. Look at him with the drip. Alright, so the SS Shepherd, for those who have not been watching my videos, that is the name, of course, of the Rescue Corps ship, and we pilot the SS Beagle, you guys. So, uh... But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Alessian says, surprise, he didn't find a Pikmin yet. I know, right? Where are they? We'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. Now he's becoming like Irish. Before I forget, it's an official rescue corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap up on the left side there to open and review your missions. We will. Doesn't look a thing like the real me, but hey. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. Have some other handy apps to share. What, you got Pokemon Go on here? Pikmin Bloom? For now, just remember you can always tap up to view missions. I will be tapping your mom. Boom. But if you press minus and select uh, shortcut settings, you can assign different function functions to each shortcut button functions. Uh, you met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps' comm operator. We saw that. Let's see the gameplay guide here. It says to push in something. What's funny is they don't tell you the button. I guess you hold minus. Is that what it is? Okay, there it is. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. So we can read all of this stuff. Radar map, I think we all know what that's going to do. Your to-do pin, yes, you can, of course, pin any of the tasks. Newly discovered caves and areas now accessible. Let me see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, if you pin it, like I was saying in my video, you know, it'll give you kind of a uh, waypoint to it or whatever on the radars. Missions, visit this app to see your main mission and side mission progress. It's also a good place to figure out what you need to do next. Main missions, we got that. Side missions, we know that there's some sad pieces that we're going to be doing. Um, <laughs> All the little darlings is the name of one of them. There's a lot of information here, you guys. This would be like a 80-minute video. Instead, it'll be an 80-minute live stream, I guess. Use the status report to check various records like how much progress you've made in an area and how many Pikmin you've gained or lost since starting. I don't want to see how many I lost. But yeah, that is what you use it for. The ID badges. Look at that. Beautiful. By the way, if it was, you know, everybody was talking about the Japanese translation and stuff and how... They didn't really have the pronouns expressed, and it was translating it as he, so it was maybe a question to some people. I think most of us knew, yeah, Shepard's probably a girl, but this will confirm that. You can see it right there, Shepard from Gia, 99th Gen Rescue Corps Officer. I'm going to assume we're going to find her pretty soon, so let's, uh, let's cool it on that right here. Gear and skills, rescue journal, a collection of rescue lessons passed down by former captains. Ah, so are we going to see, like, many different captains? Uh, like, Captain Charlie going to talk about stuff? Irma Shepard? So we know her first name now. They call her Shepard, but Irma Shepard, captain in command. Did you look at that? A place to peruse Captain Olimar's voyage log. Keep progressing through the story to collect more voyage log entries. That's going to be kind of like the data files in Pikmin 3. Um... If you are having no idea what I'm talking about and you're not going to play Pikmin 3 yourself, I am playing through it on this channel. You should definitely check it out, man. So, this is the thing. What I'm wondering is, you know, we're playing with the uh, Pro Controller. If I was playing with Joy-Con, would it be a little bit more the old experience? 
Or would it be kind of like this where the cursor is more fixed and stuff? But look at this. We even get to see the glow mob going. Man, there's a lot to uncover right here. This should just be its own video, I think, man. There's going to be a lot of videos here. <laughs> I'm going to be up all night. Okay. So here we can see actually the ID badges. They are still missing, of course, some of them. But look at that. We get to see that person's face or whatever. But yeah. Uh, this is awesome, man. Beautiful. History and stats. Immediately upon landing, rescue pup Ochi rushed to greet you together. So this is, yeah, it's just going to give us the summary of everything we've done. Okay. I guess I won't read all that, even though I... I'm tempted. Story stats. Yes, my playtime is going to be massive on this, you guys. Yeah. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepherd. Cool, mate. Let's do it. You going to follow me? Yes, he's following me. I can't change to him, though. I'm trying. Well, that was easy. There she is, the SS Shepherd. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. Can you, go? you know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go! Okay. Love the enthusiasm. The plants on this planet are gigantic. We're just tiny. Always make sure the area's safe with looking around like this. You could also do this. And to leave no stone unturned. No, I want to go that way. Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there. Oh, we're finding a way. Find a way. King Frost says, oh man, just new to the channel. Damn good stuff, man. I watch for long. I got to play myself. Uh, got the game to yelling. Dude. That's amazing, and yeah, man, I remember your comments and stuff. I really appreciate it, and I think you just joined us on the Discord, right? And that's for anybody that wants to. You're going to get the link hit in the chat right there. I really appreciate you, brother, King Frost. Oh, you can't watch for long. Gotcha. It's all good, man. Hello? Almost there. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh. This looks just like the other hole we saw. Oh. Well done, Ochi. But, can I explore more? <laughs> yes, I would say they do connect underground, Colin. <laughs> it looks pretty deep. We're just gonna have to dive right in. For real? Let's say that. Rescue Corps officer must act with courage in the face of any danger. Listen, I just started, okay? I'll have my assistant look down on the... and then get back to you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we can control and move around, but I'm assuming they're not hiding anything from us. But hey, I will leave no stone unturned. The spaceship is right there, and yet... I suppose we gotta dive into that hole. <laughs> they're trying nicely to get me to go back. All right, fine. Fine, I will go back. There's nothing to see there, trust me. Hey, don't say that because then I'm going to do it. Come back and check over here instead. Uh, Lestian said, the real question right now, where Bickman? Well, I'm sure they are going down the hole. I bet we'll run into... Uh, you would think it'd be red first normally, but I'm wondering if since we're going downstairs, we're going to see the ass... So Colin was right, there was nothing over there. Shambler's like, this game looks cool, man. And we haven't even gotten, like, really started. <laughs> so here, let's see if y'all want to see that tip. <clears throat> but yes, the Burrow of Beginnings, you guys. I could have sworn that this would have been from the video earlier. It's like the last Frost Cavern. That's where you probably get the ice. What is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Oh man, Shambler, 23% over an hour left to download it, what? And yeah, King Frost is speaking the truth, you guys. So excited for this game, it's been 10 years plus. He said, I haven't played Pikmin 1 and 2 since I was 14, 16. And just got the Switch ports, played the living out of them. It's so wholesome. Yeah, man, I, I, so you're like me, except for you're already playing 1 and 2. 
I played Pikmin 3 and I'm on Pikmin Bloom. I mentioned that a lot in my video, so King Frost probably saw him. Head for the SS Shepherd, you guys. But look at this. We got our foes and none other than Shepherd herself. Irma Shepherd. Oh my, what a place to find the captain. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Dr. Kendo. Hey, I've got the drip. I'm always looking sharp. This is no time for a history lesson. Shepherd's the best, man. All right, Oach, let's do this ish. So, she's surrounded by creatures that basically are doing nothing. So, Oach, she's just gonna pimp slap them. Dude, look at that. What am I, uh, yeah, what'd I tell you? Come to me. All right, Shepherd, we did it. Larva bulborbs? Yes, larvae bulborbs right there. And welcome on in, man. Would that be Carlos? Anyway, phew. Now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? Boy, I would sure hope so. I gotta hear Shepard's voice again. I feel like her voice is so fun. Let's see. Okay, I can do this. So there's that part where she's like, Jamal, eh? Wow! <laughs> the bulborb larvae! Exactly, Pikmin fan. What's your status, Colin? She would not sound like that. That's like a strange uh, uh, Three Stooges voice. I don't do female voices. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a voice actor, but pretty much just of male voices, unless it's like the SpongeBob uh, old lady, you know. I remember when they first invented chocolate. She's like a bird. Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps. Oh, I remember. No. No. Kind of like Mickey Mouse, yeah. <laughs> Did you order? Yeah, I don't do Mickey Mouse either, clearly. <laughs> oh, she's not uh, supposed to obey anyone but me. <laughs> Damn. I'm on the wrong foot with Shepard, huh? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Well, uh, what, can, what can I say? I'm, I'm the dog whisperer. Shepard... Home Planet Gia, a 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues, you guys. King Frost said, Just did Pikmin 2 Queen Bulborb's cave and the larvas destroyed my Pikmin? No. Uh, Colin's like, We found Captain Shepard with the captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Notice they have this shark fin on the back of all their suits. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? Pardon? Nothing. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Now that sounded like Mickey Mouse. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. Why is Colin doing the Goku trip pose? Colin's great, man. <laughs> uh, okay. Did you fall down the hole located near the shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. What are we raiding around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. The me? Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Dr. Kendall. Copy that is Rescue Corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? The copy this? No, I mean that. Should we mess it up? I do like to wake up and mess everything up in my world, clearly, so let's just see it. Understood. Hmm. I'm sure you're just nervous. This is your first official mission, after all. Well, maybe if you guys wouldn't keep calling me a rookie. It'll all come naturally to you soon enough. Jamari. That said... You'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming mission. Okay. Damn, she's got a Nintendo Switch. Rescue Journal. This is where you'll find advice left by captains, both past and present, as we, I guess, read that earlier, didn't we? A rescue Journal? Uh, okay. Is that all it says? Okay. Cool. 
you'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Well, I can tell you I trained Pokemon in another lifetime, so I, I can do this, okay? Quite the conundrum, I don't think so. We got Ochi. What's up? Boom! Oh, I got this, Shep. No worries. I almost called Shepherd Shambler. King Frost is laughing. <laughs> I remember this area. Well, let's go to the opposite. Okay. Nani? My word, to think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Yeah. You stand under it and then you say beam me up, Scotty. See, it says exit. But first... I'm not sure what that thing is. Okay, I just went down. Please proceed with caution as I just leap to my death like a true lemming. Uh, okay, there's literally nothing else they want us to explore, huh? They want us to, but we can't. We can't get on Ochi's back right now because Ochi's too small. Pokemon trainer to Pikmin farmer. I like to think of it as Pikmin wrangler. Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, I guess we'll exit. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Gua. That's just talking about Rush, not the band. But if you guys want to see that tip, King Frost said, "Nice, I like it." Hey, thanks, brother. It's good to have you here. Good to have anybody here. Anybody that's lurking. Anybody that's watching. I just really appreciate it. It's Pigman for the demo. Pigman fan says, actually, that's a misconception. Real lemmings don't fall to their death off cliffs. Okay. Shepard says, excuse me, Dr. Kendo. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. I, I don't. I respect I completely agree, though in this case your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Did you see his eyes? He was like, holy. Mm. All right, Captain. A rescue corps flag has been officially planted. It's this. You have to put your arm like that. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities, we located and rescued one castaway and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. Okay. Okay. But you both did good work today. Well done, Dr. Kendo and Ochi. I guess we're just gonna skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Uh, I thought she. I thought he was gonna be upset that they didn't acknowledge uh, Colin was there. Alessia saying, great advice. Immediately begin to ignore it and pulls a pig in. <laughs> That's exactly right, dude. They're like, I'd proceed with caution and I just jump right off the cliff. <laughs> Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? Yeah. Hey, man, he got the drip, dude. Colin is an eligible bachelor. He should be in story of seasons. All right, I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. No. <laughs> King Frost said, wait, did you choose blue? Like you said in your last video, can we choose? Yes, so in the part, I think it was just before you came in, man. They, uh, yeah, we have like blue, green, pink, orange, red, and one other color. What am I forgetting, you guys? Purple, I think. But, yeah. So, good for you, you did it. And thanks, King Frost. Yeah, I did talk about that in the video. So whatever color you pick, we'll stick with all of those things. The flag, the ship, the colors of the, the, the clothing, everything, man. But it seems that you can change it later. I don't know about the color, but it said we could change our look and name later, and so maybe that comes with that. But look at this, y'all. We are back. Can we get ourselves lost once again? Eh, let me up. Let me up this... G g g <laughs> I love how I run. I run like a Three Stooges, to be honest. <laughs> they all kind of run like that, don't they? But, uh, let's see. Shambler said, drinking vodka lemonade and chilling, watching Dr. K. Life is good. Brother, life is great. We're playing Pikmin 4, man. The demo. 
Yeah, they totally walk like that, too. <laughs> is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepard? And yes, Pikmin fan, this is. This would be a woman if you're talking about Shepard. King Fry said, GG's, hell yeah. Blue Pikmin all day. I'll do a whole Pikmin blue run. I could, regardless of their stats. My favorite is going to be red. My favorite two colors are blue and red. Blue a little bit over red. But when it comes to, like, Pikmin, when it comes to my Pokemon Go team, when it comes to lots of stuff, like, I like red. It's, it's crazy. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. That's what I'll do. I'll mimic Shepard's vocalizings. It will. I initiated an emer em emergency, emergency shutdown. Okay. The ship's energy stores are now completely empty. <laughs> Alestion said, I think my favorite Pikmin is going to be the Glow Pikmin. Dude, that's nice, man. The Glow Pikmin are just fresh. I just wonder, in nighttime, are we going to only use Glows? You know what I mean? Like, are there going to be any others? It's not safe for other Pikmin. Anyway, I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that might prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. Okay. By the way, we're on the newest version, okay? 20.0.1. Okay, Olimar saying, I found treasure. After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real-life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Phone Pup said, Wing Pikmin, I think, is my favorite still. Dude, I mean, I just love all the Pikmin, really, but Winged. Did... Sometimes I would even say in my head, Winged. I was like, does anybody actually say Winged Pikmin? But yeah, the Winged Pikmin, oh, man, they are so fresh. King Frost said, I see you. Customization is getting looking very good up to date. Yeah, man, it's it's great. Wow, okay, there's a Pokemon Violet update. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. Dude! Uh, let's see. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard. I wonder if anyone's going to have, like, a, 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 a Zap Brannigan voice. Because that's a voice that I love to do, so I would love for a Pikmin character to, you know. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance, eh? Fry. The way to a woman's heart is through her parents, eh? Sleep with them and you're in, eh? So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that, and I'm still a noob. I'm still not doing it, man. Come correct. Winged Pikmin? Yeah, King Frost, it's the green Pikmin we always needed. We always knew we wanted something green. Okay, apparently sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepard. Shepard? Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. Uh. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. Neo Blitz says, I like all of the Pikmin. That's my thing, is it's like, yeah, red are my favorite, but I mean, I just I like them all. And welcome on in, my brother. Neo Blitz, the printy, you guys. Just gotta come correct. Colin said, we just need a good place for it to land. Because, yes, if you've been watching Dr. Kendo videos, and of course, all the footage and stuff, you can land your individual ship, the SS Beagle, in different spots. So that's kind of, that's a, that's a new Whoa. thing to the series and the franchise. Hey, we got Brie Letty in the chat saying, hello, I just downloaded the Pikmin 4 demo. Congrats, you're going to love it. I'm already, I'm having a blast. And we've like barely gotten through because I'm just enjoying the dialogue and all the things you can look at. So forgive me, this will be a very slow playthrough of it. Uh, looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. Will do, command. Except that's not the, yeah. yeah. Shambler said, and this is why Nintendo left Strikers for Dead. They're working on other titles like Zelda and Pikmin to get even more money. The other thing is Nintendo gave a lot of that over to next level games for Mario Strikers. And I, I love Mario Strikers. Like, the, the franchise is really cool. I loved Mario Strikers Charged. But it's just like, man, couldn't they have done so much more? 
you know, but I think they let that mostly go to next level games who probably is responsible for the, uh, m the major shortcomings of it. See anything sparkly around here? Well, you. Your personality. Okay, try looking around the area with that. Sure. I'm gonna look around the area. So, ladies and gentlemen, the onion. Is it a treasure? Uh, that would not be a treasure, but let's just, let's play along. I'm supposed to be the rookie here. So let's make Ochi do all the work. That was a very fast digging up. If Ochi digs other things that fast, man, we ain't gonna need no Pikmin to be digging. Can you dig it? Carry it, just like that. Well, he is. If you guys would shut up, he could do his job. <laughs> I'm being such a jerk. King Frost is like, dang, much respect, but I'm gonna have to leave soon and play it myself just to not spoil myself, but still enjoying the stream. My brother, it's, uh, it's an honor. I thank you. And if you guys can leave the lurk, even without watching, you could even, like, put it on mute or something. D minimize the tab or something. It would really help me out, but otherwise, I mean, it's all good. Aww. It moved. I don't think it's a treasure. Are? What could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Yes, Colin. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? Uh, yeah, Shambler said this game looks gorgeous. It 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 is. The game is it's gorgeous. He called it an onion. Order. Order. Then what is that sprout? Well, maybe let's go touch it, even though y'all said not to. Pluck. I am speaking Pikmin now, you guys. There we go. The main ship looking blue so clean. Oh, King Frost. Bree, you guys. That blue is clean. I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Okay. Oh, she's like, hey, what the? Oh, she's already bonding with the Pikmin. I don't know, man. I think that Pikmin's harassing. We don't, we don't tolerate that here. Olimar mentioned that in his reports too. It's called the Pikmin. <laughs> Alessian said, "Can't wait to find a purple onion to be color accurate to the real thing." That's the thing, man. I, I want to see the onion with all of them. Select Pikmin or Ochi with L, you guys. So you press that, and you can see down there in the bottom right. But it's also got a little thing by our cursor right there. Like, you see our cursor also changes the icon. Um, look ahead, of course, is that. And so you can throw just like that with the A button. So, yeah, that's auto-aiming right now. So that was not me, like, locking on to that. That was something that we knew that it was going to have that auto-aiming. Is this what I think it is? Your boy Cthulhu said the full array of colored Garvic clothes wouldn't it be magnificent. Okay. Uh, this has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Is that a little, like, fork? Well, that's forking awesome. All right, rookie. Press plus to open the radar map. Foam Puff said, this seems much more helpful than how it looked in old games. People are divided, you know? It's like, okay, wait. Presence of Sparklium confirmed. That star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult the radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But, um, how are we going to move it? Duh, well, I have no idea, okay? What do you guys think? I'm the rookie here. Bree said, yeah, same. Um, but yeah, Phone Pup and others who, you know, are thinking about auto-aim and stuff like that. So far, it's not... <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit weird, like, because I've never done it with the auto-aim. So, because I've never done it before, I think I'll have to get used to it a little bit. Some people are like, no, I don't want auto-aim. Colin said that red seed-like thing is apparently called a pic uh, pellet. <laughs> a pigment. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. Alright, you guys. This must be how we get more Pikmin. Well, we see it happening before our eyes, don't we? I'm being catty. I'm being very catty to these people. 
Dude, let's get Ochi to... If o let's see how Ochi, how fast... Look at how fast he digs that up! Anybody that knows Pikmin in the past, dude, Pikmin can dig kind of slow sometimes. <laughs> Unless you got, like, a ton of them, but, you know. Man, Ochi, just boom! Uh, Brie Letty said, can't wait for the real thing. Phone Pup said, maybe it'll be easier for new people, but if you know what you're doing, it gets in its own way. It's tough to say right now. Let's, we'll, we'll try going a little bit further and see what happens with it. Shambler said, I want to take out some monsters with Pikmin or whatever we fight. Well, you'll get that with Olimar in the beginning, but I think we're going to get it soon, too. Um, but yeah, this treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? Station your post. The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, how the demo... Sh you like how the demo shows how we get Ice Pikmin, Alessian? King Frost said auto-aim after grinding Pikmin 1 and 2. These last few days, honestly, I'm coming into Pikmin 4 as a pro. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. King Frost is right. A lot of people said Pikmin 1 and 2 were kind of like hard. Pikmin 3 was easy mode. I only have Pikmin 3, so to me, it's just... It was the right amount of difficulty. Okay, let's proceed here. What does the fork get us? There we go. Energy detected. We got 50 Sparklium. Dude, I don't want to collect 250, then it's going to end. I don't want to end. The SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high-octane energy. Will this work? Can you go? I believe we can get it to run on Sparklium alone. Though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're gonna need a lot more. Toro. Toro. Okay. Let's search for more treasures. Oops. Hey, get out of my way, Colin. <laughs> he was actually in my way. Okay. So, the game looks great, you guys. Um, still kind of playing a little... I have to get used to this whole... Okay, look at that. This is going to be all the sparkling we need, isn't it? That one looks extra shiny. So what do we got right there? A little bell for a bike. You know, ding, ding. A little bicycle bell. Cute. Okay. You hope the demo... Oh, okay, you were saying you hope that the demo shows it. The trailers didn't show a ice onion. Yeah, that was the thing, is that it's like... Remember, people were reacting to my video. If you guys saw it, they were saying, Wait, so Ice Pikmin are carrying that carcass. I think it was of a blowhog or a bulborb. And the letters were red. And I was saying, well, you know, we didn't see the onion for the ice ever. We just saw the red one. So it's like, are we going to even get to make more ice Pikmin? Oh, yeah, we have to rush it down. So this is going to be like the pocket watch, you guys. You have to make sure that you're on Ochi to actually rush. Like, X doesn't do anything with Pikmin, but you have to actually be selected with Ochi. And here, we already get our first Nintendo console. Would you look at that? Boom. Very nice. So, that was close. Too close. So, all right, you guys, we cannot charge our Pikmin yet. That's one thing I was wondering is, like, can we charge them? Ochi, can you send? Okay, I was like, can he pick that up, please? We're almost at 300 units. So why do we have an uneven number of Pikmin? Like, why is it not 10? Did I leave a Pikmin somewhere? Uh, good old GBASP, yeah, man. That's the Cobalt Blue, you guys. That is, that is... We could sell it instead of use Sparklium. To make like $100 or whatever it's worth. To be honest, the dog, Bree said, is way too OP, may have health, but still. Um, so it's Ochi. That's the name of the dog. I think, in some respects, I think we're going to find out, you know, some things. But they really did want to lean on the dog as, like, another explorer, almost. To make a fast... Uh, thanks a bunch. Yeah, the Game Boy is amazing. King Frost was like, you good, bro? When you get a chance, try Pikmin 1 and 2. It's a challenge within itself. Still, or generally, uh, yeah, in Pikmin 4, like, I think you stand, mm-hmm, yeah, you're saying it's like a combination of all three. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Look at that one. <laughs> it's cleaning its hair. It's a leaf. Uh, now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Oh! Shepherd's noises are the best, man. 
GBASP times. And if you're like me, the first console I had was a cup with a ball on a string. And you had to get the ball into the cup. <laughs> that was my video games. Uh, energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Ding! Blue Ship, Blue Game Boy Advance, or Game Boy Advance SP, we should say. Blue everything. I'm blue. Alright. I wonder why we can check the message log while these are happening, you know? Like, didn't that just interrupted the entire thing? <laughs> the SS Shepherd is running! We restarted the SS Shepherd using the Sparklium extracted from the treasure! Shalom. We did it! The ship's back online! We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers! Oh! oh. Colin is a robot, you cannot convince me he's not one Bree. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, King Foss, it's all good, brother. Uh, Alessian said, I think Pikmin 4 is going to be the best seller of the game series, just like Metroid Dread. Was Metroid Dread really? I've not played a single Metroid game, you guys. Isn't that insane? You're probably like, what have you played if you haven't played Pikmin 1 and 2 and then that? I've played, like, everything else, just not those. And I guess I haven't played Kirby until Forgotten Land. <laughs> uh, they could be coming from our last and what's weird I was born in the 80s you guys I played the Sega Genesis I played I had a, I still have my NES <clears throat> duck hunt and all that uh, original Zelda back in the days alright so rescues 2 here's our exploration results day 1 is this going to be it is the demo over now I'm going to be crying if that was it I will seriously cry the original Pikmin is on the GameCube, said Phone Pup. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? We're already... To me, that's that's more modern. You know, I'm thinking about... Okay, again, I'm explaining to you guys I was a kid with NES and the Genesis. N64 was like my system, man. I loved the Nintendo 64. Like, that was, you know... In the 90s, I was coming up. That was a lot of my most vivid memories and stuff. Bree says, you've not played Kirby just again... Forgotten Land, and I should say I actually played um, uh, Fighters, Kirby Fighters and Star Allies. So I did actually play those, but no, I've not played the main line games. So Shepard said, apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Yeah. Pretty impressive. And we have the little names of all these treasures. Look at that up there. The Noble Bident. What is a Bident? Is that the President of the United States? President Bident? Okay. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. The path creator, because it's a bell that you ring on the bike, like, move, ding, 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 ding. Coming through, and the stone of advancement. Isn't that epic? The Game Boy Advance. So Shambler, or anybody that's new to Pikmin, they do that. Like, because things that you and I know, like a ring pop we're going to see later on. We would call it a ring pop. They call everything by different names because they're re-exploring the planet. You know, like, it's not like us. They're not like humans like us. Um, Shepard says, I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepard. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. <laughs> Colin, been roughing it long enough. There's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. Kirby 64 now on Nintendo 64 Online 64 era. That's what I'm talking about. Shepard said, and you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? Yeah, that was the thing. In Pikmin 3, you had to make your emergency yeah. rations. <laughs> I counted our stock three times, but I could do it again. <laughs> Excellent plan. Shepard's running a tight ship, you guys. Bree Letty said, I do know about that. Don't really play. It makes me mad. Huh? You know about what? The 64? Okay, let's see. Tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Dr. Kendo. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Okay. Secure the energy source. 
And if you're gonna restore the SS Shepherd's radar and expand our search area, we need you to go out and gather more Spocklium. The SOS signals we recover or discovered must be coming from our rescue officers. Come talk to me as soon as you're ready. You do know about that. Okay. Phone pup said that's what I figured. Rescue mission day two. So clearly we're not playing at night yet. You know, we need to get Yanni or whatever that person's name is going to end up being. I think it's going to be Yanni, but you know. Um, no. No. All right, I guess this is everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Shepard is bay, you guys. Shepard is the best. Okay. Colin's pretty dope, too. But it is true. He's got that kind of robot. It's like uh, Pinocchio eyes. Anyway. As of today, the two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered. Thanks to the efforts of Dr. Kendo. Chambler wants them glow Pikmin. You meant Kirby 64, Bree? Gotcha. 99% on that demo? You're going to be playing in no time. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown. And the SS Shepherd is out of commission. Oh, no. You're like, I'm going to get on this demo. Nice. Do it. Okay, all things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Oh. oh. Okay. Marco. Fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry. We'll be available via the SS Shepherd's wireless wireless communication at times. So you'll have our full support. <laughs> hey. That's right. I can handle it, man. King Fry said, Pikmin 3 is my least favorite, but after Pikmin 1 and 2, I'm craving Pikmin 3 on the Switch to have the full collection. Only throw off for Pikmin 3, I think, was the fruit source to stay in the story longer. I loved it. I, I just, I don't know what it was, dude. I guess because it's my first Pikmin. Huh? That I played. I loved Pikmin 3. You guys, I loved it. Um, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? Um, may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list just in case. Oh, on that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. He's always doing a... <laughs> Look at me, I'm finally falling in line. Shambler said... Is Ochi the dog awesome? Ochi is the best. And so that you know, it is spelled O-A-T-C-H-I. Ochi. Excuse me. Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. We know. Shambler said they look awesome. Ochi is a good boy. Collect uh, 1,500 to finish the... Okay, so you collect the units and finish the day. Afterward, you can receive rewards both in the smart device app, Pikmin Bloom. That's a fun way to say it. Smart device app. Uh, and in the full version of the game. So, yes, you guys, if it was, you know, any question to you, they have confirmed it, of course, but I'm sure most of y'all know. But, um, yeah, this will carry over to your full version. When you get the full game and stuff, this will carry over. Um, I should plug that in, I feel like. Let's see. Shambler said, Ochi, even better. So, you guys, let's talk to Shepard first. Ever since you started, your hard work has really saved us. When it comes to exploring uncharted planets, danger is just part of the job. How can I be so certain? Because I have two eyes and I can see your potential plain as day. I hired you, didn't I? You guys never question Shepard. You know what I'm saying? Shepard knows. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. First, Pikmin Bloom. Second, Pokemon Go. And third, Raid Shadow Legends. This stream is sponsored. I'm just kidding. It's not. Uh, I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Let's chat. Just so relieved that you got my SOS signal in time. I was in a panic as I tried to escape the spaceship. If that signal didn't work, I shuddered to even think about it. Ready for action? Bye for now. You guys, I have to... I have to explore a little bit more, okay? 
This is not... Can we... Can we actually do stuff right now? So before we go on with the day, we can, like, collect... I mean, it's gonna take a long time with just Ochi. Is that actually gonna produce more Pikmin right now, or...? Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> yeah, so... Okay, before we go out, we can actually, like, collect Pikmin. What if I didn't do that? Like, these are coming with us, right? Oops. Uh, so let's go get some pellet posy goodness. Can we get it from here? I think we can. Pop! Alright, guys, we're doing it now. I didn't say that. Okay. Pluck! Pluck him up, son! Man, we getting all the Pikmin homes. Boy. All right, y'all. See, imagine what a fool I would have been to, to not do this first. Look at all this good ish that I can get. I think that's going to be the last posy there. A pellet full of posies. All righty. Pikmin to Pikmin. King Fry said, no time limit in the first few days, I see. That's the thing is, the, 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 the days will, you know, 15 minutes apparently is what the days are going to be. But when we're just right here, we, we can just chill. Mm-hmm. Pluck em. Pluck, pluck. Okay. Fantasmic. Anything else, you guys? Pro Pikmin player, I see yellow health. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to take that compliment, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait and see what we get out on the field, right? <laughs> okay. I'm celebrating all the small victories, you guys. They're easier to carry, so I like small victories. Alrighty. Select area to explore. Farming and pick me up. Looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. That looks close to us. I don't know how close it really is going to be, but Sun Speckled Terrace... As we said in the video, it was kind of obvious, but I was saying that's probably going to be where we play on the demo, you know. Uh, I'm not sure about the Last Frost Cavern, though, which is probably where the first Ice Pikmin are going to be. I say first Ice Pikmin because, hey, there, there was no onion and stuff, and <laughs> the onion's going too. Colin, you're supposed to know everything, right? I, that doesn't make me confident if you don't know stuff. So there's your tablet. Open the tablet. Press B to access the other apps. Yeah, we got it. Look at that little running red Pikmin silhouette. Cuteness. All right. This is amazing. I know we've seen it in all the trailers and stuff, but it's right in front of me. I'm seeing it finally. You guys, I can't believe it. Phone Pup said I'll head off now. I'll watch the VOD to see what I miss. Good luck with the rest. Thank you, Phone Pup. Always good to see you anytime, talk to you anytime. And if you can leave the lurk, it really helps. If not, I still, I appreciate it. Epicness. But look at that. All that Pikmin farming that I did, I think it was a waste of time. <laughs> come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. We should do this. Come on, come on. This is Colin. <sighs> Okay, you see dwarf bulb orbs. There they are. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work, over. Oh, yeah. Small. How far can you go using the demo Super A? It's pretty much through the first day. It's pretty much. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Let's say copy that. I'm not going to upset her. Copy that. Imagine me saying still, I'm on the job. Understood. You probably noticed the onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. Over. You've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. Over. All right. Oh. Oh. So, our limit was 20. It stopped me. I had 21. But, as we anticipated, our limit is 20. Boom. Stomp is back. 
And the Pikmin will happily assist. Yes, we know that. We know that. Let's get that pellet down quicker. And we can't charge. I was trying to press X to, like, charge all the Pikmin at it. So here we go, you guys. You guys know about this. You've been seeing my videos, right? Well, if you haven't, this is going to be important. Anytime you see that stuff, collect it. Doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimar's voyage log. Raw materials, you guys. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone. But it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. It should be, or I should be able to find many applications for it. I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about materials. Science. If we had our scientist back, that's going to be Russ, you guys. Well, hey. Forgive me for the spoilers, but y'all been seeing my videos, right? He'll be excited to have something to work with. Yeah, yeah. We got it, we got it. Can Ochi get that too? Yeah, I guess Ochi can pick up one too. Guess we should have figured, right? Sounds like Materia from Final Fantasy VII. My Final Fantasy experience is only FFX and FFX 2. So there we go with another super popular franchise. I've only played 10. Uh, why isn't anything coming out? Judging from the life signs. It looks like the Pikmin numbers have increased inside the onion, but then... Aww. We'll stop doing that, okay? Uh, maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit. How many can be out? No. They don't do that. Alrighty. So, we could just... Still get some, though. Out of these flowers. The pellet posies. Let's do it. Pop. So, if you can, anybody that's watching this, try to hit the pellet posy. Actually, at the top. Something we know from the basics. I wonder how easy it is to disrupt somebody, a Pikmin that's on their task already. You know, I don't want to take them off their task, but I want to whistle the ones that are doing none. Pile of raw material transported! So like I say, we're going to be going through this pretty slow, you guys. So I hope that you don't mind me exploring every single Tom Nook and Cranny. Every single place. Dang, on your defense, FFX was amazing and one of the best, if not the best F... I loved it, man. That For the longest time, I was in high school when that came out, I think, and uh, that was like my favorite Final Fantasy, my favorite RPG. I guess favorite Final Fantasy because it was the only one that I had played. Um, forgot an important detail, that is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. Yes, we are. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. We have seen this, but yes, you press Y to open actions and then use that. So this is all stuff that we got to see from the videos that I was doing, all those previews. You never know where his may nose may lead you. But yes, we can look around while this is going on, you guys. So while they're talking to us, we can do that. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dandori skills to work to find. So every single time we get a rescue officer, it's going to be a Dandori. You look a little confused. Have you never heard of the term Dandori? Hey, I have. Blah, 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 I've already heard this. But yeah. It's the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. You should use this in your daily life, they always say. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's, also, it's still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. No! Huh? Oh. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work. I think it's Dandori, if you want to be all proper-like, not a heathen like me. To get things started, open that, and yeah, Ochi, okay. We got it. We can do this. But I want to explore everything. Command. Uh, they want us to do castaways, right? But I'm doing pick up a scent. Follow the scent, Ochi. So yeah, he was going to go that way. I want to go the opposite of where I'm supposed to go right now, though. Oh, uh, we can't go any further. Okay. Can I fall off the... Yeah. They won't let me fall into the water. <laughs> Lose all my pigment. Let's play it safe and take a quick detour. Well, you're no fun. Okay. Man, Ochi just gonna go without us, man. Peace, Ochi. See you later. 
Look at that background though, dude. Like, just look at the scale of all of this. You see that wall past this half wall? Man. This is crazy, you guys. Crazy. So, all right, we're at this part. I remember this from the video. Let me show you guys something. Okay, so they're saying demolish. So I think if you wanted to do this like as fast as possible, you would take the Pikmin and then you would take Ochi and charge it. I don't know that I can actually get Ochi yet. Okay, I can. See, now while they're doing the damage, we'll charge it as well. That's the pro strats. So if you're trying to destroy something super fast, the wall, that's what you would do. Okay, you know what would be really helpful is oh, if Ochi could go back to the ship, get the Pikmin plucked that were doing a job so I didn't have to do that, and then bring them back, that would be extreme. That would be crazy. Alright, y'all. Status report. Rescue Sparkly. All of that goodness. Uh... Yes, yes, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's gonna be a lot to go through there, like I said. Man, I don't want this to end. <laughs> I feel like every single time I do something in this, this demo, I'm like, it, 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 it's gonna end too soon, and I don't want to. King Frost said, damn, that was an IQ Pikmin. <laughs> that was the thing, is like playing Pikmin 3 and doing collect treasure mission mode and stuff, I was just thinking about always those little things. Like if I could just get a second, two seconds, like that was valuable time, you know? Yeah, imagine him plucking them for us, dude. That would be nuts, boys and girls and everybody else. All right. Look at the waffle. Look there we go. What the? That's what it sounded like he said. <laughs> this area is crawling with creatures. Yeah. I haven't seen like hardly any creatures, okay? Yes, we should take a look inside, but not before I waste a crap ton of time, you guys. I mean, look at this. We would have missed the eggs. We need the nectar. Nectar! She said bomb diggity. It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? That substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. Well, you know, they think we're pretty mysterious too, right? Was that word changed? Wasn't it unusual creatures? I think Nintendo listened to me because in my video, I think I said, like, they really are unusual creatures. And I said, well, hey, they think you're pretty unusual too. And then Nintendo changed it. Can you guys believe that? Man, that guy got boofed! Oh, what? That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. Okay, so it's easy to call them off, you guys. Like, I just barely tapped it. Okay, they'll, like, pause for a second. But if you hold that whistle down for even more than just, like, a millisecond, man, they are all over it. So that's going to be a uh, presumably little bomb area. Where do I need to throw bombs at? Uh, I don't want to be walking around with bombs the whole day. All right, fiery blow hug. You got this ish. Boom. Come on, Oach. Let's do it, son. Oh, God. I didn't want that to happen. Don't make me watch this. Oh, she's tail is burning. Put the fire out with B right away. Well, I would if you weren't talking to me. There we go. I didn't want that to happen, but it was probably bound to happen at some point. Boom, 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 boom. Call Oach. No, Oach. Get back. All right, son. Let's do it. Okay. Damn, that blowhog battle. I noticed you looking at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about a... Yeah, why don't you? Thanks. The system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas with that or that. 
If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. Okay, then. So, by the way, you see how it says ZL? Look this way. When you press that, it goes away from the map. Look. Did you guys see that? It has you looking in the direction, though. So, like, if you were like, huh, I need to get oriented. I'm going to make myself face that way and then open the map back up. Like, you could look at it, I guess. You know, I, I don't know. But you can press X and it does that. See this? X. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, crush them jars. Oh, I know I can do that to look around, man. <laughs> We've been doing that the whole game so far. All right. Oh, my dude. Now you have a cooldown, otherwise I'd be charging that right now to go blow up these hoes. And when you actually do this charge with Ochi and he goes away, he's no longer in your, like, squad to command until he comes back. Did you see that? He went away and then now he's back. Let's go ahead and... Wait, we might need Ochi, actually. No. No, we good. Let's get these little sea grubs or whatever they're called. I forgot what they're... Seer grub? What is it called? You guys know. Got all the pigment experts here. Okay. So we want this. We want that. And that kills my ADHD and my OCD. There's one left. God, that kills me. <laughs> Have you lost track of any Pikmin? Probably. Check the radar map and retrieve them. Well, I think they're all doing ish. Okay, I'm literally going to take one off of this to go back and get that. That is so bad for OCD. Sheer grubs. There, thank you. The sheer grubs. King Frost says, LOL, fags. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Boop. There. Thank you. We got it. So you guys can see, obviously, there's also a little ball up there. So we're going to need to come back and get that. Right? Look how beautiful that is. Just the ball is beautiful. Are you kidding me? Amazing, man. The light reflecting off of it and whatnot. Butamus, you guys. It's like a pokeball, but with all red. Oh, this demo. My guy, you... Huh, what am I doing at No Lie? <laughs> King Frost? Oh, I'm proing it. Okay. <laughs> My guy, you're proing it. <laughs> Thank you, brother. ZL man, the man of Bhutans or something. I just made up a joke. Okay. New treasure collected. What's funny is King Frost, I thought that was like an autocorrect. I'm like, what is pro proving it? Smash killers up in the chat saying, alrighty, what I miss? Well, I feel like I'm already too far to the demo. You see, it's halfway through the day. But I am doing a good job of just trying to take my time, explore everything, and, you know, I really don't want to do this too fast. But then again, I probably am. I don't know. We're, we're, we're at a good... We're at a good pace, right? This is not too fast, eh? Now, this is the thing about auto-aim. See, like, I, I can't... Aim it! Aim it! See, I can't... If I had the Joy-Con, maybe I'd, like... Not cool. Anyway, let's see if this works. Okay, that works. <laughs> Anyway, so what is this anyway? So it's a, what was I saying before? It might actually be the little ball that you put the string into and it goes in the cup. Unless that's just me projecting. Anyway, uh, there we go. It's got a little hole in it. Butamus, you guys. Butamus. All right, let's not go down the cave. That's when Ish is going to end, man. I don't want this to end. Never. This is like a kid who you let play with something, like in a toy store or whatever, and then you're like, okay, well, it's time to go. Now you have to put it back, and the kid's like, no, I'm never going to put it back. That's me right now with the Pikmin 4 demo. I'm never going to put it back. Nintendo, you can't make me. All righty. Kendama Cup. There you go. I should have known that because it's got the Kendo name in it, the Kendama. The fact that you stop to recollect Pikmin and carry stuff back, that's pro Pikmin strats. Hey, thanks, brother. You're making me feel so good. Because, hey, I, 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 yeah. I'm not always pro. 
The thing I hate is they're gonna go back. I don't need you guys to- Oh yeah, I do actually. I shouldn't hate that. They do need to go back. Just as we're saying I'm a pro. I'm sitting here disrupting their treasure journeys. Because they did. They need to go back for the uh, raw materials. Look at this, you guys. There's even more of the pellets. Posies. I'm going to have so many reds, it's insane. Yeah, Pikmin fan. I don't want this journey to end. I don't want it to end. You good, fam. Keep going. Man, Ochi. I love Ochi. Man, they go so much faster. Did you see that? Like, that was only just four, and it was like... <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let's go check on the raw materials. Let's check everything else that's over there. <laughs> I don't want it to end. You can see the day is about to end already. <laughs> we've done, like, three things. That's not true. We, we, we've done a decent amount, but definitely much less than if I was, like... If I was really, you know, super efficient on it, man. So let's go ahead, take on the blowhole. You know where all your Pikmin are? Yes, shut up. So this is where you defeat the blowhog, and then we can land here after defeating it. See, it says another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. That would be great. I should have done that before all of the materials, you guys. So if you get to this part. Do this first, then get those raw materials, because then it's just going to be right here. Yeah, we can create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. And we are looking for efficiency, as I act like a moron half the time. Let's do something about that pesky creature already. My Pikmin in midair, man, totally Bruce Lee kicking there. All right, there. Go, Oach. You got it, son. Uh, sure. Move base. We done did it. Look at how close it's gonna be now. Go, Ochi. You got it, you got it, boy. Good boy, good boy. Yes, yes. And we got all the Pikmin with it, man. See, that's the strategy. Remember King Frost when I was talking about Ochi, go back and pluck them and bring them over here? That's what you gotta do is that even if they're staying over there, they're gonna get in and come back out over here. That's genius. Amazing. You guys. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, dude. Recovered. Said, I already pre-ordered DX. Amazing. You're gonna love it. I'm assuming you're playing the demo now, man. It is just freshness in Comet. Pop. So that bobo up there. Colin's gonna give us some kind of text, but it's asleep and whatnot. Let's make sure that we have all of our Pikmin for it. So it does, you know, the auto-aim, like I'm still thinking, hey, I could be throwing Pikmin this way, this way, that way. Okay, I was like, can we, can we get this? Hey, we got Ashon LaForce saying, hey, Dr. K, the king, the legend! It's me, Ashon LaForce, on a new YouTube account, how have you been? Well, static, Ashon LaForce, thank you so much for asking. I am amazing seeing this right here. You want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. Okay. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. This will actually be good. Press ZR to fix your auto target lock and keep your aim focused. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that is interesting. So that's like auto aiming the auto aim. See, so now it's going to follow around. This guy's pretty big. That's what the text was that that video cut off right there. So right up in here, we gotta swarm them. If we had rock Pikmin, we would do those last, you know, and just straight up, you know, throw the rocks on there. They're gonna fly off. We gotta get them back. Get them back! Oh my god! How dare you? Dude, I had ZR going. Get back, Ochi! Get back! Why is he just standing there? Holy... You guys. Ochi was just standing there. That was garbage. Okay, now auto-aiming sucks. Auto-aiming was terrible for that. Holy god. Dude. Static said puts P3 to shame. I loved Pikmin 3, man. I don't think anything can take away my Pikmin 3 love, even this. Dude, Ochi. Holy. That was terrible, man. Just awful. 
Okay, we need to get Ochi's health back, like, now. Ochi is life, you guys. You cannot... You cannot. Dude, so that was clunky AF, man. Um... So what happened there? First off, Ochi didn't come back to us. Like, I kept whistling, and I think there's a delay. So, like, here, watch this. See, send Ochi out. Let's see if it works. But when you whistle, see, Ochi waits for a second. He kept waiting, and then the, 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 the bull board was just biting him. <laughs> you know what I mean? A moment of silence for the two Pikmin we lost. Stream don't fail me. Yeah, please. Stream don't fail him. Look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. Now, is that going to end the demo if I do that? Because I'm not, I'm not coming back if... Yeah, Pikmin have to get back to that area. Seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night, Minecraft style. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. We only have 20. It ain't hard to keep track of these pimps. It's almost sunset. But we can still get a few things done, okay? So, you can see there's an electric wall right there. Let's go ahead and get these fools. Come back to me. There's going to be some raw materials over here. I don't think we would be able to safely get those. I don't think so. It's probably too many at this point. But this is just for our exploration needs. Okay, so we got those little fools. non-colorful onion does it look like it's sputtering it looks pretty pale for an onion what do you think should we take it with us yes but how do we get up there yeah they can't reach it we're gonna need yellow pikmin man you can't transpate yeah transpate can't transport it so you can see there's a bull board right there um the pocket watch is up there and the dirt wall we can at least pull this out before our demo ends, I think. Before our day ends. Send, Ochi, send. Can't you help? Hey, 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 hey. Hmm. Oh, God. The countdown is going. Are we going to lose? Okay. Get him back. Get him back. All right. Look at that. That was a perfect waypoint for us, too. We done did it, you guys. Michael Megale said, how is the game? Incredible. It has just been an absolute pleasure. I'm hoping that the demo doesn't end. We have been taking our sweet, sweet time, and I do emphasize sweet. Um, the only thing was, you saw my Ochi is getting effed in the A, man. Like, that Ochi's life, practically nothing after that, dude. Better than Pikmin 4? Hmm? Shambler said, don't die. We good, Sham. Sham wow, man. A bunion of onions, Super A. You guys, incredible. I hope that that does not end the demo, because they did say after the day is over. Try to practice it in daily life. Co-op mode, pitch more pebbles. Yeah. Rescue command post. Let's see all the tips. Missions. All right, so let's see what happens here, you guys. Low battery, of course. I know it's low battery. Oh, I should be putting that on the charger when this stuff happens. <laughs> when we're, like, doing nothing. All right. This was day two. I didn't pay attention. I thought this was day one, but I guess when we were with Colin before and finding Shepard, that was day one. 420, blaze it, you guys! What Pikmin do you think the new onion is? I'm assuming that... Well, I thought this was gonna be that you would go down to the depths which I probably should have done because time goes differently there so maybe we should replay it and do that um, but yeah so they may have ice down there the other thing it could be was yellow Pikmin also could be down in the caves for the first time so that was something that we didn't do at all so like I said I was going very slow well so slow in fact we didn't even go down to the depths which I should have because that would have slowed down time like a mother so you said no ice pigment in the demo. Remember, I didn't go down to the depths, so we will restart it if that's the case. Like, if this ends the demo or whatever, we'll we'll redo that. Because <laughs> um, keep in mind, I completely wasted time. We completely wasted. Uh, if any of them were to find a cave, they'd probably dive right in. That's where we found you, Captain. Tomorrow, let's focus on exploring and seeking out more caves. Uh, da -da -da. 
He said it's rock red and yellow. Are you sure? Uh, Michael said, is it the best Pikmin game so far? Hmm. It very well could be. The thing is that we've only just dived into this demo and whatnot. Um, so, you know, can I declare it's the best one ever? I've only played Pikmin 3 and this, and I like to say I've played Pikmin Bloom, but that doesn't count as, like, your mainstay, you know? Super Ray said F in the chat for wasted time. I don't think so, man. I think this was a A's in the chat, dude. This was a A plus. So let's see. Presumably we can keep going until we do what we're supposed to. See, I could keep this demo going on forever if I just never go down in that cave, right? But let's see it. If you're not sure what you need to do next, you can always check your missions. Uh, ready to explore. Mango time says, I just joined. What's going on? What's up, Mango? Which area would you like to explore? Yeah, this is, it's good-ish. Well, there's no other area to explore, so I would think it's going to be this. <laughs> Let's press Y for details. Look at all those areas. Surface, blank, 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 blank. Shamla said the chat is awesome. What chat? There's an SOS signal coming from this area. Yeah, I know. They want me to jump down into the cave. Said this is the best drunk chat ever, <laughs> Shamble. F's in the chat for the drunk, or A's in the chat. All right, you guys, it looks like my wasting time was perfect. It was just like school in that we're going to get still another, yeah, day, day three demo still not end because I haven't collected the 1,500. That's what they want you to do. They want you to get 1,500 spark and end of the day. That's when it ends. So I'm going to keep this going forever. King Fry said, first days you farm and then you conquer the rest next day. Just my own strat. I might be following after you. I want to go slow, man. I don't want to do Michael saying, how long is the demo? See, that's the thing is that the demo seems to be potentially as long as you want it. It's just they're only going to let you progress through a certain amount, if that makes sense. Look at how many Pikmin we've got, man. I'm gonna have so many reds. It ain't even gonna matter that I, wait, what the hell? Look at this thing jumping around. All right, boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's so funny that you can auto-aim the auto-aim. Did someone die somewhere? I just heard a Someone better not have died in this piece. All right. Do we really need to pellet posy all these again? Oh, we probably don't. We probably don't. But I'm just doing it. So let's see. We'll we'll be legit now. Um, let's go ahead and get that sunseed berry. Isn't that what they call the strawberries in this game? Anyway, let's go do it. Yeah, I think one of them died, man. Cause oh no, he's over there. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't go ahead. I don't have 20. All right, y'all. Let's see if we can get this strawberry. Put O's in the chat if you think Mystery Man and Pikmin 4 is Olimar. Well, it was pretty much all but confirmed. In the very beginning of this demo, for those who missed the very beginning, we play as Olimar, and he's got the green pup, which is a girl. It's a girl dog, by the way. Looks like we can't get up there, so you guys, we, we have to wait till Ochi's bigger so we can climb on his big ass and jump up there. So that will not be happening right now. Hey, hey there's a baseball. Oh, yeah, we can't get up here yet. So there's a lot of stuff to get when Ochi gets just a little bit bigger because we're going to need to jump on his back. And climb up there. All right. Static is saying, oh. But yeah, that's the thing, is that it's, uh, it's, I'm pretty sure that that leafy red, the, it's Olimar, probably. And what was funny is in my videos analyzing this game, I was saying, what if those guys aren't bad, you know? Like, what if they're not bad guys or whatever? Like, they may be taking the captains for some other reason, like trying to save them, you know what I mean? But they think that we're trying to destroy them. <laughs> Crimson Knight said, night, everyone. You leaving? I didn't know you was here, man. I'm glad you're here. I know it's late for you, man. Guess it's late for me, too, huh? Here, let's... We'll do that fast. Let's go, picks. Let's do it. See, you guys, I think we do need to go down to the cave today. So we will do that. We'll jump down. And that's where we'll probably explore some other pigments. And if they let us get yellow down there, then we can actually get some more stuff here on the surface. There's some raw materials back there I want to get first, so let's do that. 
I already said, is the demo available everywhere or only certain areas? It's available everywhere now. They decided to go with a worldwide launch rather than like region by region. Um, imagine evil forces leading to Pikmin battles. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Recovered, you know, is they're going to think like, uh, hey, these guys want to kidnap the captains, the castaways or whatever. But uh, it's going to turn out that we're both the good guys the whole time, I think. And they're going to be like, Olimar, why were you doing that? And he's going to be like, I thought you guys were trying to kidnap him. Did I let another Pikmin die? What the, what the hell is wrong with me? So one thing I'll say is the Ochi sending can be a little clunky. Maybe it's because they don't want you to make a mistake. Like, I threw all the Pikmin and I pressed A again after it and he didn't go immediately. But then if you just wait a little bit after throwing all the group, then he'll go. Oh, you can't... He's got it in his mouth. Like, inside. I was going to say, Ochi can't do that? But no, he can. Ochi. You guys, he puts it inside. <laughs> That's awesome. Ari right, said, I like the Olimar is the Omibuzu theory. I do not know what an Omibuzu is. I'm sorry. <laughs> is that one of the Pikmin enemies? Uh, right, yeah, let's see. Uh, King Frost says they got to Olimar. Maybe they took over his body. Oh, that would be nuts. He said, either way, it's a theory I agree with. Dude, that would be crazy. Static said, what if Mystery Man is a Smash Bros situation where it's just Olimar with an alternate costume? Dude, I'm liking these theories, to be honest. Uh, okay, so they've all got it. We can probably jump down to the depths, but let's practice up a little bit again by beating up on that Bull Borby. Bull Borby and Ken. The Borby movie. Anybody seen that? Is that out now? With Margot Robbie? I might actually see that ish with my wife if she's not going with her friends. I'm down to see the Barbie movie. Alright. Let's throw these mothers. So he's gonna launch them all. Let's get him back. Get him back quick. Oh my god. Go, Ochi. Don't die this time. Holy! Come back, Ochi! God, yeah, it takes him a little bit. More Pikmin lost. Thanks for rubbing it in. Like, jeez. You think I don't feel bad enough? Alright. So let's have Oach get this uh, pocket watch down. We'll do... Yeah, we'll do that. Gonna need more of you. There. I can't count. Did I get the right amount? I think so. Alright. So we got one fool, and we got oh, cheap. There you go. You guys are cool. You can do it. Um, am I going the right way? <laughs> Let's see. The Umibuzu is a mystical entity from the Japanese folklore. There are theories about it. Interesting. Interesting for sure. Poop. You can carry them back. That's gonna sprout out at least one Pikmin because I lost it. I lost it in the, in the depths. Mango said Pikmin Bowser. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Pikmin Bowser. All right. Let's get that back quicker. Pick it up, pick it up. So yes, if there's anybody that is brand new to the series and stuff, please feel free to ask questions. You know, I'm not here gatekeeping anybody's information or anything, so I will be happy to answer. Yellow Pikmin, you said, or red, I guess, because fire breathing. If it's a Bowser, yeah, probably red. So let's demolish this, and then we'll go. Well, let's collect that, and then we'll go. Except there's so much to discover. There's so much to look at. I want to see it all. We can also get the binoculars, but fine, we'll go, we'll go, okay. I'm scared that that's going to end the demo, though, if we go. <laughs> I don't want it to end. But fine, we'll go jump down. It's probably got other picking. Alrighty. So we got our 20 homies. Let's do what you guys. I already said the demo looks clean so far. Boy, 18 said, is the demo out? Hell yeah, it's out, brother. It's out for everybody. Welcome on in. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. 
Last Frost Cavern. So this is going to be where the ice Pikmin are. There's an icy blowhog, no longer just a fan-made creature. Uh, imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimatized to that cold air. I hate the cold, you guys. Bonnie. I am a reptile, okay? Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, any time you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin! That works. That works. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the Onion for the time being. Hmm? I don't have to do that. They're fine. Right? Auto? What is X? Auto? That did nothing. Oh, it it, it auto-takes them out. See, watch. So if you have, like, you know, 9, you press X, boom. And it gets you 20. Isn't that crazy? And what, 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 what are they telling me? It said it'll be hard to explore. Fine. I want them. <laughs> I thought it told me to put them up. All right. Came Frost said, aren't reptiles cold-blooded or am I tripping? That's the thing. I'm a reptile. They like heat because they're cold-blooded, so they go, you know, like a lizard will be basking out in the sun or like a, you know, turtle likes the sun hitting it and stuff because they like the heat because they're cold-blooded. All right. No. Um, no. He's picked up a castaway scent. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back safely. That's what you think. I could do a lot of stupid stuff. Boom, boom, and boom. Uh, Ochi, I didn't mean that. I meant rush, damn you. <laughs> He's like, I can't break this. Even Ochi can't chew his way through. I know that. It's a mistake. You ever heard of that? A mistake? I'm the rookie, remember? Interrupt my rush, will you? What's this? That's not treasure. Treasure or not? It does appear to contain some sparklium. Okay. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. So yeah, some of the creatures, I think, are going to get us just a tiny bit of sparklium. At least in the caves, maybe. So I don't think the uh, bullborb did, for example. He said, okay, well, I got turtles as pets, so I see it. Yeah. You know, they need, like, a light on them if they're your pet and stuff, like a heat lamp or whatever. Bash it, and then let's get two back on that. There you go. Get that nectar, son. It feels really weird without the charge button for the Pikmin. You know what I mean? Let's send that back sooner. Watch how fast this goes with Ochi. Man, he speeds it up, man. Go, guys, go. We got the compass back. No, no more sparklium, you guys. We don't want this to end. No ending with this sparkly. Everybody drink up. No, Shambler, not you. Just kidding. So there's the icy dudes. Get him! Man, there's something with the controls. Sometimes it's just a little... Oh, boy. Yes, that poor thing is frozen. Thanks for, you know... Is that poor thing frozen? Yes, it's frozen. Don't make my heart hurt. You know what I'm saying? Try the whistle. Yeah, I figured. Woo! <laughs> Ice Pikmin, ladies and gentlemen. Are these Pikmin too? Let's see. The voyage log says, I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures. Now we're voicing him like a surfer or something. I always thought of Pikmin as... Yeah, dude. Anyway, don't spray their heads with water. They don't like that. Aww. Who knew something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. I agree. Now, anyway. What? Ochi. Ochi. That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? No, 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 no. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Okay. But you see, watch this. You throw the ice Pikmin. And look. They've got a 5 out of 5. But it's icy. Does that mean we could actually get some more? Because that was going to be the question. Would it be red? You know? 
It's all we got is the reds. Pop. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, okay. It's the auto aim is on the nectar. <laughs> what? One of the pigmen got eaten by those fools. I didn't let it eat it. We swarmed its ease. All right, let's do this because that's going to be a mode to walk through. Anytime there's transportation of some kind, go Ochi, send, 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 send. Hey, 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 hey. See, this is a flaw. Ochi should. Somehow it worked. Now. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it's a flaw of some kind. Bree said, hello, I'm back. It's glad to have you back. Definitely glad. King Frost said, Ice Pikmin, as my name, can, you can tell, I would love to speedrun Pikmin 4 with nothing but ice. <laughs> that would be the bomb I think this takes seven. Oh, no, it takes five. Okay, that's fine. Let's do it. Here, we'll start bursting that. Oh, yeah, Ochi. No, we need to freeze those. That's it. The hydro jelly, you can't. So you actually can't hit them until they're frozen. See, do you see that? Pikmin won't do nothing. You actually got to freeze them. You are required. Anticlimactic and boom. Look at that. Ices came out. Let's get that onion, baby. Let's get that shmoney. Man, look at them all digging together. Can you dig it? All right. We got ice. They actually feel like they travel a little bit slower in the air, too, which is its a good touch. They should, right? You know? You know where all your Pikmin are? Yes. They're all right here. You don't have to keep asking me that. <laughs> all right. So let's see what happens with this thing. I'm, I'm very curious. Go faster. Okay. Here we go. Pro hero? Or is that prole hero? Says, it's smaller than the normal onion. There's another captain over there. Yes, recovered. We are going to be getting that captain, which should be Russ by all counts. But anyway, this onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. Okay. We could do that. See, look at how Ochi just stood there. That's what was making him get chomped up by the bull board man earlier. It was whack. But anyway. Let's go ahead, ice this up. We already got the paint, I forgot about that. Just like that, frozen solid. Yeah, I bet we could break it. You're right. That sounds genius. Okay, uh, here, let's just charge it. Did you see that? The hydro jelly. Okay, Ices, can you... Can you work on that, please? Thank you. Go, Ouch. All right, something else over here? No. No, nothing. Hydro jib. Oh, yeah. It's time. You guys, we about to get Russ, I would only imagine. So let's do it. <laughs> Pushy is a baby. Give him time. He laggy because he little. That could be. Maybe Ochi is, is just too little and he's like, hey... I, and I'm not so sure about you calling me over here. Calling me over here. Okay. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature. Transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. Okay. Ice. Oach. Red. There you go. You got one of everybody. All right, we can go a little faster. Sweet. Sweetness. So what happens if we go to that light? That's how to end it, right? Like to get out of here? But we don't want to get out of here. I never want to leave because time goes back to normal up there. <laughs> Detective Pikachu 2. Okie dokie. It's a mango town. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Let's take a look and see what their ID badge tells us. This is... Russ! An inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. You guys, there's only one kind of raw materials, so let's hope that they're the right ones. Thank the stars, he's all right. Okay, this is Russ, the scientist in charge of the repairs. We've kind of seen this before. 
You've been watching my videos, you guys? I like how you're giving Ochi the poochie treatment. Hey, whatever Ochi wants, Ochi gets in this, in this life. He can get on the furniture. All right. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. Okay. We gotta go back up sometime, says Super A. I will never go back. You guys can't make me. He's like, are you done? I'm like, hell no. Hey, Ochi. There he is. Ochi came back to you. That's because he's good. These other Pikmin just sit there like, yeah, so uh, what do you guys want to do now? Anyone got any jokes? What are the version of Pikmin jokes? Those ice Pikmin's got a very high voice. You know, Pikmin have different tonations a little bit, their voices. Shambler said, game is almost done. We've almost found all the officers. No. <laughs> no need to buy the game now. <laughs> We're going to beat it all. <laughs> all right, fine. I'll return to the service. I don't want to go. You guys, what the hell, man? I don't want this to end. Last Frost Cavern. Rescue Corps Officer. Rescues one. The Director of Destiny. <laughs> That's the compass. The creatures did give us 11 sparkling for seven of them. Refreshing goo. You gotta love some goop. Investigation complete! Okay. Sub-level details. Pikmin details. So you can see there's no onion icon or whatever by the ice. But hopefully... We are about to get that. We'll have to see if they're the flarelic bulbs or whatever instead, though. Oh, man, King Frost, I really do, you know, I appreciate that you're you're watching, man. I, I, I mean, you could play it after this, but you know, I'm just saying, it's, it's okay. If you need to go, I understand, but I just really do appreciate you guys watching this, man. It, it really does mean a lot to me. A hell of a lot to me, you guys. So they put the flag up because we have uh, we conquered it. Sure, I synchronized your clock, Dr. Kendo, but something's off. That is that time goes differently. About one-sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. So that's the thing. It's like uh, the quantum realm. You guys know that? Quantum mania? King Frost said, hopefully one more day. Can we just, one more day, let's <laughs> just keep squeezing days out of this. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Okay. New voyage log entry, and then... <laughs> onion just gonna absorb another onion. Oh. The onion sucked it up! The voyage log says that the white bulb is called... Flarlic. It's like garlic. Oh. But it's flarlic. And that's going to increase the number of Pikmin, you guys. So that is not going to be like a blank slate that's ice Pikmin or something. So, yeah. And this was kind of revealed in in the meteor. That's media. But, yeah, what's funny is we can't actually take out more because we already hit our mags. Because we got the ice. So, that was, you know, thanks, but, yeah. We got ice Pikmin now, you guys. So, we did see some bodies of water. Of water. So, we could actually go take these ice homies over to the water. We got a lot of ish we can do. But we also got a lot of ish we can't do. So, let's see. Can we ice? Will they pick that up? See, it's going to be red. Do you see that? So, that's actually not going to get us an ice Pikmin out of that. So, that is Wackness Incarnate. Come back to us, ice. Uh, here, wait. Ochi will come back, so we can send him to go do it. Ochi will actually walk all the way back to us. <laughs> Flarlick the garlic. Ari says, if the days are 15 minutes, so you could spend one and a half hours inside the cave. I'm so glad we got somebody who's more math inclined than me. And if you're like, no, I don't know ish about math, it doesn't matter, because I would not have done even that much. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you, and I thank you. <laughs> all right. I was a communication major in college, so, you know... What is that? Nothing, right? Can we not get up there to get those, them, them binoculars? Ochi has arrived. 
Well, thanks. We wanted Ochi. See, that's the thing. Ochi is probably the best servant of them all. He'll actually come back to us like a good boy. The Pikmin will not. So, I will say, there is, you know, there, there's certainly something we are intended to do, because we actually don't have all of the sparklium yet, you know? Um, and it's probably to throw these ice into the water to freeze it, although that says 30. Look. Look at that. Yeah, so, we actually don't even have enough to freeze that. Come back, ice homies. Alright. Ouch, you got that. So, you guys. Shamba said, I earned my BS. Yeah, Sham, I guess we never talked about if you went to college or not. You did, though, right? I thought you went. Uh, okay, so clearly I walked probably the wrong way of if you're, if you're talking about wasting time here. Um, so we may use Ochi's scent actions, although I don't really want this to end. So, you know, do we want to end? That is the question. And the answer is no. What about this metal plate? The metal plate is raised. Yes. We can barely see the other side. Okay. So can we just throw homies on it? That's probably going to be a negatory, because I'm just going <laughs> to get in this loop of throwing hoes. All right, then. Hey, come back to me. Ochi, where'd you go? I bet Ochi will do it, right? Is Ochi going to get the metal? Oh, we have to get on the other side and probably throw the Pikmin on the top of it. You see that? It's got a little handle thing. Probably yellows have to, like, grab it or something. Because, look, I'm going to send Ochi and he don't know what to do. For once. Smash Killer said, tell the other chat that YouTube chat says hello to them. Shambler over here on YouTube, we're saying hi. Smash Killer said it. Uh, I just keep sending Ochi back with the <laughs> pellets. Alrighty. Mango said, I hope they don't replace the blue Pikmin. Said, no, blue Pikmin are in here. Like, it, if you're interested in Pikmin, by the way, Mango time, I've got now, like, what is it, King Frost? Probably, like, five, six videos on Pikmin 4 analysis and stuff. So we've definitely done our, our work for it. Yeah, look at that. Look at them hanging there. Oh, God. We're going to die. That was a mission to our deaths, clearly. Hey, I thought that was a blowhog. That's just the waffle-looking area. Okay. So we can't get that, clearly, up here. That is not gettable. We need yellows. And I'm about to run out of daylight again. <laughs> Maybe I will take another day to do this. <laughs> I was thinking, man, it's gonna make us finish right now. There's just so much to explore and so much time to waste. I love wasting time. Oh man, those pigmen got stuck in there? Okay, we good. So that's the water again. I mean, this is fine with me. I just hope it's cool for you guys. You know, I, I don't want y'all to be like, God, he's wasting so much time. This sucks ass. But I want to waste time. I want to see every single last thing, you know. I don't want this to end. So we can't go that way because we know that. One more day. What is it, three days? Is the demo, like, confirmed for three days? Is that something we know? Maybe we have to build that bridge. Maybe they're going to be like, hey, we have rust now. You know, as we, as we build the bridge. Or maybe that's for the next day. Let's see. Watch out. Was this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. Yes. Well, you know, we need somebody for that. And his name is Russ. But it looks like we can't do it right now. Do the rewind button feature. <laughs> Let's just play that all over again just because. How do you actually do it? Let's see. I was going to look just to see what's the rewind command here. Leave all but ice here. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. So your pup Ochi could actually sniff out. Wow. Can you sniff out an onion? Follow the scent, Ochi. Yeah, where's an onion? You're not just taking me to the onion I already have, right? He's probably taking me to the flarlick that's up here. Yeah, okay. He's taking me to that. Alright, we already knew that. Sorry, Ochi. Can I get him to stop? Okay, command. 
Um, is he just gonna find the ones in our squad? Follow the scent, Ochi. Follow the scent to the ice. I want to see the ice. The switches rewind feature. Classic end day music with a remix. Yeah, I like that. That's what I was trying to say in, in the video. I put some text that was like, Ochi, what are you crazy? There ain't no ice right here. He wants us to jump down in there. The scent's coming from inside the cave. Okay, well, can we go back in and get more ices? Like, if I put these back in the ship, could I go? Is that how I get more ice? You guys? So, let's see. I probably should have been using this to be actually smart. That probably would have been when would have been good, right? I think they did intend for us to end the day here, like this. You know, I don't think they intend for us to do something more with this day. And I think that that means that there's going to be another day. Because, look, we don't have 1,500 on our sparks. The sparklium. So, ladies and gentlemen, we get to have another day. Another day. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Pro Hero says, I think it's three days or more. It depends if you're trying to get more stuff. That's the thing, is I've been wasting all of the time. Controller charger disconnected. <laughs> um, I don't have a charging cable long enough to stretch. It, it's like, seriously, it's the... How long is this cable? That's like maybe one foot, approximately. It's the one that came with this from Pokemon Let's Go. You know, it comes with a little tiny cable. I don't know where the hell my long cable went, man. I've got a cable for everything except for that. We just got this little tiny, tiny, tiny one. So right now I have it plugged in, but my arms are all the way over here. King Frost says, really? Let's see. It would be hyped. Mango time said, glow pickies. Man, if we got to play a night mission, wouldn't that be nuts? So there it is, you guys. There's Russ. Looking like me if I was bald. Except for, I don't know, I'm not cone-headed, I guess. Prol Hero said, I'm a check. If I can get that blue onion in the distance, man, that would be nuts. I don't know how we would get that. Uh, yeah, okay. Jeez, that one day did us 14%. I can't believe we did 1% on that other day. <laughs> That's how much I shrecked time. Oh, no. oh my gosh. <laughs> Good to see you made it here in one piece. Hey, the guy just got rescued. Give him a chance to... I gotta hear his voice so we know how to voice him. Okay. No doubt it's the emergency escape system I developed. So he made the emergency escape system. Aww. Aww. That may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. Let's see if I can hear his voice here. Okay, well, it's Colin talking. <laughs> now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if you came across any rocks like this Valley. oh my god his voice is like Valley. oh Colin 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 not only did I see them I've already completed very thorough research on this material you need 30 ice to get to the blues that's the thing I wonder pro hero could I jump back down you know it's like our squad is 30 right now so could I put them all up jump down into the, dis the cave again even though I've already jumped down in there and get more ice <laughs> That would be the bomb beat. I discovered that when heated, the rocks became soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form you desire. Mule. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. <laughs> Mango said, what if you just beat the entire game like this? <laughs> that would be great, but they only let us go to 1500 <laughs> on the sparkly cool doesn't even begin to describe it this is the one the ultimate biomass i've been searching for my entire career you guys we about to make this guy's career in one day jeez he's upgrading 3d printers they really can make anything we could just 3d print our asses out of here you know what i'm saying recovered said you need certain events to progress yeah yeah it's just uh smash killer said jump down with only ice is worth the shot I was just thinking, jump down with, like, one ice pigment, you know, and then, like, just gather the rest of them down there. If they're, if they're back. I mean, Ochi said it. 
You wouldn't want to make Ochi a liar, would you, Pigment? Okay. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our re rescue operations, I was going to say research, to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. Yeah, we got that. I see you've used a pen. I guess I don't need to tell you that it's as easy as selecting a mission. Yeah. Commend your instincts. Okay, thanks. Well, commend my instincts and shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. Get ouched! Dude, Super Ray, that's gonna be the new term, man. When I blast some enemy with ouchy, get ouched, son! Look how massive he is, you guys. This is what's gonna open up a whole field of opportunity for us. Is it me? Or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? Us. It's just you. I think, in fact, we all grew, but you just stayed the same, Colin. That's actually quite typical for his breed. Remember that, you guys? Remember when Shepard was saying that in the direct? It's a sign that he's now fully grown, so he's not going to grow any more than that, I guess. Okay. <laughs> the Pikmin sure are playful today. <laughs> Pikmin like a bigger Ochi, clearly. Just glad to see they're getting along. Another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive, you guys. Amazing. With regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. From the looks of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. Let's do it. Right. To your stations, please. Copy that. Day four of the one day demo, <laughs> Shamlet. <laughs> yes. That term is so funny, it's perfect. Oh, getting ouched, son. Okay, first things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Gee, it would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done. Good job. The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected into the field into all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Excellent. Yes. Megatron, anybody from Beast Wars? Excellent. Yes. It's kind of uh, channeling Smithers. Excellent. Yes. One last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. Okay, I have no doubt they'll be useful to you. Eddie. Pikmin military base. Yeah, Smash Killer's like, bridge, 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 bridge. Okay, sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but raw material too. Son, I've been doing that the whole time. We're counting on you to find them. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'd like to discuss Ochi's training. Owachi. Copy that. King Frost at Beast Wars throwback. Yeah, on some streams before I met you, we were talking about Beast Wars all over the place, like how dope Rat Trap and Dinobot's relationship was. They are like Shredder and Krang from Ninja Turtles, you know, like this couple that would bicker. They were like a married couple bickering. <laughs> oh, man. Remember Shredder and Krang, everybody? That'll be a real big throwback. That's my childhood, man, the Ninja Turtles. Okay. Krang would be like, Shredder, you think I'm poop? We can't go into another dimension. And he'd be like, shut up, Krang. I have to go get my plates in China. And he's like, you son of a Shredder. Shambler said, dude, it was the same voice actor that played both of them too. Yeah, that's uh, Travis McNeil, right? Scott McNeil. That, wasn't that his name? You're a Dinobot. <laughs> Remember, he always did that, like, purr thing. <laughs> And then Rat Trap sounded like that. You know, he's always, yeah, you stinker. Dinobot would just be like, you shut up, you vermin. 
Okay. It's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous. That was a nice tangent, you guys. <laughs> all right. Learn all of Ochi's skills. What if her voice is Dinobot and Rat Trap? That's it. <laughs> we'll just say it like that. Um, Smash Killer's like, Shredder my body, but crank. <laughs> Shredder my body! That's how you'd voice it. This rescue pup training curriculum has been passed down through many generations. King Fry said, dang, I need to go back and watch those videos of yours. I grew up with Beast Wars and Dino Bot's next form toy. Yeah, the, the videos that I'm talking about where we, where we discussed it was on a stream and so King Frost I actually it's my other YouTube channel that I do cards I don't know if you're into Pokemon but we were just opening Pokemon cards and uh, while I was opening those I was just talking about Beast Wars on that with people like Shambler and some people here like Smash Killer that crossover in audience because I have two YouTube channels I know it's getting complicated I guess if anyone's interested I'll link you to the Pokemon Go channel if that's your thing but um no, definitely don't subscribe just to do it. Like, only do it if you think you'd want to watch that kind of stuff. But yeah, we stream usually once a week over there doing Pokemon cards and stuff. Um, anyway, go to go the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, which we do. I think the buff is honestly one of the best things to start with. Like, carrying is the best. Ochi is amazing for carrying stuff because it'll actually come back to you. So I think the buff is going to be very good. Uh, keep proper Dondori practices in mind. Think carefully. Yeah, yeah. So we have three on our pup drive, you guys. Neo Blitz says, I can do a really good impression of Master Splinter from the 2003. I didn't watch enough of the 2003. I remember Raphael's voice went to, you know, like more gangster, like the movie, like the 90s movie. It always, now I'm mad. Uh, Neo Blitz. Um, King Frost said, true, true. I'll check it out. You need purple pigment for real? Or for the yellow onion? Really, pro hero? Dang. Um, let's see. Learn rush. This skill shor shortens the... Yeah, we, we know what the rush does. We've read all that. So learn command. Okay. Use this skill to tell your partner to go to your base or to call them to you. It also enables go here on the radar map. So that is actually kind of important. Look at this. You guys, that's amazing. So you could get Ochi to go back. The thing about go here on the radar map, like that was the freshest in Pikmin 3. Go here allowed you to be so uh, efficient or whatever. See, so now they're doing go here. So the captain is going to go to that spot and then you command Ochi. Man, that's killer. Look at that. See how they did that efficiency? I might get that, to be honest, you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pro Hero said, I won't spoil it, but someone familiar is in the demo guarding the blue Pikmin. For real? So Louie's guarding the blues? <laughs> Man, if it was like Al for somebody from Pikmin 3, I, I would love that. Smash Killer said, it's a shell of a time. Or town, I guess was the... Uh, Super A, I'm not really keeping up with MSM news right now. Mango Time said, it's a me, Super Mario RPG Remake. Yeah. Base, face said, recovered. Okay, you guys. So, what do y'all think? I'm going to give this to the chat, okay? So, learn command level two. Or learn buff level two. So, I'll let you guys do that. Um... But yeah, Recovered said you have three pub drives. Everything is upgraded once except heal. Yeah, that's the thing. I was talking about that in my video is that like we could upgrade buff, you know, for just one. But heal and command, now that we see that, dude, command seems flipping fresh. Like that is going to be my next thing if we don't get that right now. But I'm seeing what you guys say in the chat. But yeah, there's so much crossover. If you're doing impressions, it's like uh, if you think about Krang and you think about this Pikmin voices I've been doing and stuff, a lot of them have the same use of the voice that like Gary Oak from Pokemon did in the anime. You know, he's like, I'm not surprised you showed up late. I'm surprised you showed up at all. You know, Ash is a loser. That sort of thing. 
Okay, so it looks like Mango said buff. Yeah, Smash Killer said buff. See you guys. Looks like we are going buff. I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have picked Command if it was just left up to me. But I wanted this to be part of the chat as well. And so the good thing is, we actually can also learn something else. When it comes to sharpening, Chomp is a long one, but worth it. We've read that before. Um, the Chomp is many times stronger than the original. For example, it can take down a Pellet Posey in a single bite. Dang! Dude, so what does three have? Okay, if you get lost or just need more of them, you can direct Ochi to gather Pikmin. I should have done command. I'm telling you, man. Dude, King Frost, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about that before, dude. Ochi, he goes and actually gathers the Pikmin. You guys, command, man. Command. Holy. That's awesome. But hey said get buff there's not really any enemies right now command would have been the move i think i think i made the wrong choice trusting you guys i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just kidding it's no big deal um so we mastered buff so next time i'm getting command i think screw chomp and all that oh she's fine how he is um learn super buff okay so that's interesting what skill could be better than buff how about super buff it gives ochi the strength of 20 pikmin Holy, you guys, the strength of 30 Pikmin. Look at this. Dude, Oji's carrying an entire mini pumpkin by himself. What? A hundred Pikmin. You guys, holy nuts. Neo Blitz said Ashy Boy. <laughs> yeah, the DJ. Did I say hi to you, the DJ, by the way? Um, he said, okay, that's late game. Yeah, super buff, man. It only costs two pup drive, too. It's not like six or something. Holy nuts. You guys. So what is three, then? That's ten Pikmin is three. So, yeah. You guys, holy monkeys. That's all I can say is holy. It's, uh, King Frost said, what, what? But, yeah, command is fresh. Look at that. This is just what I was talking about. I was like, wouldn't it be so great if Ochi could go back and actually, like, pick up the Pikmin for us and stuff? He can do it with Command 3. We wouldn't have been able to get that, though, because we would have used our 3 pup drive on Command Level 2, which is still good. Okay. okay, you put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Now I have a special treat for you. Here we go. Going forward, every time you complete training, you get a scrummy bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward for me. Well, I feel that we should only give it to him when his HP's low, right? Yes, this is an opportune time to use item or show us how to use items. You open the pack. Yeah, recovered. That's one thing we have to learn still. <coughs> but yeah, Mango time, we would have been able to get Command 2. We just wouldn't have been able to get Command 3 right now. Um... Command 2 is, is freshness, you guys. But here, let's go ahead and visit Russ. Uh -huh. Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of this rescue core operation. Handmade components. Okay, so he's going to make our items and gear. We know that, but let's go see them and see if there's something new we can look at. You can even see I have it down to a science! In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. What if we voiced him like Denzel Crocker because he freaked out at science? You know, when he said the word science, it'd be like fairies. The fairies! I know the source of their secret powers. It must be the fairies! Okay. Survey drone. It only costs 10. The charging horn. <laughs> I feel like I've got to have that. I've been getting so tired of not being able to just charge <clears throat> my Pikmin at them. Um, Scorch card would be nice. I don't want Ochi getting burned, but it costs a hundred. So, I'm not really looking for that yet. Thermal defense, by the way. Wear this to keep your fluctuating body temperature in line. Never freeze again. <clears throat> Same with Ochi right there. That is terrible, by the way, to look at Ochi get frozen in that first one. Um, but yeah. Two plus two equals fish! Exactly. But yeah, let's do the charging. We're gonna also get the survey drone, because it's cheap as hell. So look at this, you guys. Survey drone. Item. Emergency kit. This life-saving item will protect you from getting knocked out. Plus, it detects your low HP and automatically heals you. It's like a fairy. 
Fairies! From uh, Legend of Zelda. <laughs> fairies. So yeah, we definitely gonna need some scrummy bones. Oh. Oh. You should always keep one equipped. Sure. Takes five. So what is the scrummy bone gonna cost? It's super foe, the replenishes HP, we know that. It's the least you can do. So yeah, those are pretty cheap, but they're consumables. We'll get one. We'll just get one, okay? And then we'll get one of these. All right. Uh, Pro Hero said, man, the demo is long. It's just me taking two hours and 32 minutes on it. It's probably not that long. All right. So, gear, you guys, we could actually get a guard, but no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait to get Ochi's guards. I don't need no guards. I'm not the one fighting. All right. I'd love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the Charging Horn! <laughs> Look at how determined he is. Yes, you just oh, press yeah. X. Only your selected Pikmin or Oshi, but you can keep pressing X and the entire squad charges. I think we know that. Super Ray said 2 plus 2 equals fish should become a meme that's on uh, fairy god fairly odd parents. King Frost said make the right upgrades. It's been that long, lol. It's freeze immune. Wait, that's just natural. <laughs> yeah, that's just my natural body. <laughs> freeze immunity. Uh, before you get guards, see what aspect enemy types are more relevant. Probably so, recovered. I mean, we can't get them yet. You know, we can't do nothing. So, you guys, let's just see our new huge Ochi take down a flower. Oh, look at that. Ugh. He's huge. Boom. And now he's got the power of 10. You're straight up purple Pikmining that Ouch. Good stuff, man. I love the little sounds that he makes. He's like, oh. Okay. Here we go, you guys. Explore. We get to do yet another day because I'm taking my sweet time. And yeah, you're right. Dude does look kind of like a robot. Whoever was saying that earlier. Who was that? Was that Bree? All right. Ready to explore. Pinuko. What did you just say to me? Puku? OP purple Pikmin? That's what I'm talking about, man. Them purples. They give out purples and Pikmin bloom like it's water. I guess they give all the Pikmin out that way. <laughs> day 10 of the one day demos at Chamber. <laughs> it's going to be me with my beard all grown out. Okay, you guys. We're on day 1604 or 5. We got to rescue some more Pikmin. Survey drone. Yeah. If you want to see the tips. Pins dropped on the surface will remain in place until you remove them. Pins dropped in caves will disappear when you leave the sublevel. We've seen the art of Dondori. If all Pikmin are lost, the onion will release a single seed. Seeds will not be produced for Pikmin. Something I couldn't read. All right. Here we go again. Took you two hours, you might return to the area that you're at to do a clean of the area. Yeah, pro hero, man, I do as much as you can. <laughs> I've been wasting a lot of time. Purposely, you guys. As we discussed earlier, Ochi has grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. This is where we're going to be doing it. We're going to do it big. Look at that. Never could we jump in Pikmin, but now we can jump. Press it again to dismount. Oh, that's the coolest when you like have all the Pikmin on with him and then you just boom, charge an enemy and they all land on it. Press X when you want Ochi to use jump. Should have no problem clearing small ledges. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build this power. Yeah, yeah. Launch the Pikmin, yes. Using jump will give you access to more search areas. Yep. Thanks, Shepard. French and Aerator voice. 2,000 years later. You're right. You guys! I'm riding OG! Amazing! Battery depleted. <laughs> Amazing! And then that. So just one hot second. I just need to grab the... Uh, there's a battery pack that I have. You know, one of those, like, uh, for charging your phone and stuff like that. But we'll put this on it with the cord. Because otherwise, maybe we could use Joy-Con, but I don't know. Ugh. This is just going to take one second. Coming back! 
it's one of these. This is one of those that's like solar, solar battery or whatever. I mean, you can plug it in or whatever, but it's uh, can also get power from the sun. So I can just have that here with me. Look at me, man. Not prepared at all. Okay. L and R on the controller. And still like, come on, man, I'm on my last breath. All right, you guys, enough wasting time. Let's get those, get those. All right. Smash Killer was like, quick, someone say a bad word. Hey, you guys could say bad words. That's fine with me. I'm trying to keep it a little bit cool just for my <laughs> for my demo. I said a few words here and there, but you know. Few baddies. Man, Ochi's quick now, son. Alright, so let's go ahead and ride. Riding my pony. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's riding my Ochi. Okay, we'll process raw material into clay. Yeah, we've seen it, man. We've seen the video. These raw materials are only valuable when brilliant minds give them a higher purpose after all. <laughs> Russ building himself up. Mango Time said, this is a math problem, but in a world where magic and fairies... Oh, yeah. <laughs> in a world where magic and fairies exist. No ice Pikmin for ice cave? Really, Smash Killer? No ice... Wait. I meant to jump. There we go. Sitting here, trying to eh, do stupid stuff. So, you can throw while you got the Pikmin while you're on the back of Ouch. We kind of knew that. You can do like a drive-by. Can we go down again? New cave discovered, you guys. Is there going to be a bomb in there? Again, I'm wary taking out bombs right now. I'm a little leery what I'm going to blow up here. Yeah, I am checking out my surroundings. You're telling me that as I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm very curious what's in there. I presume it would be a bomb, right? <laughs> uh, new treasure collected. 800 sparklium collected. No! Stop collecting sparklium. Oh, wow. That had a lot of raw materials. Okay. Worth. More sparklium? Soon we can increase the radar's range. Let's not do that, okay? Let's just take our time, everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going way too fast. Can I call them from over here? That would be sweet. Recovered said, bro is not riding. He's floating. <laughs> Turn camera perspective. Yeah, that's the thing. See, when we go on bumps, he's like, eh, 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 eh. And he barely touches. When he's still, he looks like he's kind of kind of on, I guess. But yeah, like this, he's floating. <laughs> Ugh. It's a bumpy ride, man. All right, so I guess we're going in the cave again. Although there are plenty of things for us to explore. Like back there, there's the baseball. I'm scared. I don't want that baseball to make us end the day, though. Got it. Random non-onion food increases sparkles. Oh, can we reach that flarlic blub? Now that we're on the back of Ochi? Is that possible? Like, can we jump and throw? Okay, no, you cannot throw while you're jumping. I'm trying right now. <laughs> but, hey, we're on the back of him, so it seems like... What the... I was looking at it earlier. Oh, it's because I jumped. So they can't actually do it. Look, I'm on it. I'm aimed on it. I'm trying to cheat the system. That's so much crap. Oh, there we go. I think they don't want me to do that, though. I really don't think so. Is it because I just need to be, like, right here? I feel like they don't want me to do that. You guys see that? Oh, yeah, we could just rush into it. I guess that's, you know... Oops. <laughs> Knocked the Pikmin the hell out. But yeah, I actually got two up there. That's the crazy thing. Let's just throw massive amounts of power at it. We will get this ball. If it's the last thing I do. But it might actually be the last thing I do because it might win the game for us. Win the demo. We did it. We did it. That was so clunky, man. That was so clunky. That had to have been wrong. You know what I'm saying? 
Maybe we just get in that cave and come out on the top. <laughs> that seems like it was the wrong thing. Like we were, we should not have been able to. But I did it. I did it. Please don't let that be the end. Um, so let's not jump in there quite yet. Let's, uh... I guess we gotta do the bridge. Uh, look at me abandoning my task as soon as we started. Abandoned task. Watch that baseball, though, be worth like 800 sparklium. And then the game's over. Eh. Ree said... That was probably for the yellows or pinks. Yeah, I, I can I can assure you, I, I think they wanted us to use yellows. On that and the Flarlick proudly up here. <clears throat> but what's going on, Reese? Mango Time said the end. Dude, if this if this ends it for us, I'm gonna rewind time or something. So it looks like they can only go up to 15. I feel like I can't get any more Pikmin on it. Prol said. It only lets you get to 1500 before the demo kicks you out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I didn't want it to. <laughs> I don't I don't want to. Alrighty. See, I could seriously stretch this out to at least three more days, you guys. Right? If I don't do efficient stuff. Alright, I'm sure we can get up there, right? Hmm? Hmm? They don't want us to get there yet. It was in the... Okay, ADHD kicking in, you guys. Let's let's get this bridge. <laughs> Can we do the bridge now? Will it let us? You surprised there's no boss in the demo? Yeah, I guess you would think maybe that they would do that. Okay, so we need those. There she blows, you guys. We making clay. All right. Yeah, look over there. There's a blue onion way up there. That's what we were talking about, me and uh, I think it was Pro up there. You, unless you do the, oh, unless you do the Dondori cave. Is there a Dondori in the demo? You could spoil it for me. I don't mind. Oh. oh, construction of the clay bridge is complete. The ADHD of the Pikmin people. Go ahead, cross it. What, is that a challenge? I can cross a bridge. I'm not scared much. Pro said ye. You guys, uh, that means we could actually play Dondori. All right, then. Well, bridges always number one thing. If you're trying to go fast or you're trying to be efficient, bridges are good. Yeah, you need yellow Pikmin from a cave, though, or you can't access it. So, yeah, we, we, I saw that there was at least two caves right now that we, uh, we have not explored. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, yep, still can't reach it. <laughs> still can't reach the flalic. Yeah, Reese was like, I need to download the demo right now. It is super epic. Can we cheat it? Can we cheat the system? Yes, we can. Except for that was probably how they wanted you to do it, right? That seemed epic to me, though. Let's actually do this first. Eh. No, 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 no. Don't land on my head. Ouch. Come back. Okay, here, you know what's the best to do, is to have Ochi dig that up. Those guys double back around when I got that paper bag. Ow, 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 it's pushing me! Hey, get out of my way! <laughs> Dude, there's another cave, you guys. This is insane. So we got an icy bull borb dwarf. Really? There's gonna be an icy one? Okay, for now, I probably won't spoil any other stuff. Unless I... Maybe ask you and get curious about something. No, not a thousand sparklium. Holy dick. I don't want more. Oh, Jesus. So we talked about this in my videos. If you defeat them while they are frozen, you don't bring back the carcass for any, you know, benefits or whatever. Um, and that's fine. I don't... I was like, what the hell's moving me? <laughs> There's one of our pigments. Uh, so let's see. So that's... What is that? 39? Yeesh. Listen to Ochi. I just told him to build and he's gonna go build with us on his back. That's amazing. Look at that. Good boy. Oh gosh, stop collecting random things, said Smash Killer. I'm sorry, man. I just, I have a problem. I like to collect 
You see how much toys and stuff and games of old from the 90s I got back there? Smash killer, you remember? Okay, well I canceled him doing the bridge task, so... Now I gotta find my way back. Was that raw material there and I didn't pick it up, or was that... No, we haven't been over there yet. Okay. We gotta get yellow Pikmin for that. You guys. I'm collecting way too much sparklium. The all sparklium. There's this thing about Optimus Prime, Peter Cullen voicing him. That the best was him saying the words the war. I talked to some of my subscribers from the previous stuff like about this before. You guys remember that? Whenever he says the war, it just sounds epic, you know. You have joined the war. The war. Alright, so that clay bridge is going to get done. Let's see. We should go to a cave. Time stops there, really. One-sixth. But, you know, it's the quantum realm. So are they going to go back, or do they stay? I guess they stay here, because that's the test. Uh, yeah, man, you got the mini notebooks. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Ash I remember when we discovered that. But I was even just thinking about the N64 games and all that other stuff that I got. I'm a collector. We're building! Boom! Alright, is this where the rocks come down and smash us? The boulders? I am Bender, please insert girder. Okay. See, I don't know if I should take that hoe back. I, I want to keep my Pikmin because I'm probably going to go down a cave. So then I keep them here with me. I'm thinking rocks come down here, so just be ready for me to freak. All right, no rocks. It was good that I was prepared. Dude, there's so many caves. Which one am I gonna actually go into? Look at this. You guys. Mango time said sparkles. Whoa, radar map. Dude, there's a cave there. There's a cave everywhere. What does the time do? Does that give me more time for the day? That's what I need. Yeah, my god, there's there's all these caves. See, we've done that one. You guys. I don't know which one to do. There's four of these hoes. Uh Prol said, I'm gonna have to replay the demo. <laughs> He's like, oh a cave. Hey, what's going on, Barmy Juggler? How you been? Thank you for being here. I guess we're gonna go into this cave, man. I'm gonna be honest, I don't I don't wanna finish. Aquiferous Summit. Wow. I found a hole that should lead out to the top of the mountain, but the inside was more convoluted than expected. And now uh, only now do I see a light at the end of the tunnel. If I ever make it out of this place, I'll deserve a good rest. This one seems like it's gonna be sketch. Yeah, Barmy said first one. Maybe that means this one. So, you guys, I think we're going down to the Aquiferous Summit. Uh, Pearl said, in a, unlocking all the caves. What are you saying? You have to replay the demo and unlocking all the caves with all the Pikmin, but I need the caves. Reese said, I just bought the bundle and the demo is installing. No, Dr. Kendo, stop collecting random junk. Dr. Kendo, I can't help it. They're so beautiful demo ends. <laughs> no! I don't want the demo to end. I'm serious. Unfinished tasks on the surface will be called off. We don't have no unfinished tasks. But look at this lava, dude. Like, we are going to get shrekt in here. Our ice pigment are. There's a paper crane. Look at that. This makes me want to look at the preview images of the other caves and decide. Because this one's going to be like fire and maybe white Pikmin. I don't know. It's going to be the red Pikmin. He said, I wonder if he could get some Pikmin in there. Let's. Because once I go in, don't I have to come out by doing it? Like, I can't just go out if I made a mistake, right? There's no rewind time yet, right? Let's see. How do I tablet menu? Uh, Can I rewind time now? I don't think I can yet. Like we haven't gotten it or whatever. The ability to do it. Right? Mango Time said Shrek 2. 
uh, Super Ray said, how about doing everything within the demo before ending? I'm trying, man. I'm trying to do everything. We are stretching this so thin. Uh, look at our side missions. An ode to science. Yeah, so you guys, so pro, so I can jump back out? Okay, then. I'll just do it. The thing is, I don't think it's going to let... I'm scared to kill our ice Pikmin, but I guess we'll take them. <laughs> this was a very difficult choice, okay? All right, this says, Don't worry about gathering Pikmin before moving to the next sub-level. Even Pikmin that are currently outside your squad will follow you. All right, then. I mean, there's Hydro Jelly, and that's only ice, right? So, it seems like we had to have Ice Pikmin here. The question is, do we have enough to freeze that water? This is straight up Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, wait, we have Ochi now. Ochi could just swim us across, right? Resident good boy. So, yeah, Hydro Jelly burst. And the cave stops time or whatever. So, we could just do this as much as we want right now. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, what about charging with the Pikmin? Oops. We have to get off Oach to do the charge. Okay, just send all my Isis. That was a good idea. Isis? Not a good idea. Alright. Alright, y'all. We doing the dang thing. Oach, you can't swim yet? Okay. Well, that's a good... That's good that you told me. Because I would have just jumped right in. We would I would have killed us all. You might be able to get enough ice in the cave. That's what I'm hoping. Is that we pick up these guys after we do this. Whatever's happening right here. We'll pick up those ice pigments. And we'll do it. Alright, so that was basically for nothing. <laughs> all that work. Alright, icy hoes. Can y'all come out? Thank you. There we go, man. We got 25 ice pigment. Hey, it only takes 10. Nice. Wonderful. King Frost said, GG's, man. Great watching you. I have to save some demo for myself. Thank you so much, brother. So awesome to have you. Wow, how amazing is that? The water froze almost in uh, uh, da, da, da. instantaneously. Okay. The ice melted. Is that it? Maybe that was... No. That's just going down further. Can you guys come to me or... Is that not possible? They can't get up now. When the ice melts, do they... Huh. They're fine, right? They're not gonna die? They don't seem to be freaking out. So ice Pikmin will not die in the water. They'll just refreeze it. Okay. Cool. But look at that, you guys. It's like one of the Nintendo trading cards. Nintendo started as a card company. That's beautiful. That was also in Pikmin Bloom. They had card decor. So finally, my knowledge of Pikmin Bloom, you guys, coming into uh, fruition here. Amazing. But that gave us Sparklium, which is a no-no. All right. But that was Butamus. Very cool. Sorry, Ice Pikmin. We're going to leave you. I, I I, can't get them. Oh, wait. Yeah. I... Wait. I think I can get them and then jump. Watch this. Pro strats. Oh, what? Pro move. Okay. Pikmin currently outside your squad will come with you. Oh, then it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. Then jump before ice melts. Yeah, exactly. Recovered. That was the thing. You just get them and then boom. Who else thought the first boss was too easy? Pro said, be careful. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, waiting for amiibo treasures. Amiibo treasures. That would be cool, man. I'd love some amiibo functionality because I just want to have amiibo for this game. If they got an Ochi amiibo, I'd be freaking out. There must be a castaway nearby. That's the thing. Are we going to get some castaway that we weren't intended to get? Are we doing something we're not intended to see? I feel like this is a cave we're not supposed to see for some reason. Okay. Well, anyway. 
Uh, eh. We can't get up there. Okay. That's going to be the end. Because it's got the beam of light. Beam me up, Scotty. All right. Let's do it. Hmm. There's going to be some pro strats needed here. We have to be on the other side of that. So the bad thing here is that ice Pikmin are going to melt like hell in that lava. And I'm going to only assume that without the Scorch Guard, Ochi cannot traverse that. So... This is fully realizing that it might be very bad, okay? Something awful might happen. No, nope, you have something awful happen. Get, get, get back, get back, get back. So yeah, that happens. Ochi can't get past his fence. So he waits there or we find a new route. Yeah. So, oh, you're supposed to go without Ochi. Okay, that makes sense. Like this. Ochi's like, why? Why leave me? Throw them onto the pillars. Oh, really? You throw the reds? Oh, throw ice onto the stone pillar? Or throw red onto the stone pillar? Huh. Army said, yeah. Man, these hydro jellies are huge. But they're frozen now, so let's break them. So we do need to somehow get Oshi over here. Because we got to jump onto that button. All right, look at all that raw material, you guys. Wondrous. We are doing this thing. So there was a paper crane up there, as you guys saw. And to get up this way, maybe we just need to do that. Is that 10? Yeah, we cool, we cool, jeez. All right, good job. Come back to me, Pikmin. Okay. Sweet sweetness. You need five more ice before the blues. Really? Okay. So, now we can actually walk up here without doing that, but do you guys want to... I, I can try throwing an ice at this just to see. I think it's going to end badly, but... Yeah. That ends badly. I'm trying to call him back. And red. Ah, so red can destroy it. So it's supposed to be red the whole time. Oh, God. Did I throw an ice at that? I didn't throw an ice. I just had reds. Sizzling floor extinguish. Say, so, yeah. We probably could have done that from the start. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Prol said, good luck. Thank you, brother. All right, let's see. We're going to need to get them reds back. Okay. Uh, jump. Not whistle. Okay, what are we doing here? We're making a bridge. Yeah, reds immune to fire. Did an ice die? I didn't think an ice died. I thought I got him. Look at this. We got a little puzzle piece, and we got some of that. That's one sparkly stone. You're telling me. Guessing it contains some sparkling. Well, hey, don't you know these things? You're supposed to know it all. Okay. Here we go. New treasure collected. We feel like we didn't need to build this. Can we have jumped? Sweet clay mound completed, you guys. All right. New treasure collected. We are doing this thing. Pile of nuggets transported. Uh huh. Now we can go back. We can do the button. We need this demo to keep going. <laughs> yes. We need this demo to keep going as long as possible. So we can probably get that crane from here. I don't want to. Because of Sparklium. 
Iron fence lowered. Okay. So, if you had, like, yellows, you could probably do this cave, too, where you throw them on the button, you know, and then it would have been fine. Oh, does the button stay down? Okay. That's cool. Cool with me, man. I guess we'll collect the crane. I'm not really feeling it. I don't want to. If you don't collect the sparklium, doesn't that mean we can do all the stuff? Yeah, maybe. Wait, so... Oh, I can get the blues now because of the... I've got enough ices? Ices sounds like Isis. I gotta stop saying that, man. Because I've got enough ices. There you go. With 35 Pikmin. All right, brother. Then let's go get some blues. We got the blues, baby. That was only 40. We still good, G's. We're stretching this thing thin. Stretching the demo and all of that. We're stretching it thin, boys. Let's do it. Go Ochi and... Okay. Too late. Ow. Alright, we got the captain. Rescue Corps member person. Not really captain. Castaway. Somebody in the comments was like, Stop calling them captains. I was like, Roger that. I think we might have found another rescue officer. Verify their ID info. Yes, don't lose any ice. His name is Schnoz. Schnoz like a nose. His uh, home planet is Sigure, an acclaimed treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. So now we can probably see treasure that's there on the ground, and we can... This is no rescue officer, huh? The ID shows that he's a treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Oh, no. oh okay. So it's all coming together, you guys. This demo looking long. I'll be almost out stretching the stream because it's good. Thank you, King Frost. Yeah, we just did some dope stuff, King. We just got this dude. So here's the thing. You guys, in some of my videos, I actually noted that there was somebody at the base camp that was wearing different clothing than us. So, like, we all had red in that video, and there was one guy that was, uh, it, it was in white and blue-ish or whatever. Pro Hero said, I got him from a different cave. So you got that guy, too? Maybe it just makes the next castaway always in a certain order. Yeah, he says, so doesn't that mean the castaways are random? I think it's either that or that you get them forced in an order. So, like... No matter which cave we went to and whichever castaway we would get next, it would always be that guy, I'm, I'm guessing, if you got him in a different cave. Um, maybe they ended up like Captain Olimar 2, shipwrecked and stranded. It's my hunch. I'd like to think this appraiser is the only one, but we should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways. So that's what we can call them, just civilian castaways. Chances are they're in danger. Why is Olimar always getting knocked out or having an adventure on these planets? He crash lands, man. Didn't they say the cave would be randomized? Really? Did I miss that somewhere? Hmm. But yeah, King Frost, we do have enough ice Pikmin now. As Pearl Hero told us, the 35 we can get now to the blue Pikmin. As if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Olimar in the rescue corps, there are also civilian castaways on this planet. Rescue any of them. Okay. So, do I have to do this every time? Go get my Pikmin or will they just come back to me? I don't want to leave them in here. Alright. Here we go. Okay, you said there's another civilian castaway stranded by water. Alright. Uh, return to surface. <laughs> they will join you. Okay. The Aquaferous Summit. It got us a pup drive, you guys. So when we were questioning how do we get more of the pup drive, I guess doing these rescues, doing just probably story-related tasks is going to get it. But yeah, look at that. Talisman of Life, that card. That's like the old-school Nintendo cards because Nintendo started as a trading card company. Memory Fragment, <laughs> the top left. Skin of the Phoenix. Those are all cool names. Good thing those were just... Tiny amounts of sparkling, right? Barmy Juggler said, you have an army of Pikmin now. That's right. 
But you guys, we're getting so dangerously close to 1500. I don't know more Sparklium. <laughs> says, talk to everyone you've rescued. They might have requests you can fulfill for them in exchange for various rewards. Russ, the rescue corps scientist, can make you all kinds of helpful gear. Side missions. Oshi's pup drive. Rescuing castaways increases the pup drive. The more you build up his pup drive, the more his skills. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty much just rescues, I guess. Back from your shower, what'd you miss? Smash Killer, we just did a cave that was crazy. The Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. What? You suck. Hmm, don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Okay, but can I go exchange reds for more ice? That's the question. See, like this? No, it's only giving us 20. Okay, 30. We have a limit of 30. Is the water... Yeah, you said you need more space. Is the water 30, man? Or did we do we do we do we do we do Can we do... Can we do it with 30? I forget. Or did you say it was 35? I couldn't remember. That might be the boss up there. Crazy uh, hedgehoggy thingy. So, do you know if it was... Yeah, the water's 30. Should I go do that before taking on this fiend over here? Because I think the daylight is going out. Let's just do that, you guys. Let's go do the water. I'm not messing around. Going to the water and we're gonna get married. Going to the... Hey! Is that the Dondori? Or is that a castaway? See, look at that dude. You guys see that? Look like animal. Oh, God. I'm such an idiot. No, shut up. I'm getting blues first. I'm getting blues. Okay. Pro Hero said, yeah, you should do that. As I'm sitting here like a fiend. Oh. Go. Okay, thanks. All right, all right, all right. Please tell me. Eh. No. Oh, okay. Whee! No! It's blowing me the other way. Dang, I probably need Pikmin to build this. Yikes. I don't think they're going to let us do it because we don't have enough. No. They don't want us to get up here. So you guys see what happens? This blows me the other direction. And I can't aim it. Son of a... He's an infected castaway. I mean, we could go try to build right now, but the ice will melt. That's the problem. Man. Well, the day's gonna end. I guess that'll give us more time. Hmm. Wow, this is getting crazy, you guys. The fact that we could do so much already. There's still more to do in the demo. <laughs> like, we could still totally go down more caves. So, it's Ice Pikmin farmed in the caves. So, so far, King Frost, that's all I've seen to get them. I'm going to imagine at some point they would have an onion of their own. But so far, I'll help you find a way to get the blues. Pro Hero, we got to do this, man. We'd have to get the Flarlic Bulb. That's... Uh, is there another flarlic bulb that's not way up high? Or do we get yellow somewhere to get that flarlic bulb? Because that's what I need. I need to get yellows to get that flarlic or to break the electricity. Like we just... They're trying. They're trying to keep us. They're trying to keep us out. We are stretching this demo as long as we could go, though. <laughs> All right. That beautimous music, you guys. Schnoz. Too much sparkly for one day, if you ask me. We've got to slow down. Raw material, we're back down to 20. I thought we collected a lot more than that. Uh, still shocked that he's not the only castaway. Of course not. It's not completely unexpected that the message would capture the attention of adventure seekers. 
As the rescue corps, now it's our duty to rescue every last one of them. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. The more rescues we make, the more crowded the rescue command post will get. <laughs> Further develop and expand the rescue command post. All right. Schnarl sounds like gnarls. Prol said, and then we can unlock the blues with the upgrade from the sub onion. Oh. So we get yellows in one of the caves. Recovered. I guess you gotta go. He says, see ya. Okay, he said, I'm gonna go save some demo for myself. Gotcha. All right. Here we go. My list of job duties just keeps getting longer and longer. Yeah, we make call and do everything. Rescue all castaways. Okay. Sorry for the yawning. I didn't realize it was like so close to midnight here. All right. Rescue mission day five. <laughs> In this short demo. Very short. Alright. Would you look at that? Schnoz would like to speak with you. Where is that big nose? There he is. What's up, Schnoz? Treasure catalog. Thank you so much for rescuing me the other day. I confess, I'm really quite flustered. I only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. Getting stuck here was not on my agenda. Go, oh, my apologies. I'm Schnoz, a noted appraiser of treasures. I often compile my findings in a little log for posterity's sake. View treasures. Mango said I like cyan. The flower like bulb is 5 or 10 Pikmin, so we might need 5 or 10 yellows. Dang. Uh, let's see. Is King Frost king of the Ice Pikmin? <laughs> He's like, I wish I was. Ice Pikmin was not what I was expecting for the next Pikmin color. I would say Ice Pikmin are cyan onions. Day 11 of the one day demo. <laughs> Pro Hero says he gives you a side quest that can only be done in the story mode. Huh. You're interested in treasure, are you? I'd love for you to make a... Take a gander, make a gander. Alas, I lost all my data while I was, well, lost myself. If you don't mind, would you allow me to appraise any treasures you can give me? Okay. So yeah, he's going to get to appraise it. Reward. All I require is that you keep me posted. Okay. Sure. Alright, so now we get to, like, look at the treasures. This was something... I loved in Pikmin 3 when we got to look at uh, the, the fruit and just like rotate it and, and all that. This is going to be like me to satisfy my... Yeah, there it is. This is like the... I was wondering if it made the squeaky noise too. But no, it doesn't. Cool. Marufuku. Official ball. Alright. So yeah, we've got all these treasures, you guys. We could look at them all, one by one by one. I would totally do this, especially with the fruit, you guys. The fruit, they just, Pikmin does their fruit so good. So every single Pikmin 3 commentary I've got on this channel, at the end, I'm talking about the fruit. I'm just, like, freaking out. He said, I'm replaying the demo to find what cave gives yellow. Okay, that's good. We need that. Um, the Orb of Destruction, is that what one of the treasures called? Is that this? <laughs> Orb of Destruction, you're right. That is hilarious. The Lesser Mock Bottom. It does kind of look like a bottom. But yeah, I actually had some of these plums growing in my backyard. They look just like that, man. They had the bottom. And then the tree died. Some sort of disease. My backyard is cursed, I'm telling you. Path Creator! says bicycle bell too bad we can't it says action but we can't do an actual action that's too bad Whoop. was there an action on the other ones like was there an action here no what about on the orb of destruction no no action okay then rise my little pikmin um Pearl Hero said there's only two Flarlicks. Um, that was in Pikmin 3? Yeah, Pikmin fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think all of those were. Um, let's see. 
So pro hero, um, we can get 40 Pikmin. So we're gonna need yellows for sure to get that flower. Like that's way up high or whatever. Do drop by any time you'd like to peruse. Thank you. Come on, Ouch. All right. Now that we've got him, can we actually like go anywhere here? I guess just that way. <laughs> can we actually go up there? Am I just wasting time? Yes, I am. I'm just wasting time. You will not keep me, Pikmin, from wasting time. Uh, uh. Okay, I can get back up. We good. Tell me there's something over here. Something that we just needed to jump to explore. Tell me. Uh. Yeah. See what I mean? We can totally explore here. Not that this is doing anything for us. It's not doing a single thing. Uh. Oh, yeah. This is breaking the out of bounds. Uh. Damn you. No. Rocks, my only weakness. Oi. Jesus. It, what? What? I can totally jump that. That's so much bull. Bull ish. Imagine we end up getting the blues earlier than intended. That's what we're trying to do. We're gonna break the Pikmin 4 demo. We are here to break the demo. Eh. I could totally get up there. That's so much BS. Look at that. His legs touch it. He said, I'll try not to collect the sparklium. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to collect any more sparklium, you guys. Okay, well, enough of that foolishness. What is that over there? You guys, is that Olimar's ship over there? It's got a little wind-up thing. What? Do they want us to see that? I feel like they don't want us to see that. Oh, she has arrived. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Did you guys see it? There's a ship over there. Yeah, he said ye. I didn't know we saw Olimar ship the dolphin. Alrighty. Well, we got new stuff here. Uh, so he's got gear and items that will be pivotal. Thank you, we've only got 20. Treasure gauge. This sensor detects treasure and castaways nearby. No need to rely on your natural instincts to guide you now. Pick, pick carrots! The hand pick carrots, they have a paralyzing effect. That's good stuff. Toss one of these crunchies to a creature, watch its bitter flavor paralyze them from head to toe or tail. There are plenty of pick pick carrots in the pantry, but some are duds and way too bitter to be considered edible by us anyway. Kee hee! So funny he's saying kee hee so much, right? Uh, King Frost said Orange Pikmin is being saved for Pikmin 5. <laughs> We have pick men, but what about pick women? <laughs> Where's the pick whammon up in here? This is totally a pick pick sausage fest. <laughs> okay. So we have one pick pick carrot. I think we'll just stick with that. I, we gotta have more raw materials before we start spending up. All right. Does that carrot look like a Pikmin to you? Why, yes. Yes, it does. Master the skills, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing we only have two, right? That's what we left off with? Yeah, we got two. I think, again, it's gonna be better to save for command. So I'm sorry, guys, if y'all wanted super buff or something. Uh, I think I'm just gonna wait for that. Pro said, this demo is so good. That's what I'm telling you, man. This demo. Okay. I appreciate you guys all being here and watching it, man. We're all set over here. You can take off whenever you're ready. I guess we're ready. On the pole? We've definitely been messing around a lot. Uh, we're going to sun. Sun speckled terrace. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Just 
just making sure everything looks good here on the computer. We're not, you know, taking this to the extreme. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, yeah, I've got enough space. Cool! You can clear small ledges with Ochi's jump. You won't be able to... Okay, so, yeah, once you have the uh, countdown for sunset, you won't be able to actually go into the caves. Gotta remember that. Fun fact, Pikmin are named after Pikmin Carrots, Captain Olimar's favorite snack. Is that... Hmm? After you get your red numbers, you'll go up and check some caves for some yellows. Smash Killer said, oof, I gotta go to bed. I got a new apartment to try to serve... Wow! That's some big news, man. That's awesome. We done the Sonic Adventure. We have jazz. Yeah, the, 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 the Sonic Adventure was so good. King Frost said the orange color throwback is real, though. It's like they're trying to show off orange without giving us orange Pikmin. Just do it, Pikmin, you cowards. Okay. So, I gotta see which of these caves is gonna give us the, the, the goods. So, I guess I'm gonna go to that one. Um, I feel like we gotta act kind of fast. We're not gonna go too fast here. But yeah, if you also remember, there was this, the enemy up here. Is in that the, the hedgehoggy looking thing. What's that thing called? So yeah, there's so much we can do in this game, man. It's crazy. Where was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, look this way. Okay, so it's that way. Um, up here, maybe. Hmm? That's open, though. Did I already go in there? I didn't think I went in there yet. I guess they're all open now. I liked them when they were closed because... Yeah, uh, okay. So, yeah, I haven't been in there, you guys. I guess we're going in. I've got no Pikmin, though. That's probably a good thing to remember. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just take some reds and some ice. I don't... I don't, I don't know what I should do, but... Maybe 20 ice and the rest are reds. I'm not sure. The possibilities just got a lot cooler. Why, you are correct. Especially if we can get some yellows. Jesse said, yo, could you say my name is on my bucket list? Jesse Gordon, you guys. King Frost said, wait, I missed something. Can you re-enter caves with losing time? Without losing time, you're saying? Okay, crackling cauldron. I was feeling hotter than usual in my space suit, and when I looked down, the ground was on fire. I panicked, but a red Pikmin just gave me a, a sidelong glance. Totally unfazed, he's another guy. Prol said, ye. The question is, is this really the best cave? It seems very fire and lava-y. So is that where we get the... He says, yo, you just made my day. Thanks. You made my day my night. So, Pro Hero, should we go to a different cave? I don't know. Is that the one that we want? I want to know which one's going to give us yellows. And uh, we don't want to waste time in the wrong cave, right? Hmm. Wild Pikmin. Yeah, they do have yellow in there. Look at that. All right. So, I think we're going in here. We're going to need lots of reds, I'm guessing. Hopefully, I brought enough. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should bring 20 and 10? Maybe that. This one gave you 10 to 15 yellows. Hmm. Okay, then. So we're going to need probably at least 10 of them, right? Said, do it. Do it for the yellows. That's what we need. We need the yellows to get to the blues. We got to be very careful with our treasure, though, dude. I might just not get the treasure, to be honest. Because we got 1300. Never mind, been in that cave. Okay. So, this is the one that we at least saw some of it on the demo right there. We saw that, the fiery blowhog. Not demo, uh, the trailers before and stuff. Let's get this fool. We probably should have just rushed him, but you know, that was fine. Alright. Okay. Sweetness. Uh, you gotta head to bed. All right, Mango. 
I really appreciate all you guys having been here. It's been awesome. Let's get these fools. Boom. Some little flying sheer grub looking hoes. Tab one. Ah. Still a little, little wonky with my aim. But all right, let's get these yellers. Yellow Pikmin, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that's the thing, Jesse. We do have 30 ice back at base, and uh, that's what we were going to do. We were going to demo break, but I guess it's not really breaking if everybody else is getting them too. <laughs> the Yellow Pikmin says, I decided to c call the Yellow Colored Pikmin with large ear-like appendages. Yellow Pikmin. I like that name a lot. M a lot more than ear Pikmin. They're resistant to electricity, we know that. They fly high when thrown. They're also good at digging. Can you dig it? How unusual. They're made of electricity. And cheese whiz. Okay. Just be careful how you deploy them. There aren't that many. Well, I sure hope we get more, because we're going to need probably more than five, I'm guessing. I don't know how much a flarlic bulb takes, though. Like, how much strength you need. Now I'm wary about that. I'm just hoping that that thing does not give us too much. That's not too much sparkling, right? Should we not get these? Let's not get these. Screw it. Leave them. Leave them. Mm-hmm. No sparkling for us, you guys. All right. Yeah, there's more yellers up there. Get him, get him, get him before he blows on the... Yeah, there we go. Good stuff, man. Hey, what you doing up in here? All right, sweet. Uh, what if we brought this back? Would that get us more yellows? No, it would not. We will get treasure when we feel like it. Yeah, exactly. Looks like you guys, we got a lot of people got to duck out because we are going late into the night, man. It's straight up midnight over here. Freeze the first bit of water. You see that there's a blue pigment there. Yeah, we got the, uh, we froze it earlier and, whoa, okay. Good thing I caught myself here instead of looking around. Okay. Why is it, why is it aiming over there? I didn't aim over there. I didn't move the controller. I want that. Okay. Can we jump up there? Not yet. All right. Mm-hmm. We're gonna need to blow uh not blow up. We're gonna need to take down that electric Uh auto lock is OP. One PM I just I don't know about the auto lock. I don't know. Yeah, we'll get the treasure when we feel like it, though. That's that's the motto right now. We need to make sure we do not get the treasures. They're going to want us to get that little, uh... What is that, an eraser for, like, a chalkboard up there? Or is that a hairbrush thing, like, for an animal? <laughs> I still don't know. I think it's a brush, actually. It's got, like, a hand strap or whatever. No, you ain't blowing fire on me, son. All right. So we got ten. We got ten so far. They want us to get that. But I say no, sir. We could at least knock it down, I guess. And time moves nice and slow up in here, so maybe. Why not? How about we just knock it down? But then we'll have to walk all the way back up here. Yeah. Never been on a live video and found a guy who listens to comments so much. Thanks a lot. Hey, Jesse. That's no sweat. I. That's crazy because I always thought it was like... A, it's almost a requirement, you know, if you're going to stream live. Read some comments. Or are you usually on like a live stream that has, you know, a thousand people? <laughs> So look at that. They got candy uh, candy pop buds. The buds will release seeds of the same color as their flower. All right, y'all. 
We are not collecting treasure, for anyone who's wondering. Because we don't want this to end. Caves have no time, so farm everything. Unless that, then hours make a difference. And I thought it still went just slowly. You know what I mean? I thought it was like, they said like one-sixth. I thought time was still going, just extremely slow. I could be wrong, though. All right, anyway. Let's do that. And then we'll use the reds to try to get this fool. You ain't killing none of our... Take them. Oh. Good-ish. I didn't just send them to danger, did I? No, okay. I was like, there's nothing... <laughs> we, we can't lose our Pikmin. We can lose reds, but... Yeah. Jesse was saying no, actually. Huh. Interessante. Let us see here. Take that thing. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. Come back to me. All right. We do want our yellow homes. And that is going to be a castaway. Castaway. Cast away, cast away, cast away. All right, the sizzling foes extinguished again. Knocked that fool the fuck out. Man, there's like a little hamburger toy. It's not like a dog squeak toy up there, but it's like a hamburger. Um, sorry, I'm just looking around, so I'm not destroying the wall quite yet. So yeah, I guess we could go around and blow up all those sizzling pillars and stuff. Alright, let's just do it. Dirt wall demolished. It's so high. Could we use yellow peregrine? Well, we could. Damn, look at that enemy over there. I ain't never seen that fool. It's because I didn't play the past ones. Rate all Pikmin games 1 out of 100. The problem is, I ain't never played Pikmin 1 and 2. Like a sap I am. I also hadn't, didn't play Hey Pikmin either. I am a scrub. Did I lose a bunch of reds? Did I lose them to something? I feel like we should have more than that. Or did I just leave them somewhere? Hmm, I left them right there. Looks like I also left yellers. Or maybe there's yellers to get? Because I've got ten yellers right here. This is nice, man. We're getting yellows out the wazoo. But really, we just... We have to be strategic. Hello? Yellow pigmen are great for digging holes. Why did he say that right there? Was there something to get? Something to dig? I guess we'll rescue the castaway because that doesn't end it right away. So let's get that fool before we sit here and forget. All right. Uh, you most likely get a few treasures and then stop, said Pro Hero. Laver. All right. We'll go back this way. We're doing this nice and slow, you guys. Forgive me if you're like, man, he's just going way too slow. He's going too slow. You're too slow. So that's not a digging spot. All right. Checking ID info now. I hope it's one of our rescue officers this time. Kingsley. Ouija. It's Ouija. Anyway, he took his obsession with flowers to a new level when he traveled alone to this remote planet simply to see its unusual blossoms. And nope, that's another civilian castaway. King Fry said Pikmin 1's 10 out of 10. You have to play it and give it your own opinion. And I played all three, so it's your own opinion. Yeah, man, I feel you. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. That's just ill-advised. It's up to you to rescue any castaways you find, Dr. Kendo and Ochi. And rescue them we shall. All right, y'all. Oh, boy. They've been hard at work over here. Digging out some... 
beautiful sweet potato or something. Jeez. Look at the little silhouette of us. Man, we're doing it big. Look at all these yellers we got. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is that thing, man? That thing is crazy looking. Does he, uh, he probably only reds, right? Okay, yes, only reds, holy! My god. Sorry, I threw an ice at him. Like, oh no, hurry up, call him back. Man, I think I lost some guys in there, but we didn't want to lose no ice. No losing the ice. Wow, that was a lot of red death. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Okay. We are going to need red to at least blow that up, so. Oh, Jesus. The main thing is we can't have ice die. I think ice are irreplaceable. And then there's going to be a certain number of yellows we can't have die, so. Yeah. In the game, in the called something Mother of Earth? Huh? That's what that enemy is called? Is that what we're saying? So yeah, that's two pieces of treasure right there. It's like a nice little Girl Scout cookie, and... I thought that was like a dog, like, squeak toy. Like a little hamburger squeak toy for a dog, but no, it's, it's like a macaron, but... Again, it does not look like a real edible thing. Ice and yellows can't respawn. That's the thing. Yeah, we don't want to lose them. Except unless we get their onions. That's exactly it, man. That's why I'm just like, hey, if we lose some reds, whatever. But man, look at our sparklium right now. We are getting so dangerously close. We should do nothing else. All right, return to the surface. We seriously cannot collect anything else. This is gonna end. I shouldn't have collected all that treasure. Yeah. That's what the sweet potato's called. Gotcha. Kingsley! Pup drive is up again, you guys. We're gonna upgrade Ochi like all the way before the game comes out. I'm just kidding. Sub-level details, you guys. We did it. Um... Still, of course, no onion for the others yet. Gosh, we got a lot of sparklium in there for what I would have wanted. I, I didn't want it. Not good, man. We are getting dangerously close. Dangerous! King Frost said, hey, yo. You looking at ice Pikmin like it's purple and white Pikmin? <laughs> if a white or purple Pikmin died in two, we reset to the last save. <laughs> That's what I need rewind time. Okay. So we're going to need those. Um, so this is the thing. We're going to need to go back to get all the ice back out. So right now we just need the yellow. Probably in 10 is fine. And we got a maximum of 10 it looks like. So this is going to be fine right now. Uh, but we do need to go back. And that's when we're going to get our water homies. Okay, okay, okay. We need to hurry. So let's see. There's the flarlic. Let's look that way. Ouch. Give us a ride, homie. Damn it. I'm an idiot. I'm right. Here we go. Said now we can get that flarlic. Get that flarlic, homies. Yeah, it's only five. We good, geez. I bet the yellow could reach it as we already do it. That's what I'm talking about. Sweet. All right, my friends. Isn't that incredible? So really, we just need that to happen as fast as possible, let's say. Let's do this. And Ouch. Go help him out, Ochi. There you go. Look at that speed. Man, it goes so much faster when Ouch starts dragging with him, you guys. Boom! Flarlic garlic in the house. Look at that. Fat ass onion. Okay. Can take out ten more Pikmin now. 
should speed up our search. Very nice. So, you guys, this is the question. We need all the ice, and then what do we need? Probably yellow, right? We probably need to just go mad on yellow since they can reach the highest. So whatever we see over there, yeah. Is that the second floor? Like, yeah. So we get the limit boost early. Jesse said, yo, when a Pikmin kills a monster and the monster has emotional damage before he dies. That's the second one. So yeah, we got our second Flarlic or whatever. So I'm going to take out all ice and then 10 yellows. Yeah, and Pro is saying it right now too. So he's the dude as well. So, you know, what the hell? What I'm doing? Okay. Call him back. Call him out. Boom, baby. Man, this is going to be it, son. We need all of you hoes. I almost threw a yellow into the water, but it's all good. Here we go. Let's get on. Ouch. Let's do it. It's bearing a red seed. Yeah, we already saw that. Oh, okay, I forgot. We need to build that thing. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, let's even have Ouch go build one. Hopefully there's not invisible walls. God, that would suck. I think Jesse was saying, though, that we can get it. So I'm, I'm thinking that this is going to work. I'm thinking this is going to work. I feel like I'm, like, breaking the demo, though. There is a fiery blowhog. So... We either just avoid him or beat him with uh, Pikmin that are not optimized for this. <laughs> All right. So we still got those four. We'll probably just run past the blowhog, I say. And then we'll go up to the blues. Let's do it. We need reds to smelt it. I, I just may not even bother with it unless it's, like, going to hit us. Climbing wall. Can Oach climb? I guess not. Oh, Pikmin can, though. So, yeah, we got to leave Ochi. Man, he can dig so much faster than the Pikmin. I would have totally loved to have him. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe it? Look at that, another onion. This one's a different color from the first one we found. <laughs> Move on its own after we transport it. Here we go. Let's do this as quick as possible. Charge. Okay, so they dig pretty fast in this game. Yeah, there's the, uh, old, oh, it's got ten, what, oh, oh, uh, what are we gonna do, uh, uh, I gotta think for a second, damn, you need 20 Pikmin, how are we gonna do this, man, they're trying to mess with us, they, 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 they're breaking us here, how do we get, there's no way we can do it, right? Do you know who Olimin is? Is it really Olimin? Like, is that going to be the name? Yeah, we need Ochi. How do we get Ochi up? Up in this piece. Need to find more Flarlic. <laughs> is there actually more Flarlic is the question. So, Jesse, how do you get that? You said you could get it. So, how do we get it? Is there more Flarlic in one of these caves? Yeah, I don't know how we can get Ochi up here. I'm trying to brainstorm without wasting time in the day. I mean, I guess the demo would just keep going on and on if we waste the day. <laughs> but I'm trying to think. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking about all the strats we can do here. You do have a little bit of time before the ice melts to get Ice Pikmin. He said, "I'll go look for us, or the boss could drop it." That would be nuts. Man, imagine if the boss drops it. Huh. Pro hero knows. Starts or starts. <laughs> Strats. Um. <laughs> Is that the boss right there? Oh, no, that's the Dondori battle. All right, all right, all right. Uh, ooh, eat. Hmm. Well, my friends, 
I'm trying to rack uh, my brain. Got that name of a different YouTuber, so blame him. Yeah, no, Oldman is just something people have been saying a bunch. I'm not trying to blame somebody. I'm just saying that, like, I was wondering, did they actually name it Oldman? <laughs> um, I was calling him El Molimar for a while, because he's like Elmo Oldemar. But yeah, this is the question. Ochi, how do you get up here? Man, if I had done that... If I had done that pup drive upgrade to get him to come here... Would we actually have enough? That was the question. I wonder if it would have been possible with that pup, the pup drive upgrade that makes Ochi come to you. And then he, he's he got 10. Yeah, he's got 10 capacity. Huh. Man, look at us trying to break this demo right now. Ochi, get up here, damn you. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to call him. Come on, Ochi. Find a way up. Drake and Josh have found a way. Switch. Guess I'll play as Ochi for a second. What can we do? What can we do, Ochi? What if we whistle the ice, Pikmin? So, like, can we whistle them over here, maybe? Is it going to freeze? Is it going to... Ice is about to melt. Yeah, what happens to the ice, guys? Ice melted. They're not going to die, right? Okay. Auto-aim. Stop it. The auto-aim sucks, man. No, 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 no! Yeah. So I'm going to have to freeze it and call them again. Yeah, that was whack, dude. Pro Hero said, Oh, man, he's a super unlockable character. Try to wall climb with Ochi? Is that possible? I didn't think Ochi could wall climb, but he might be able to send the ice up there. Let's see. Yeah, he ain't climbing. <laughs> that did not work. But yeah, he can whistle the Pikmin if that was any question to anybody. Well, let's just try. Okay, if this stupid auto-aim... Look at that, man. We are so Pikmin 3-ing it right now. Here we go. We done doing this, man. Look at that pro-ish. You guys, we did it. The question is, how are we going to get it across? That's what we got to figure out, because they're going to hit the water. So we have to melt the water somehow. I need 30. How do we do it? Okay, yeah, so they're going to be all like, we can't do it. Something is blocking the Pikmin. Find a way to clear the path. Yeah, I know something's blocking it. Maybe... Maybe Ochi. Here, this is it. Okay, Ochi and the yellows. Here we go. Perfect. Look at that. No, you guys come back. We need you. Stop it. Get off of that thing. Get off. I'm your father. Listen to me. Okay. Stupid auto aim. There we go. All right, you guys. Yep. You stupids. Get off of the damn thing! Dude! I hate auto-aim. Come back to me. Eh. My god. That was the hardest thing that should have been the easiest. You said the ice smells too fast? Listen! You ain't like this! Boom! Mr. BFDTL, we done did it! Don't nobody tell us we can't do it because we done did it, you guys! Boom! I cannot believe it. Absolutely incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Blue onion! I love it. I love it. He said, I'm going to upgrade my Ochi power to 10. 
It sucked up the other onion. That was unexpected. You don't think that's what's going to be... Pr you don't think that's going to be a problem, do you? Unbelievable. The onions fused. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Said I haven't tried that. Um, you guys, that was amazing. Yeah, do that cave. Yeah, exactly, man. Uh, I think we just sequence breaked. Pro Hero, we broke it, man. That was awesome. Do you think you'll be able to propagate Pikmin of both types now? Why, yes, I do think so. They mysteriously gave us nine of the yellow Pikmin. You know, we had ten, but they mysteriously gave us nine right here. With our little blue Pikmins. Okay, we haven't seen Pikmin like these before. I wonder if Captain Olimar ever encountered anything like them. Oh, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. All right. At a glance, the blue Pikmin appear to have mouth-like gills and are notably able to function even underwater. Thanks to their water resistance and swimming talents, I can now transport things found in the water. This was amazing, you guys. So, we just had to go into the caves that had the ice Pikmin. And then you go into this cave right here. Right and smack dab in the middle of the map. Get some yellows. And of course, you're going to need all the flarlic. So then you get that flarlic. You get the first flarlic from that first cave. You freeze it with 30. You take the 10 yellows up. And then you use Ochi to whistle those. Throw the ice up. And then you grab them with your captain. Incredible, man. Incredible. Now we got the squad from the trailers. <laughs> exactly. This is incredible. Breaking the demo. Breaking the demo. So let's get ourselves a few more blues, eh? Just in case we're going to need them for something. I mean, we're so... <laughs> poor hero is what that did. It's pro hero. <laughs> oh, man. Amazing, you guys. Amazing. So I guess we can call these homies back over here. We gotta make sure to move before it melts on us. There we go. Ice is about to melt. All right, Ouch. So yeah, we're getting a nice stockpile of blues now. Wait, that is gonna get us blues, right? Blue. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Jesse said, "Go to the Dan Dory battle and see Olimar." Will that end it for us? Is that going to get us... I don't want to end this without 100% if we can. Maybe not 100, but we need to complete as much as we can, you guys. Okay. The onion produced different Pikmin? Yeah, of course it did. Okay, so yeah, look at that. Why can't these Pikmin come out? According to Voyage Log, only three types of Pikmin can be out on the surface at any given time. They really have developed a lot of protective traits to keep their species from getting totally wiped out. That's what you're going to tell us? The Dandori doesn't give sparklium. Okay. I need that Pikmin castaway, so that's not the Dandori, right? Pro Hero? I think it's the... Okay. We'll put some yellows back, because I don't want to lose them. So, we can get blues back and we could get reds back, but anything else is in danger. <laughs> okay. So here we go, you guys. There are two of them. Okay, pro hero. Thank you for guiding us. So I think one of them was up here somewhere, right? In that direction? Or was it this? Hmm. Can we just go that way, I guess? I suppose if our day ended, we'd be fine still. We're still going. We are still going. Um, one of the castaways he has can get you something very valuable. Hmm? It's one up there. Yeah, I'm thinking there, there's one this way, right? Oh, no. thought there was a body of water right there. This map isn't that big. Why am I getting confused where it is? Oh, we could actually take down that electric fence now. Huh, so we actually needed our yellows real fast. Maybe we should go get that. 
Man, let's go get back. Let's go back. Get our yellow to do the electric fence. What a fiend I am going all out of order of everything. Maybe we can get you another flarlick. That's what we need, is we gotta find and farm all the flarlickness that we can. That word is so funny to me. Flarlick. Flar. Okay. Uh, that's that's fine. We'll just take ten. Might as well not have none of them die. Okay. So where is that electric fence at? It's this way. Yeah. Just over there. So let's do that. And then this is the pro strats. And one. So when we get up there. That'll unlock potentially some new stuff for us to do and see. I'm scouting it out right now. Um, it's a bunch of like flowery leaves right there. That's a coin, probably for sparklium, so not looking to do that. We are dangerously close, our sparklium totals. We want raw materials. Let's get those fools. That word sounds weird. Pro Hero said, I'm playing one of the caves with the ice pigment. Yes, get them ice. Okay, the electric gate was demolished. All right, so there's a uh, dude in here. That takes 20, we can get him. Dude's looking like Animal from uh, Muppets. Woo! Sup, son? Yeah, what the hell's wrong with these guys? Oh, huh? There's someone there! Bandori, Bandori. Whoa. He said, whoa, I didn't think about it that way. The Flarlick confirms us getting a hundred Pikmin limit or more confirmed. You really hope so? King Frost, if there was more than a hundred, that'd be nuts. Maybe they're just confused after the shock of getting shipwrecked. Hurry up and rescue them. But we'll have to Dandori them, won't we? Are we ready for this? Is that what we want to do? I'm, I'm so... Hey! Look at that, you guys! Is this... Can we flatten that? Yellow? Hello, yellow, you guys! Look at that! Man, I didn't even think you could get the yellow onion in this piece, and now we can get the yellow. Amazing. Okay. Let's carry it back, son. Uh, charge it. Everybody this time. There we go. <laughs> Pro is like, yo, I never knew that. Man, we're gonna get everything, you guys. Oh, crap. Get that fool out of here. Okay, so, do we need to get the paper bag? No, they can do it without the paper bag right now. Paper bag might have sped it up a little bit. Oof. Yeah, hurry up, hurry up. Here, let's get these guys. Come on, homies. Where do I have 13 strays at? I don't remember that. Oh, the ones carrying the thing. <laughs> I'm a dip. All right, guys, super speed. Man, we are doing this, you guys. Some said we needed purples for it. Man, we don't need none. We just need our wits, you guys. We are plucking professionals up in this piece. That was just incredible. The more onions we fuse together, the more types of Pikmin it can propagate. Man, I am going nuts here. Great, no stray Pikmin to worry about. All right, I don't want to end. There could be some tasty morsel out here. And even if not, I just want to see. I want to explore and just make sure I know what are we doing next, what, what you know, everything. Okay. So yeah, now we can get more Pikmin, you guys. We can do it. We can do it. 
Gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I'm guessing that's a Dandori, Dandori battle over there. Just seeing what's over here, you guys. We're not trying to do anything but look. We're just simply trying to look. Is that an ice onion up there? You guys see in the plants? It could be raw materials. I'm wondering if this is another landing point, you guys. So we got another landing point ahead of us. That's probably good, too, because we could build that. Whew. This all feels like a cheat code right now. I am stretching this demo so thin. <laughs> my god. Speaking of stretching, just gotta stretch my legs a bit. Oh god, you hear all those pops? Pops and cracks because I'm an old man, you guys. Oh. You fought a new enemy? Damn. Oi, my hamstring. That's the oldest thing I could say right now. Oh my god. We've been putting in work. Mentally and physically. <laughs> you guys. I can't believe we got a yellow onion. He said, yeah, let's go. I got another blue onion. There you go, son. Pick up them blues. Pick up them blues. Kingsley. Our pup drive is three, y'all. Kingsley's a florist. Daughter of the earth. And that did, it did give us 110 spark. So that was a bad choice of mine. I should not have done it. Okay. We got some more raw material, which is good. We need that. We don't need sparkling. King Frost no. is like, bro, you are super stretching. <laughs> stretch, bro. We got to stretch all of it out, you guys. We are Gumby today. Just Gumby this ish. If you press that, shortcut settings, you can assign different functions. Oh, okay. Really? Really? What's no. that, um, Austin Powers? She's like, really? And he's like, really? <clears throat> and then she says, really again, and he's just like, really? <laughs> All right. So yeah, the shortcuts does seem nice. If you're playing Don Dory, it'd be more efficient if you shared such helpful information a lot sooner. Man, she's always blasting Colin. Alrighty, you guys can have up to 150 Pikmin is what you guys are saying. Yeah, Pro Hero said, I'm going to stretch this demo out because this demo is so good. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. I am stretching this piece so thin. Day six. Like, are you kidding me? This is supposed to be like two days. But no, I'm stretching it all the way out. I am going to stretch it so thin. Okay. So our new fool wants to talk to us, probably. Let's go talk to them. What do you know? Where are you there? My name's Kingsley. Well, I run a flower shop back at home. I actually came to this plant to find rare flowers, and I'm Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Marvin the Marjid, more so. One second I'm gazing at a glorious bud, and the next thing I know, I'm stranded. So yeah, I've had enough adventure for the time being. I don't think I'll be doing much more exploring around here. Great, dude. Cool stuff. So, let's look at our treasure. <laughs> Tell me, how's the treasure collection coming along? <laughs> Kingare! Please, do take a look. Can I look at the daughter of all? Hey, there's this stuff. Did I see that before? Would you look at that? Can we look through them? Eh. Kind of. Alright. Double dragon eyed. Oh, double dragon eyed scope. There you go. Uh, <laughs> allows two viewers to stand side by side and see far into the distance. That's awesome, man. So yeah, well, uh, at some point I wanted to read all the notes on these things, but I won't do it right now. Um, King Frost is like, yo, how long is this demo? You didn't know it's the whole game. <laughs> when you play like me, it's the whole game, son. Light blue. Look at that. Does that not look beautiful? I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this. It's like the fruit in Pikmin 3. 
Look at this thing. I don't think any of them have had an action so far. It says stainless steel. Can't do no action. <laughs> this was one of the best, man. Hey, it's got an action. Look at that. Doom, deep, doom, deep. That's sweet. Man, what detail. This is just beautimous to me. The daughter of the earth. It's disgustingly beautiful. That's gonna be me in a few years. That's what I'll look like. Skin of the phoenix. Uh, let's see. Jesse said the fruit and Pikmin 3 reminded me never go vegan. Why? I love the fruit looking. Uh, it's like I, I have a Pikmin 3 playthrough on this channel. You guys should definitely see it if you're at all interested. Um, but yeah, I, I, I freak out. Every time we get to the fruit, I'm so happy. I'm just like, why does this look so good? But that's what I'm doing right now. Like, look at that. Look at those details. It looks too good. You guys. And this. So there's going to be other of these talisman of the something. Because you see how it says crane? Look. Talisman of life. Crane. So there's probably a bunch of the cards or whatever. And these are decor Pikmin if you play Pikmin Bloom. Pearl Hero said, I'm about to get yellow. Nice, brother. So drive by any time you'd like to peruse the treasure catalog. Okay. Hmm. Man. All right, let's talk to shit. Hi. Hi. Training, training, and more training. That's what I'm talking about, Shepard. Here we go. King said, yo, I had to spot my comment when you lifted the SP left. In <laughs> let's see. Um... So yeah, I think I want this, you guys. I I mean, imagine... Sheesh, we could have had go here command. But yeah, once I get that... That would have taken a lot, though. We would not have gotten uh, the, the call Ochi back thing. <laughs> but we still did it. We still did the onionage. Learn super buff. Hi. I've got just the reward for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just love how science and technology make the impossible possible. He's like the uh, guy on Pokemon that talks about science. Let's get started. Okay, do we want a treasure gauge? We might as well, man. It's going to take us too long to get a Scorch Guard and all that stuff for Ochi. So yeah, I say we get the treasure gauge. Let's do it. Pro said I'll have my yellows work on the extra gate. Oh, electricity gate maybe. That's what you're saying. You'll need the OG squad a bit. Okay. So here we go. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. Yes, we'll do. Thank you. Will do, come on. So now you guys can see over there on the left side, there's going to be that gauge for treasure and stuff. Um, we can still be getting red Pikmin. It's like you're going to have an infinite supply of reds, it seems like, because right here, see that? We can continuously be doing this. Hey, it says 10 blues. Mayhaps. Did that just give me a lot of blue? I think it gave me a lot of blue. Yeah. So, when I say infinite reds, really just infinite of all the types, I guess, because you can straight up pellet posey right from here. Can you guys believe it? It's pro moves, man. Mm. Um... Yeah, Jesse said, as soon as I saw the fruit, I thought of the vegan teacher and I don't want to eat fruit anymore. I don't know the vegan teacher, man. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's a teacher that's vegan. Alright, you guys. 
Well, we straight up increase the blue army. It was worth it. Anything to make the demo stretch on longer, too. Let's just send them back, though. Keep them stockpiled right now. And we'll go ahead and head on out. Eddie. All right. Pikmin said the pellet posy squeaking pain when you hit the... No, not the pain. Okay, so we're all set over here. I cannot believe we're still going with this. It's amazing. We're gonna hundo, we're gonna do a hundo percent on this. This is amazing. I bet we can't, but you know. A man can dream. I like how the civilians are all freaking out. They're just cheering for me. Like they ain't never seen this before. They're gonna cheer, on, cheer me on every day as I fly off. Because I could take that in my life. I could use that. Mm -hmm. Battle tips, you guys. Man, we seriously, it's now four hours on our stream here. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Lime3 said, imagine if they accidentally dropped the whole game. That's what I'm wondering. It's like, is the whole game literally kind of unlocked, quote unquote? And hello, by the way. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, could we just seriously, like if we actually managed to finagle it, could we actually play the whole thing? Like, I feel like it's there, you know? The whole thing is, like, here right now. Okay, what should I do? I guess more ice. I really don't want to lose any, though. So that's what I got to... Because we've got a fight on our hands, I think, coming up. And we may need ice later, but... Here, no, I've got an idea. So let's take out some reds. We're going to go fight some things. So let's just do, you know, a few of these. Let's do mostly red up in here. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. Let's go do the fights. But we can't bring anything back, I don't think. So we gotta be careful on our fights. Um, forgot, you don't call Ochi to get on his back. Uh, so what was I thinking about? We need to go to where we just... We did all the electric fence and stuff. Go here, we got that command now. And so, yeah. This will be helpful. So, I'm just gonna go here. And I think you move at full speed when you go here, so... That was the thing about Pikmin 3, is like when you did go here, you moved... The, the one going here, did it, doing the task, moved a little bit more slow. Wasn't by too much, but a little bit. But I think this goes full speed, so we really... We can just go, go, go. Alright, maybe I'll cancel it for now, we'll do some of these. Just get all those back. Sweet. Okay. So that's the fights that I was going to do, but we again, we cannot bring those guys back because I don't know if they give us any sparkling, but I don't want to test it. Um, let's do the paper bag right now. So we have the, 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 the waypoint here. Oh my god, just go. I'm sitting there throwing. <laughs> Nothing was happening. Sweetness. Paper bag lowered. Magni Life said, I just played Pikmin 4 demo and I was so looking forward to to it. Then here it came. Nintendo have removed the ability to point on Pikmin's with your right Joy-Con. Oh, okay. See, I haven't even tried the Joy-Con, man. King Frost is like, I mean, I have to stop. I love it. Your progression right now, but I have to stop and play it myself. Keep it up, bro. Need to do... Yeah, man. I just... I, 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 I can't say it enough. How much that I appreciate you. How much I appreciate everybody being here. It's... It's been a blast. I, I, I am overwhelmed, to be honest. I did not imagine that we would get to stretch this much out of it. So you notice how the little butterflies are landing on the bull board? This would be good. It's not necessarily an un unnecessary fight because this will get us the landing. So what I'm actually going to do is we'll charge with the reds and then we'll throw the others, I think. So let's do charge. Yeah, like that. There it goes. Nice and quick. 
New base unlocked. See, that's what I want. Here, wait. Land the base. Land the base. Before that blue starts going too far. All right, sweet, man. So now we got this new base. Something feels safer just riding on Ochi. So is that... Yeah, so that's... Uh, I thought it was going to be an onion maybe from far away, but no. I was like, are we lucky enough to get an ice onion there? But it was uh, raw materials. Oh, okay. Hello, guys. I'm not taking y'all. Just want to make sure you're all dead. Even one sparklium is dangerous right now. None of it. Alright. So let's do another charge here. Good stuff. We pros now, you guys. Alright, so let's do this bridge. And the good news is we got the onion right over here for when we want to transfer and have different Pikmin. So yeah, that's what that's going to lead to, which we're not going to do. We ain't doing that, but we can get the... Oh yeah, there's a Dondori over there or whatever. Huh. It's the Ochi Olamin and uh, Incredible Och. King Frost said, thank you, man. Till the next one, I look forward to your next videos. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Magne Lee said, possible for you to pick each Pikmin with motion control right Joy-Con? For me, it's impossible. I haven't tried it with the Joy-Con. He said, I'm going to unlock the Dondori part. That's what we got across the way here. <laughs> Cannot believe we've got blue Pikmin. That is nuts. So in the very beginning of the demo, for those who did not see it, I'm sure everybody here must have played it, but just in case, that dog was with Olimar. So that's what makes us think. I mean, look at the clothing and stuff. Doesn't it look like Olimar? It's just, is he infected? You know? Uh, Joan Diaz, I'm going to have to make it a video. Like, it was very convoluted, but... Pro Hero said, I'm going to go get that castaway who's infected. But yeah, Joan, we had to get as many ice as we could. Then we had to go get yellow, get all the flarlick, and then throw 30 ice on there, on the, on the water, before the blue onion. We had to get the wall, so we climbed up the wall with tin. Then we had to make Ochi get the ice out of the water and throw those up there so we could get the onion out. And then we had to refreeze it. It was nuts. Pro Hero said we did a sequence break. I think there is a Pikmin virus where captains are being infected. So yeah, that must be it, man. That's what I'm thinking. What did I tell you guys? I called it early on. I was saying, what if they are not even bad guys? I mean, I guess they're bad when they're infected, right? So maybe it's that. But I think I called it that they could actually be good dudes. And we have some Pikmin actually over there trying to take a thing back. I'm glad I did not let them. Um, so I don't think I want to do that. I don't think so. Is that something right here? It's just a, just a leaf. Okay. Alright, so let's charge on that. And let's just get those. Uh, anything else? Nothing? There's nothing right here? Okay, so that was where we got the onion, the blue onion. Um, everything good? Oh no, I need to stop the Pikmin from doing stuff over here. It's the danger of having dead bodies. I think they just got that little guy. So there was a little guy, wasn't there? Alright. Sweet. Is there anything in here? No. <laughs> Alrighty! You guys, so we need to be strategic! So... My question now is, I guess I go over here. Trying to wonder what can I do and not actually beat it. You know, we need to not beat it. Oh, we've already been right here. Okay. That was the infected looking pink headed dude. Not that. This. Boom. Ouch. So, even more sparklium that we will avoid like the plague. 
Drone was saying, whoa, I will continue to play it tomorrow. These, one, this one is way better than the third one. Uh, Pro said, we got them in sleep mode. Then we got the ones who are fully infected and then the weird infected ones. You need 20 ice for him. 20 ice for, is there, there's, there's another one, right? That's what we're looking for now. Is that what I'm doing? Let's see. This map is certainly digestible. Like, I don't feel like it's way too overwhelming for us. Um, so, yeah, it's like, it's it's kind of easy mostly to, like, see, that's how big it is, you know? Just this. So, where is it? Where's the one I'm looking for? Am I looking for... So, this is Dondori. That's the one with, like, Olimin basically I guess it's over here right hmm that's near our first yeah because there's caves and stuff hmm. that pink headed guy needs 20 ice didn't we see him earlier like I, I already got him right so I don't need to get him anymore it was this guy we did the ice in there like we threw him in there but should we go after him? Is that what you're saying? Pro hero, should I go after him? There are two next to base, I believe. How long will it take the whole entire game? What do you think? Joan, the thing is that people can take a lot more time. Like, this demo could be done in two days. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the, uh, the fact that I've stretched it out to six right now, I could actually stretch it out much longer, too. Like, I don't know how long I'm going to stretch it. I just want to do everything I potentially can. I'm sure I'm going to miss something. You know, there's probably... If I would have done this differently or that differently, you know, then, yeah. I'm wondering if we can actually somehow 100% sun speckled. No, because you, you would get all the sparklium. So, yeah, we probably can't 100% it. But I want 100% everything but the sparklium. So, Pro Hero, you're saying yes to getting that dude. It's a Dandori battle. All right, you guys, this will be my first Dandori battle. So, we are going to need to go back over here and get out some more Ice Pikmin, which is always sus. I don't like to have them out. I don't want Ice Pikmin to die. So, I am very protective of my Ice Pikmin homies. Uh, I can't do math, can I? Here. There she blows. All right. Said, like, Olamin, but it's timed, yeah. Um, I get the general concept of a Dondori. I just hope it doesn't give us any sparklium, like, for winning or something. Let's see, can you charge the water? Yes, you can. That's the pro strats. All right, so let's ride. No! there. Olimar made that guy have a leaf. Alright, you guys. I have not done a Dandori. I've not done Dandori. Collect all the treasures and creatures within the time limit. I just hope to God that this does not make me finish my demo. Dandori. Like, this ain't gonna give me no sparklium when I finish. Does anybody know that? Does Dandori give you sparklium? We can't have any. We are so close to the... So close to the end. Said, I'll give you my raw materials. All treasure here, fake. All Pikmin here are mine. Huh? Yeah, the Pikmin don't go. Just the two of us. That's fine. Olimar forced him in the onion. Dondori level one. Okay, maybe this is an easy one, which I'm going to need just on my first Dondori ever. Okay, you guys, I'm kind of nervous. First date. First Dondori date. Look at that guy. This place is for testing Dandori. Do my Dandori. Improve Dandori. Simple goal. Carry as much as you can until time hits. That is all. Okay. Treasure here all fake. Okay. So that's what you were saying, Pro Hero. Okay. I see what you were saying. He says that it's fake. Pikmin here, all mine. Also cannot take home. 
Okay. Do well, get raw material. Do not well, also get raw material. This guy clearly needs to be institutionalized. All right, show me your damn door. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. Boom. Hey. Okay. So I'm guessing we actually literally do now want to. I'm so stuck in my brain that I don't want to collect anything that I'm like, no, don't get it. But now we do want to get it. So uh, that's going to be a little dangerous right here. So let's hold off on that for a sec. Let's do this. Cut. Get those fools. Collect them back. Boom, boom, boom. Get some. Repeat Dandori for good practice. Shut up. Shut up. I'm trying to. All right. Let's do it, Ouch. Are they going to back up right into that bowl board? Probably so. I will watch it happen. Yep. <laughs> we just wake his ass up. All right. Potted plant. We're going to need more of those. Oh, jeez. Get him. Holy, don't leave Pikmin standing idle. Why? Pikmin are fine. Get over here, you fools. This rhino thing. Boom. Thank you. I'm trying to pro strat you guys, but I'm a little bit, you know, I'm new to Don Dory, so forgive me. Boom, boom, boom. No, not that. Oh, boy. Yee! How dare you guys? Ow. Yeah, that was bad. Not well done there. No, you fools. Not doing good now. I feel like I started okay. Now I'm doing scrub moves. All right, let's get off Ouch. How about you go back? You pick them up. And then you. I think it's not true Olimar. It's infected Olimar. That's what I want to... I want to keep that. There we go. We need that down. Uh, man, do I have to get everything? Like every last? Because I may not get every single last part. <laughs> but we'll try. It's like a collect treasure mission mode then. Can I punch this? Punch, punch, punch. All right. Let's get Ochi to dig. And then everybody else. Ochi's faster than them all, man. What is this, a waffle? That looks great. Can I eat that now? I'm getting kind of hungry. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's do this. Let's bounce off. Now charge that fool. And then Ochi. All right, Ochi can get that. These guys can get that. Look. That. I'm gonna also need that jelly. Yeah, this is very collect treasure mission modes, which I loved. I used to love those things. But probably when I'm playing with an opponent, it'll be a lot more chaotic. This is, you know, much better <laughs> for my first one. Just practice it. Very nice. Okay, there's those, mm -mm -mm. oh that takes five, go Oach, you got it, okay, climbing rope unraveled, that sounds good, climbing rope, we want that, alright let's get Ochi on this, forgot he's just ten, is there something in here, oh yeah there is, look at me, I should have known, I need 90 more points to win. What? Okay. Was that a victory? Your Dandori mastery. It is something to behold. Thank you. Mysterious pink fool. All right. Let's go, Ochi. Can we actually... Yeah, we can look at everything. Okay. 30 seconds. We got this. If you win, you'll be able to take him to the surface. All right, let's take him to the surface. 
I've never seen such dumb boy. Is that everything? Yeah, 140. Nine seconds to go. Damn. More like damn, Dory. Am I right? Complete new high score. I loved that. Uh, it's going to get crazy when there's an opponent, though. <laughs> you are too fast. I feel dizzy. Take these 30 pieces. This is your reward. Is that Captain Charlie? Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay. I wonder what caused that. Well, I guess this is our chance to get them out of here. Let's do it. Wouldn't that be nuts if that was Captain Charlie? Man, that would be one hell of a plot twist thing. You know, got kind of a more portly body. Speaks with a low voice. Of course, that could be because he's infected, but you know. With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. But it doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave. Okay. Sweet. Um. We need those guys, probably. Right? Need more ice? I think. Because the water, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and charge that. Hmm? Yeah, we're, we're taking care of it. Why are you guys not charging? Okay. Well, whatever. There you go, son. Okay. Come on out. Icy friends. Sweet. You guys. We're gonna see. Who is this fiend? one back. Alrighty. Just can't get over the fact that they have leaves growing out of their head and their face as well. All bushy. Let's check their ID info. Error. Unable to read data. PNF 404. You guys. Isn't that nuts? What their home planet. What's this? Unable to read data. They should have biometric authentication, but this is definitely an issue. How are we supposed to find out who this is? Good question. Very good question. Should I let another day end? I don't, I don't want the demo to end. Okay. Um, so, we got to think for a second. What else can we do? We can go take on the boss. This is just all the things to do before getting treasure. We could also go to the caves. The caves are dangerous because they'll sneak in some sparklium, you know. Pro Hero said go explore more to find more stuff. Yeah, I, I think we need to go to every cave or whatever. I can't believe everything we've already done, man. Hey, what's going on, Sarah? What's up? What's up? Um, yeah, we seriously, we've done so much. He said, I am new. Welcome. Thank you so much. Are you new to Pikmin? I figure you're just saying new to the channel, but I'm just, you know, I want to see if you know your Pikmin stuff. If not, please use this as an opportunity to ask. We've, I, 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 I will gatekeep no one's, um, Pikmin information. So let's see. So now the question is, can we... Can we do those caves and not, you know, ruin our lives here? We, I don't want to end the demo, but we're just dangerously close. We, like, seriously cannot collect any more sparklium. It could have dangerous consequences. Okay. So that was nice. We got that. Raw materials. Um, I guess we'll call the base over here just for these Pikmin. Man, they move fast. Eh. All right, Pro Hero said, I'm just collecting the raw material. Yeah, 
Me too, I want raw materials. Anything that's not sparklium, I'm down to get right now. So Sarah, we've, we seriously stretched this out. What is this, day six? I got the blue Pikmin, I got the yellow, the onion, I mean. Like the onion for blues, the onions for yellows. Um, of course, we have some ice, but we don't have an onion for them. And so, that just kind of leaves me now to figure out, well, I could probably jump into some of these caves. I can go take on the boss thing that's over here. It's kind of a boss, I guess. It's like that hedgehoggy looking dude. Uh, that's another landing point. Another cave, another cave. So there, it's Don Dory against Olimar person. Cave, cave, and boss. So, I guess boss, but can't collect it because Sparklium. So that's probably the first thing I'll do, I guess. I mean, if chat has better instructions, that's fine too. So, let's take all our ice. I don't want to lose anything that can actually be literally lost. And reds are good at fighting, so let's just take our reds. A few blues, because why not? You guys coming with us? All right. All right. Sarah said, good job. Thank you. Prol said, if we're lucky, the boss could drop our onion we need. That's true. There, there could be something in there. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like trying to get past that thing and couldn't get through it. That was hilarious. So we're just doing go here. I'm not actually playing any of this movement. So when you get stuck on something, it's like, ah. All right. I cannot believe how much we have seriously stretched this out. It is awesome, man. I guess we should bring our uh, base over here. We didn't do that earlier, so. Whoops. Distant summit. Move base. Just the safe thing to do. Uh huh. Just for a second here. Look around. I don't know that there was really anything. There's a dragon fruit up there, but that's sparklium. We're not doing it. So I think this is it, man. This is what we're doing. Okay. What's up here? You're supposed to be the boss. Whoa! I forgot they like shoot out at you. Holy. Okay. We'll charge this up. Whoa! And then... No! I hit the spikes! Did I learn nothing? That was foolish. We did it perfectly when we were old enough. No! There you go. Now's your chance. Okay. Go. Now's our chance, and then we still get boofed. Holy. Impaled the Pikmin to death. Come on, Yeller. Pow. Go. Let's get it all back. Okay. Well, that was minimal, right? A little bit of damage. <laughs> Oach ain't doing too good. Let's give him a bone, man. Uh, so how do we do that? It's Y. Pack. Here you go. So there's some more of those cards, I guess. Kind of cool. Uh, I guess we'll... Oh, we can... No, no! No! I didn't mean to throw that. I didn't know I had another one out. Just gonna try to throw Pikmin. Let's see, but yeah, he said, is it guarding anything? And no, it did not seem to be. Because I am just seeing nothing. I see nothing. Got some more raw materials, though. I mean, it was guarding that. I'm just saying nothing that we want. <laughs> um, I can't jump up there, right? I don't think it would ever actually let me or want me to. Okay. Let's do this. Hmm. There is stuff up there. 
Oh. Not really stuff to go to. Okay. So yeah, I think we are gonna have to go to the caves. I'm just so worried. So worried about Sparklium. I don't want to get any more. Mm. Our day is getting close to the end. Just look at this amazing view. How lucky to explore your way up here. There's a peanut in that soil. We will not get that. That's how you're going to get the dragon fruit, though. Going that way. Man, I should send out my survey drone, shouldn't I? Is that under pack? Survey drone. It pauses time so we can just scout. This is what I should have been doing. What an idiot I am. Hmm. Man, that whole time I could have been using this. So yeah, I really do think that that's the thing that's left. Pro hero. So we can probably go do one cave since it's so close to the end of the day. It'll stop the time and all. So cool. I guess it scouts treasure too as I'm going through. See that star? So as the survey drone goes around, it scouts treasure. Alrighty though. Let's... uh Let's do it. Wow, hurry up. We can't enter any caves when it says hurry up, I don't think so. Just as I was saying, we could do it. Nope, we're going to stretch this out to another day. Yet another one. Man, what two Pikmin I got out of here. Two Pikmin, there's one there. Maybe both of them are there. Go up there, man. Yep, it's both of them. It was good that we went over here. I'm guessing this is going to tell us we can't enter there, right? Uh, so, I guess I'll try. That's sweet if we can go in there. Okay, I thought it was going to bar us from it. But nope. All right. My Andy guys, it's like 120 over here. Think you need two more rescue corps members, pro hero? Oh, she's stuck. Come on. <laughs> this isn't supposed to happen. Hey, it's okay. Oh yeah, you haven't been here. This is what they were showing on the uh, trailers and stuff, so we'll actually go take ourselves over here and then we'll do it. All right, so command switch. That's what we want. Look at that finger skateboard right there. That's awesome. All right. Little tech deck. Cool stuff. Can we actually demolish this like before we get all over there? And no, he needs to jump on that. So we'll do it. Mm-hmm. Can he pluck? No, he cannot. Alrighty. So I guess we'll go back down. That's going to be Sparklium, though. Not really interested. So, yeah, we could actually just cut all that out, I think. Come to me. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, they can get that. We'll destroy the wall, though, too, here.
sweet. D said, wait, where can you get wild blue Pikmin? Are they cave? I got the blue onion. I got the yellow onion. We have been absolutely 100%ing this. <laughs> we are nuts this playthrough. And hello, how you doing? All right, I'm going to actually need to switch to OG again. It looks like that was a dumb move to throw myself down there, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, I can rush it. Oops. Not Y. There. I know what I'm doing. Okay. So, we're going to have to move it once and then move it again. Yeah. Great, dude. Command them. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I must be getting tired because of how I'm playing. Okay. Here we go. But yeah, D questions reality. It was dope fresh. We got the, uh, we got the blue onion. We got the yellow onion very shortly after that. You just farmed 100 ice. That is nice, man. Get the ices. The ices. All right. Come on, you. There you go. All right, you guys. We're trying not to get any more sparkling right now. We want to 100,000% this demo if we can. Pikmin outside your squad will come with you. Yeah, of course. Uh, go to next sub-level. Yeah. Industrial maze. Pikmin fan said, well, it's past my bedtime, so I'm going to brush my teeth and go to bed. Thank you so much for being here, man. Yeah, it's uh, we're going on five hours close to that. Um, at some point, my body's probably going to break down and just be like, I can't. I can't anymore. Okay. So there's going to be a castaway nearby. That is what we're looking for. We are not looking to get treasure. Oh, God. Okay. Enemies just, you know, hanging out right in front of me. Problem is, you know, we can beat them and everything. We can't defeat them. Uh, nectar's okay. I'm fine with nectar. We are not fine with sparkleum. Okay. So, we'll go this way. I guess I'll charge these just because. This cave's probably the favorite that you've played? Really? That's good. It looks interesting. We got these, like, hovering things. <laughs> Holy monkeys. All right. So, is our castaway right there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. We got this ish. Hmm. Do I want to go down there, though? Because that could probably farm me some yellows up. And some of this. Pluck, pluck. Are my homies safe? Are they going to go get some treasure if I do this? No, they go back there. Okay. So I don't want them picking up no sparkly on while I'm not looking. <laughs> that would only be if they're sparkly and close enough to the base. You know, once they drop it, they go like automatically do a task. That would suck. Pearl Hero said, wait. Wait. Okay. We're doing good. I think. Just making sure I don't need to do that. That's just for treasure. Doing that paper bag right there. So, yeah, not interested. Yeah, not interested. Remember the cave where Ochi couldn't break a pot? Oh, back at the beginning? Because he was too small? Did you go back there? Thing freaks me out, man. Okay. Pop. Yeah, it's some of the goods. Alright, so clearly, now we're gonna need to abandon Ouch. Sorry, Ochi. Sorry, man. Oh, wait, we need you here, right? For the jar? Or do we? Can Pikmin actually do something with the jars? Do they? Yeah, they try it, but they can't. Okay. Uh, you're a check if Ochi can break it now? 
D questions reality said, so you can get all three main Pikmin in one area? Let's see. You get the reds from the start. The the blues, they're out on the map. Like the sun speckled terrace, you know, the blues are up top. And then the yellow onion was close to that. Uh, I think we had to destroy the electric fence, right? That was it. And then the yellow onion was up there. I'm now just like my my brain. <laughs> All three main pigments with some sequence breaks. Yeah, we definitely broke sequence. Okay. So, how do I get Ochi over here? My brain is just so fried. Um, maybe the point is not to get Ochi over here. I think you would have to go all the way around to do it. I guess the point is just to throw yellows up here. Yep. And then they can take him through that, right? They better be... Ow. Oh. So I do. I do need to go around. Okay. We can do that. It's just annoying. All right. Yeah, I'm going to ride Ochi. Riding my Ochi. Yeah, it's guarded by a bull board past the electric fence. That's what it is. Gosh, I can't believe my brain, though. It is fried. I need food and sleep. <laughs> Uh, I think that red stuff is... What? Sparklium? I'm not touching it. No spark -li um Yeah, it's so funny how much noticeable... How noticeable it is for my brain. It's just like mush right now. Alright, so we got this. Got this. No sparklium. And there was some Pikmin in there. Can we call back? Yeah, we can move our base right here. Why not? Castaway's right there, so let's do it. Ah, uh, it's the spicy spray. Okay. That makes more sense. Let's check that ID. Look who we have here. Dingo. The Dingo ate your baby. So this is going to be a Rescue Corps member. The home planet is Ori. An officer who excels at solo missions. He's not a joiner by nature, but he'll show up and lend his physical abilities when need be. I'm surprised we got the three main Pikmin already. Yeah, I think it was supposed to take longer. But yeah, we had to we had to break the rules or whatever. Okay, I knew it. I knew he was tough enough to make it. Dingo is a skilled ranger, even though he doesn't use a rescue pup. He specializes in solo missions, you see. One thing's for certain, rescue missions should be a lot easier with his help. What, does that mean that he is used for a solo mode, like a side stories or whatever? That would be interesting. The only rescue officers still out there now are the doctor and the pilot. So, I'm not sure that uh, one of them is Alf, for all the people who thought that would be Alf. I think that's a short little purple haired dude in the Alf spot. Anyway, you got the treasure specialist and the flower inspector. In here? Maybe he unlocks night mode. That's true. He could be the night mode. Because, yeah, we got the treasure guy and the flower. We did that. I've done those ones already. Um, the Pikmin are having trouble. What do you mean? Am I losing Pikmin somewhere? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I might have lost blues, but you know what? It's going to be okay. We should just go back out. I don't want to mistakenly collect anything. I don't want anything bad to happen. Let's go to the exit. Here. It's that way. I guess for later we'll do this bridge or the paper bag. That'll be for later. Or it could be for this guy to carry it up. There, I solved the problem. Okay. Once that blue takes us one piece of the raw materials, then we can go. <laughs> Thank ya. We've seen night mode made by a tall person. Really? I thought that was Yanni. Remember Yanni? Okay, return to surface. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah, Pearl Hero, I guess it was. It was Yanni that did the night mode, right? He takes us on the night mode. So yeah, this guy, uh, that's what I'm wondering. Is there like some other mode? Again, it'd be like side stories from Pikmin 3. Uh, pup drive up. We need it. Pro Hero, can you let me know if you did end up breaking that, the jar that Ochi couldn't break earlier? And what happened? Like, was it is something we need to go do? Piclopedia, you guys. Just in case you want to see the tips. Yep, castaways hide in the caves. So that's the thing, is like, it seems like you can get like all the castaways on Sun Speckled, maybe? Because then it makes me wonder, what are we going to do in the game after that, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I can't get blues out right now, but okay. Oh, because the types. That's right. I've got ice. All right, you guys, well... Can I actually go to the other cave before the thing ends? Probably not, because it's counting now, but I'll head over here. That'd be amazing. Are there wild whites and purples? Well, the question's reality. I do not know about the white and purple yet. I have not seen them. I, I, I'm going to say don't think so. Oh, hectic hollows. Someone or something built a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were able to scramble up, but Moss was unable to climb up the wall. I'll have to leave her behind for now. So that dog's name is Moss. You guys. Amazing. Amazing. So, check this out. I think I can actually jump in here. Okay, no, it's almost nighttime. I was like, can I actually go in? But no. Okay, so Moss is the dog's name. The uh, Ouch Credible Hulk. The Incredible Ouch. You know, Blue Ouchy. Its name is Moss. And it looks like Moss, so it kind of works. You can break frozen creatures with Ochi's dash. Yes, you will not get the carcass if you break a. Uh, break them. Uh, Pro Hero says, I went there. I know who the Dandori guy is. When you said, I went there, what are we talking about? You talking about the jar? The, the pot drop nectar. The art of Dondori. That's what I was wondering. Is it is it the other Dondori guy as a crew member? Hmm. Okay. So he's going to be one of our crew. I was wondering if it was like Captain Charlie or something. They're going to make a callback. But hey, look at this. You guys, I can't believe we made it another day in the demo. That is nuts. So there he is. We've rescued Pink leafed do they have leaves going out of their heads there's poisonous oxygen in this planet's atmosphere they shouldn't be able to survive without their helmet but they're all leafed up hmm okay luckily no sparkly on that day good job us sticking it to the game <laughs> hello, hello. well captain we did it we finally found our ranger dingo Bombay. He said, Donde? Can't believe I had to be saved by the newbie. I'm losing my edge. Oh. We're just glad you made it back. Oh, oh uh, not at all, Captain. <laughs> I'm just uh, touched that you care. Oh. That guy should be the Zap Brannigan guy. I'm just uh, touched that you carry. This table does not seem to be structurally sound. It's missing screws. But science guy could stand to worry a little bit more. Um, that reminds me, Captain. Uh, I have some information uh, regarding our pilot. Do uh, you know his whereabouts? What? Or uh, no, no, that's not exactly. So is that guy the pilot? In the pink. She cares about my physical state. That means she cares. <laughs> Man, that guy's got something for uh, Shepard. All right, before you hit the hay, please be sure to review all the details. Is that really necessary? This dingo guy's hilarious, you guys. 
the one with all the leaves. Right now they're sleeping in the back, but their condition remains unchanged. Don't worry, I'll keep a close eye on them. Just make sure we get this castaway examined by the doctor as soon as possible. What if it is the doctor? I'm Dr. Kendo. Alrighty. Here we go. You went to the hub and got a cut scene about how they saw a kidnapped rescue corps. Mellower. MMBY. Is that supposed to be like member by the Oldman? And the dog, Moss? Is it true you encountered our pilot while stranded? Well, uh, yeah. I ran into Bernard at some point. But then he got, like, snatched up by a leaf creature. Leaf what? So, Olamin and Moss, they took the pilot. Okay. Then what? I'm about to tell you! I don't like to be rushed. Man, this guy. We got out of there as fast as we could, or at least that's what I thought. When I turned around, Bernard was gone. Maybe he didn't make it out. Or maybe he got turned into a leafling, too, you guys. So they're called leafling. I, know, I said shepherd. And, uh, sort of... She... She effort. Like shepherd. No Let's see. Ball. What's this leafling doing here, anyway? Why are they unconscious? <laughs> Is this your work comms guy? Oh yeah, pin it on me, Colin. This leafling could potentially be Bernard. Potentially. Bernard and I sort of coined the term leafling. I like it. Leaflings. <laughs> Without a doctor, there's not much else we can do. We need to find Yanni. Stat. I like how she's just saying that like I know who Yanni is. Luckily, I do. Because we've seen the... Okay. So we can't do nothing with this dude just laying here. All right, then. I guess we'll talk to this dude again. He's got an exclamation point, so why not? It's been intense. And I can't just give up completely. You gotta help me bloom a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. Okay. That sounds good. So just straight up bloom flowers. Get your Pikmin up there. You can all relax now. Dingo's back. <laughs> I don't know how the Rescue Corps made it this long without me. Guess I'll find out soon enough. Since the captain's making me rest up a bit before I get back into action. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, she's back. Hey, la, hey, la, my Ochi's back. No, stop it. <laughs> You're going to the cave with the yellows? All right, visit the lab. Kee-hee. <laughs> well, we can now afford some of these things. I say we get the Scorch Guard. Yeah. I say we get that for Ochi. Very good. We're going to get all the stuff. Kobia. There's four onions in this area? He said, wait a minute. In what area? In the whole, like the sun speckled? Because that means maybe the ice? We can get the ice onion. Yeah, he said there's four onions in the demo area. How do, how do we know? What's... That, that sounds vague. <laughs> I need to know more. Uh, let's see. I'd like to train. That's the spirit. Let's get started then. Hmm. We've got two on our pup drive. I might as well just wait and get this one. 
but yeah. This is also a good one, but as long as we got the bones, we'll probably be okay. See, yeah, I'm thinking that that last one is really the best one, to be honest. If we get ice onions, this game will be so easy. It might, it might end up, it might end up with ice. All right. I guess we'll go explore now. Oh my. Yeah, it's like 140. Jeez. All right, Sun Speckled Terrace. Says three out of four onions for you, pro hero. Hmm. They're all gonna cheer me on. I need this in my daily life. When I do tasks I've already done every single day, people still cheer me on. That's great. <laughs> oh my gosh. I stopped being tired. We gotta explore everything. The bad thing is I didn't get a lot of sleep yesterday, so like, going into this day, man. I'm gonna be a dead man. Oh, yeah. All right. But yeah, three out of four. I mean, gotta see where would we get that other onion. So clearly, the option for me is to go to the cave and then the the Dondori. So I guess I'm gonna do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do after that though. You know what I'm saying? So, let's do this. Hopefully, we should probably actually... Let's go to the... Uh, this right here. We're gonna go to the base. Oy. Talking about the shuddering onions that used to make big menorah. No, those are flarlic. Holy, I'm so sorry for yawning, you guys. We gotta... Oh. Wake up. <laughs> I do love the running. This game's running. And they walk like that too. Alright, my friends. So that seems to be the cave. The cave that we need still. Um, I guess we're gonna take some ice and yeah, let's just go ten, 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 and let's do I don't know what the basis of that was. Seemed like the best idea. Got the baseball. Okay. Mm. I'm worried about my ice dying, but I want ice there in case I need them. I don't think blues are going to be needed. <laughs> Guess we'll try that. Let's hope that that works. Hectic Hollows? Anything called Hectic Hollows? It could be scary, you guys. <clears throat> Alright, what are these fools? Are those just mushrooms? Hey, as long as they ain't got sparkling, we good. Okay. So there's actually two Pikmin already on the other side. And that's going to be ice? Yeah. So not white, not purple. Nothing like that. There's some Russian dolls over there. Um, what else we got? Can I survey drone in here? Never thought about that. Survey drone. 
do stuff smartly. Hmm. It's just the first area, so... Maybe nothing really. What's crazy is when I get the full game, I'm gonna have to come through all these caves again <laughs> just to go back and get all the treasure. But hey, that's fine. It's for the demo, it's for science, right? Alright. Here we go. Don't you dare take them fools back. Build it. If you build it, they will come. I'm scared that Sparkly is going to come out of it, but it's not like they're just going to like get the Sparkly in two seconds and be at the ship already. So we're fine. We're fine. Mm hmm. Six. Are we getting that? Are we getting that? Hap uh, is that happening? Oh, okay, there we go. Climbing wall. So Oach won't be able to go up there with us. So let's take this, pluck some of those. Ochi, you better not go dragging those dudes off. I don't think Ochi will go by himself, right? He won't go dragging for those dudes for Sparklium and stuff? Okay. So, I guess we'll take this out and then we'll go help those other dudes. Boom. Get him back. Wait on that for a second. There we go. Bust it open. Don't collect it. Nothing else. Nothing else. <laughs> that was moronic. We good. We good, we good. We're supposed to bloom flowers, so why not? Okay, we need Ochi up here. Yes, he is. So Ochi can come this way. Who else thinks the AJ is better? I don't know the AJ, unfortunately. Is that a Pikmin reference from one of the other games? I just know Pikmin 3 and Pikmin Bloom. It's time. Ochi bashing powers. Continue. They're trying to warn me that I'm leaving treasure behind. I know this man. Hectic Hollows. Okay. Cast away. Cool down. There we go. I guess we'll do this. There we go. Trying to get those guys.
Castaway's all the way up there. I guess we use yellow. Holy, what the? Dude came out of nowhere and just wrecked us. Jeez. Did you guys see that? So anyone playing their game? Oh, these are NPCs. <laughs> get him. Man, get that ass. What a prick. God, do you guys believe that? He completely stormed us. Thank the Lord I didn't lose any ice. We gotta covet these ice Pikmin like they are. Sparkly them. He said, well, I'm a go. All right, pro hero. It was pretty amazing, man. We, we accomplished a lot of things. A lot of things. Absolutely nuts. All right. Can't do that yet. And be careful there. I don't know about this auto aim stuff. I'm not down. Not all the time. Hydro jelly's down. So what is this? Is this that's to get the mallet thing, the ball thing. Yeah, it's like the ball with the cup. Um, okay. So getting that guy down, I guess it is going to be yellows. Oh, had it for a second. I'm at the mercy of the auto aim. Jeez. They can't expect me to do that. Like, is that really what they want? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Get up. I don't understand that. That's so weird. They like expect me to be able to just hit that easy. Oh, rush it. Yeah, that makes sense, Gamer John. Thank you. Oh, uh, you guys. Hmm. Made perfect sense to me, but. There it goes. Gotta give it two rushes. Today's Tom Sawyer he gets by on you. Okay, good job. We did it. Thank you for the tips. My brain. I'm gonna need a lot of those right now. Cause this brain is just a... It's a dead. So Gamer John, thank you for saving us. Checking their ID. Oi! Pro Hero said also he's like a mini boss. It's best to use ice. Who is? So this is cool. So this is the animal enthusiast, Dalmo, home planet Sozor. He loves animals and they love him. A researcher at heart, his passion for other creatures is as genuine as his smile. He's got the beautiful eyelashes. Very beautiful. Was that Blowhog a boss? Blowhog? Natural fall. He appears to be an animal enthusiast. He must have seen the voyage log and came here looking for a new species. Luckily, we found him before he got, well, eaten. How many civilians decided it'd be a good idea to go traipsing off to this planet? Did they think this was some kind of hot new tourist destination or something? Everyone was trying to answer that call, man. Olimar's signal, that call was strong. All right, you guys. So again, we're not going to get this stuff. We are going back to the surface. I think all that's left after that, you guys, is going to be the Dandori battle against probably Oldemar. Oldemim. I mean, it's it's got Oldemar's clothing. 
Okay, pup drive plus one. Okay, sub level. Good to go. So this is the art of Dondori, you guys. Coming up, we're going to be facing a real opponent instead of just me. Ah, uh, no, OG run of the demo would be insane. Well, D questions reality. It's, uh, it has been insane how much we've done. I will say that. It has been very insane. Hmm. The ice are good to have out here, but I also, I don't want them to die. Uh... Okay, so Dundori's over here, it looks like. Maybe, should we use Ochi's... Hmm, command? Go to base, castaways, treasure, onions. That's what we want. We want onions and flarlic. So where's the scent, Och? No. It's not picking up on anything, you guys. That's not good. That means probably nothing else. We might have stretched the demo thin after we get this point. The only positive of that, and I don't want to end, I'm just saying, is it might mean that I do have to finally go to sleep after, uh... I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens after Dan Dory. Dandori. That's how it should be said, I guess, if you're going to be not a heathen. All right. Let's move the base here. Move base. Okay. Ochi's going to be up there. I mean, uh, hold him in. That's what we seem to be calling him, I guess. El Molimar. Elmo Olimar. Hold him away. So yeah, once again, I just, I have to thank everybody. It's been so awesome having you here, man. All right. So, doesn't look like, I think we already were up here trying to find stuff. But yeah, you have to do this. I mean, I guess for now, we could just knock this down, but we won't get the actual pumpkin. Might as well. We won't go get it yet. Okay, folks. This is it. Rescue the kidnapped castaway. So, this is gonna take... Ugh, I'm gonna take this seriously. <laughs> What's going on here? We already know that they don't follow. Look at my face over there, my captain, my, my explorer. He's like, oh? Okay. No worries, Ochi, I would die for you. This, this is all we need. Trial run is actually the name of the stage. So it's not just like this is a trial run. This is like actually called trial run. The level. Oh, wow. okay. What is this place? I guess we can figure that out later. For now, let's focus on finding that castaway. But then... Look at this. I see them! How could you? Did you guys see that? Those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet. But if they grow the leaves... They will thrive. You, skin having one. <laughs> How dare you, skin having one. Do you believe you do not need the leaves? I will test your ability to see if this is true. Okay. You Elmo looking. I invite you to face me and then Dolly battle. I've provided the Pikmin you will need to support you. The challenge is I listen closely. 
find objects, transport them back to your base within the time limit to win, collect the highest total combined weight. I love how he's like, I challenge you, but I'm going to tell you the rules. You know, he could just not tell us and then we'd lose, right? If this was the world. If you wish to retrieve your castaway, prove that your Dondori abilities are superior to mine. Now the Dondori battle begins! Man, I'm gonna go crazy on this dude. I'm gonna go ham. Puff and puff and go ham on this fool. Hey, you're gonna go all out. Screw you. I think we should go sabotage him, like, somewhat early on. What is this guy pausing for? Okay, we good. Look at all those Pikmin! Yeah, we G units, man. Hey, how dare you guys take that away? Those are ours. Okay. Oh, dude, I'm beating up on Moss. No! I meant to do this. There we go. I need to get off of him so I can charge. There you go. No, get away, boss. Screw you, that's my orange. I'm the one digging it up. Man, this guy came to play for real. Dude, my Ochi's just whooping up on Moss. Hey, Ochi, let's not be crazy now. I need you. Oh no, is Moss dead? Yeah, I killed it. Alright. I'm not even, I can't even see what they're doing over there because I'm just paying attention to my ish. So you guys get to actually look at what they're doing on their side of the screen. Screw you, Pink Pikmin. Get the hell out of here. Ow, how dare you! Get off, Ouch! How can I get them off? There. Jeez, man. Can I blow through those Pikmin with a charge? Boom! Do you see that? I'm ruthless. Okay. Let's try to get that out of here and then we'll charge. Two minutes left. Boom. We don't want to we want to make sure we're not missing out on so much crap. Shake off, shake off, shake off, shake off. Get off me. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> nice. I done sent my dog at him. Uh, I should dive off. Okay. Man, he backed off too. That was how to do it, man. He said, how are you playing Dondori? There's two Dondori, like, caves or whatever. It's part of the demo. Like, it's... They make it really obvious when you get there. So you'll see it. It's like part of the story, basically of the demo. Okay, it's going pretty well. Good, good. That's what we like to hear. Man, I can't believe we got more than that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're taking all his stuff, man. Give me that. Going to run that. Run, tell that. Man, I'm gangster in these things, man. I don't like having those pink ones down back by my base, though. That's the only bad thing about stealing them off of him. He said, well, I gotta replay the demo, I guess. Dude, I've done, like, every possible thing you could probably do in the demo, I feel like. I've gotten blue. I got the blue onion. I got the yellow onion. Um, we've got so much of the treasure, but we're leaving it at basically, what are we at right now? 1,400 approximately. Like, we're so close to 15. And I don't want to get it. I just keep trying to get every single thing I possibly can. Screw you, Moss! Back off. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is Dan Dory, son! Get that trash out of here! Man! We won in a landslide. Olimar, Pikmin guy, the leafling Olimar. Shrekt. Right. The strength of your Dandori power is magnificent. I will return this one to you. I like that, like, he really doesn't have to. It's just gentleman's agreement, I guess. Oh. I just
just left. Who in space and time was that? That's Olimar. Like, he's even saying Moss. Yeah, no. It's just Olimar's been infected, you guys. He's been infected. Man. That was fun. It's, like, interesting. Because that was my first down Dory against an opponent, I, I'm, I'm fine with it, but... I think as Don Dory goes on, they do need to make it, like, harder, you know? Like, it seemed kind of easy to win, to be honest. Now, if you were playing a real person, yeah, I'd probably get nuts. <laughs> they really are growing leaves out of their head. They seem to be suffering from the same condition as that leafy individual you just challenged. Transport them back to the SS Beagle right away. Okay. I could do that. There they are. So, my fellow viewers, this has been so amazing. The things we accomplished, it was, it was just nuts. The question that I have is now, can I accomplish anything else? Because I'm going to think that the answer is no there. That's what I think, unfortunately. But we're still going to let this day go by because we want to see what happens with these leafy castaways. I feel if we get the sparkly and it's going to end the demo and we may not see what happens with this person. Error. Unable to read. And it keeps saying their home planet is PNF 404, man. So I'm guessing once we uncover them, could we actually see, you know, if it's the real person speedrun collecting the rest of the treasures? That game of John, I feel like I have to do that on the next day, you know. You know what I'm saying? But that's the problem is it's going to only let me get to 1500. And right now I'm at 1442. So it's going to happen very fast. Um, this was where we got the yellow onion. For everybody who's wondering, that is right here on this map. Kind of in the southwestern quadrant. Um, yeah, like seriously, there's not an enemy on the map, there's just all this treasure. I mean, I guess these are enemies. So suppose we could go take out some enemies. That's about it. Ah, it's the butterfly things. What do they call them in this universe? Take it! We can't get the butterflies, but we could get the raw material. Raw materials. There. No, you... <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's all. Alright, the demo doesn't end until the day you get the 15 is over. You're right. The one thing is, I'm sticking to this. I, I, if we, if it, it, it basically I want to end this day and then we'll do it on the next day. We are, you know, quite literally stretching this demo as thin as I can. I'm being somewhat reasonable, but mostly unreasonable, I'm sure. I just, we want to make sure that all this stuff, let's see, is there, so all the other enemies are in this blue onion area where we got the blue onion sure. I mean yeah it doesn't look like there's like things to do so I may have to just get the treasure or just like actually literally waste away the day because uh, right now I'm trying to think what am I actually doing left we could just get Pikmin out of the pellet posies we could just straight up stockpile for when we actually have the real game you know what I'm saying Because, yes, you're right. The demo would not end until the day actually ends. I just want it to be able to play, not the cinematic, but the, the event of, of getting this new dude with the leaves and stuff. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just stockpile up. Let's see. Does this actually get me sparklium? One butterfly shouldn't do it. 
Okay, yeah, so no, that did not get sparkly. So we could actually probably carry enemy corpses, I'm guessing. See, I'm scared we get like a big enemy like this and it, and it does it. It's a risk, but it's a risk I'll take. <clears throat> so we're going to be yellow heavy right now. Put the ice back. If we could get ice, I would, but we cannot. So we'll get some of these. Oh, I think there was actually raw material that we should have gotten here. Let's do... Where's the water at? Yes, yeah, that way. Here. Check this out. So if we go, and then we disband. Then we can go in here, and we can collect. We are doing it. We are scratching the surface of every single surface, basically. We are scratching every single surface, if that makes sense. Is this something? No. Um, raw materials. We done got them. We honestly do not need reds right now. We need other colors for right now, even though I love my red picking. I do. Eh. Let's go. Alright. See, so you didn't get to the northwestern part of the map where there are any wild blues or all? Yeah, so the blues are completely with the onion. I have not seen wild blues anywhere. Um, so yeah, the blues, it's all with the onion right here. This northwestern part we can walk to if you want to see it. Um, just because we probably are going to be killing time here. Uh, so if there is any viewer kind of request, especially since stream may be ending if, you know, the demo ends, like, after this part. We'll see. I, I, I'm not going to end until it's literally time, like, if, if, we, if we just literally can't find anything else. Um, and then the yellow... You know, that, that onion was nearby here. It was in this little section. So, you know, you got the blue onion up here, and you got the yellow one in here. And so the thing was that you did have to get the yellow Pikmin wild out of the cave first, take out the electric wall that was here, and then bring, bring yourself up here after that was done. The blues are going to need the ice. And that was crazy. I can explain that if anybody wants the re-explanation, but I think I'm going to make that a video. Problem is, I may not get to that tomorrow. Somebody else is probably going to make that a video. Some other creator. Um, so, yeah. I don't... I just don't know. But, man, was this fun, dude. It was crazy, you guys. I cannot believe we could do that much. Seriously, I stretched this to six days right now. That is bonkers. You got the yellow one? Okay. You missed the blue one. You saw it sitting there as you did. Yeah, so... And I could see that. I could see a lot of people seeing how high up the blue was and be like, eh, we can't get that during the demo, too. You know, like, I could see a lot of people thinking that way. And so... Ultimately, it was like you had to get the wild... You had to go to two different caves, I think, because you don't get enough ice, I believe, if you just go to the first cave that has the ice in it. And so then you need to go to another one and get more ice, because you don't have, like, an ice onion, you know? We can't just get, propagate ice, right? So that was a thing. So you had to get 30. You had to get 30 ice. The problem was also that you needed the flarlic bulb. So we had to get the flarlic first with yellows. So the fly lick again was up here. You had to throw yellows because they were high enough to get it up there. Then you had to put your yellows back in the ship. And the fly lick, of course, allowed us to then have 40 Pikmin. So we had 10 yellows and we had 30 ice. And so we used the ice to freeze this, you know, right there. 
we had to build this wall that's the climbing wall and Ochi gets stuck down there. So then when you're up here, you're going to have 10 Pikmin with you that are not ice. You know, I think I, I brought yellow. I don't know if that's required. I'd just bring yellow to be safe. Um, and then while it's down here, the ice are going to be stuck in this frozen part. And so Ochi can go whistle some ice out of there, jump on this smaller platform where the vent is, and then throw the ice up here to get the onion because you're going to need 20 carrying you're going to need more carrying capacity than you have right you only have 10 to get it and so that's why they had to do that then when they bring it down here they can't get through because it's water right so you had to use ochi you had to whistle them off and get the ice back into the water and use ochi to use the dragging power over the icy you know thing so d question says how many flarlicks are there i've only seen two in the demo you know right now but people are saying we can somebody else said we can get 150 i don't know how they confirm that or whatever so take that with a grain of salt but somebody said we could have 150 pikmin which would then mean that there's plenty of flarlick i love the name flarlick here i'm actually gonna move the base move it so we'll just farm up some blues right now um and answer any last questions We'll see what happens at the end of this day, and that's probably going to be where we need to end it on the next day. We'll get the treasure. We'll get it then. Um, so, yeah, man, you guys, y'all have been so epic. Thank you so much. Feel free to join the Discord if you want to keep up with me. Um, I am going to be streaming the game, just kind of the main game when that's out. Obviously, we're going to have a little bit of a gap of course, in between, basically where we're thinking, like, yeah, there's probably not going to be too much new information, and we're just waiting for Pikmin 4 to come out, so yeah, there might be, like, a small gap there in direct Pikmin 4 content, but I'm going to do as much as I can to get some videos out there of anything that we can kind of just analyze or think about. Anything that would hopefully be useful to you guys. Um, so trying to think if there's any other pieces of business we are definitely racking up the blues though right now what do we got here so we got 23 and that should be 28 right did it not let us collect more no it did we're doing good that would have been whack but yes, an overview trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the overview trailer just before this. That was the one that said, like, hey, the demo's out now. And everybody's like, wait, what? Okay, it is out now? <laughs> uh, maybe a TOT gate. Yeah, D questions reality. I wouldn't be getting into that, but I'm someone out there might. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty, like, what's the word? Spoiler resistant. Like, I'm not too upset, you know, by certain spoilery things. Uh, but that I would definitely keep secret from me. I would not, you know, spoil myself on it. So let's go ahead. We'll force end the day here. Again, we'll see what happens. And then... So how do we force end it, isn't it? This end day. End. This game is beautiful. It's just beautimous. I'm doing all sorts of weird movements right now because I am an old dude and my body has just been sitting in this chair for five hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> Oi. I'm trying to pop my back. I feel like it needs a crack can't wait for new players to experience the man at legs <laughs> no not like this of course game of john it probably get some good reactions someone probably will like streamers react to man at legs <laughs> all right so there's our leafling and our of course our new castaway i guess they're both castaways technically but all right, let's see if it plays anything significant here. 
No matter how much I look at them, I'm still confounded. These treasures are mysterious things. Well, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Uh, did the purple and the spicy spray spam. So yeah, I didn't play Pikmin 2, so this is this is all good information. I need to know all the stuff about Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 1. I played Pikmin 3, and I always mention that I play Pikmin Bloom. Um, for what that's worth. Doesn't have too much main line, I guess, strategy to it. But alright, you guys. So it does look like nothing really significant came out of that, which is fine. I'd rather just kind of have done it that way. Let's see, let's go talk to Dalmo. Dalmo with the beautiful eyelashes. My name is Dalmo. The moment I heard about the creatures of this planet, I knew I had to come learn more about them. I dream of compiling everything we learn about the ecology of each fierce little darling here into some kind of field guide. View the Piccolopedia, you guys. It's almost embarrassing that I came here to learn about them and haven't laid eyes on a single one. Wait, you must encounter all kinds of creatures on your explorations. Please, tell me everything about them. Naturally, I'll prepare a token of my gratitude. Anything to learn about more of these sweet, feral muffins. Someone who says the word sweet, feral muffins probably doesn't sound like, Hey, I sound like this. They're probably like, I want to learn more about these sweet, feral muffins. The voices that I do are based on the sounds that they make. You know how Shepard's like, oh, all right. Uh, let's see. Wait, where's your character from? Game of John said, me? Are they random? Um, where were they from? They were from Carta. Carta. Right? Okay. So, wow, the Pikmin go in the Piclopedia. I know Piclopedia wasn't that in Pikmin 2 as well. Uh, the Tusked Blowhog. There you go. Poor Quilly. Poor Killion. Poor Quillion. See, is that from one of the previous Pikmin games? Because I, I did not. So this, you can actually learn to battle them too, I think. Let's see. Oh, I can zap it? Damn. Okay, then. So let's just go ahead and spoil all the items we're going to get. Okay. <laughs> did you guys see that? All right, then. So that's the items we can get, you guys. Look at this. It's just standing there like, uh, what do I do? Sheesh. That's crazy. Game of John said, no, they're new. All right, so these things are new. These things are new. Wow. Okay, well, poor Quilliad. Oh, my gosh. The pellet posies. There's the flower. Like... Honey wisp. I'm just getting rid of all the thing that says new on them. The wall pole. But yeah, that's crazy because you can actually not only fight them or whatever, like each of these enemies, just for practice and stuff, but you can just throw items on them. Spectralid, that was the name of the butterfly. It's like, what do they call these in this game? You're just from a place that starts with an R, really? Wow, that's awesome. So they have like just random planets for them. That's amazing. Dalmo said, how could you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to go finish it off. This dingo wants to say something. Let's we'll see what you're made of, eh? Check out every inch of this planet till you've explored each area 100%. So Dingo's looking. He's the completionist. We gotta love our little shark fins on the back of our uh, uniform. All right. No more delays. Huh? Well, we do want to visit the lab. <laughs> Might look at Ochi's training, too. Uh, guess we'll get Ochi's thermal guard. Sweet. Now my Ochi 
is straight up resistant. It's gonna resist everything. Make sure you tackle a variety of training types, okay? Yes, I'd like to train. So we've got four now. So I think I'm gonna do this. I really wanted this to be available like from the start. It's like essentially the go here in Pikmin 3. Now we do have a certain go here command kind of aura about us already, but it's not the exact same. So we maxed that out. We still got a pup drive for something after this. And remember, no slacking. But that's a great Pokemon. All right, if you're not sure what you need to do, blah, 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 let's do it. Which area would I like to explore? Well, this is it. All right, y'all. If you've never completed the demo yourself, you're about to see what happens when we do it. Oy. You can tell with how much I'm yawning that this is... Need sleep. So it is good. I got onions four out of four. What are my four onions? I don't have four. I've got red, I've got blue, I've got yellow. <laughs> what was the fourth one? Uh, well, they seem to believe that I got four. Because I got two Flarlicks, so it's not like I had... That would be five. All right, it looks like D questions reality is going to sleep now, you guys. So let's go ahead and pull that boss in, and we'll see what happens. Oops. Guess I didn't pull out all 40, but that's fine. So let's do this. There you go. Let's have Ochi carry that thing. Man, Ochi makes it go so much faster. It's nuts. Those little holes reset every day, by the way. Said the two flarlicks, the red doesn't count. Jesse Gordon said, yo, what did I miss? And what's going on? A little, little Mario. How you been? Uh... What did you miss? Well, we're about to finish the game. We did, you know, all the stuff. I, I'm pretty sure that this is everything we could possibly do. Now, maybe there was something along the way that somehow I didn't do it. But, you know, I got the blue onion. I got the yellow onion. We have the red to start off with. We got the two Florlicks. We did, we did two Dandoris. We did the test one that's like the... Uh, the one where the, the, that you face no opponent, right? And then we did the trial run. So, we've been doing it, man. I'm gonna go over here, actually. A little Mario, I'm not sure if I have a follow age command, man. I think you need a bot for that. I don't have any of the bots active. Um, let's get the little peanut. Thanks. That was a waste of throws. Um, and then I guess we'll do this. If we have enough. Dang it. That's how much sleep I need. I'm, I'm sitting here doing stupid stuff. Yeah, we needed yellows. Cool, man. Let's go back. Thanks, jeez. All right. So there it is. That is going to be 1,500 plus. Jesse says, sweet. Whoa. You did it. Thanks. Okay. So that's cool. Maybe I can get more sparklium than that. Like it just, now we can go kind of like over it until this day ends. Man, I should have wasted no time. I should have sp speed runned. Speed runned? Sped run. All right. 
so we should actually be a little strategic with where we land our base then too. All right, so my yellows right now are all doing stuff right. Let's take out a few more. We're gonna need plenty of them. Yep, yep. More yellow, more. More. Okay. So whether we could keep going or not, I'm gonna try to at least get this dragon fruit off. Ouchie. Okay, we did it. You can't wait for next month, man. Yeah, it's going to be great game of John. It is going to be good, man. We will be here on launch for this. We will totally be streaming it, probably taking it somewhat slow. I'm, I'm not looking to speed run through Pikmin 4 by any means. I'm looking to take it slow. All my friends are heathens. Take it slow. Here we go. Let's get Ochi to carry this back with him. You got it, son. Can anybody else grab it too? Yeah, they can. We ain't maxed out yet, boys. I guess it can go up to 40. Right, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See all those blues that fell off? Okay, 40. Very nice. So, yeah, we can totally get more treasure, you guys. So... I probably should be a lot more efficient than knowing that. Um, so we can do a whole bunch of, like, commands and stuff now with Ochi's new power. Let's see. Command. Um. Wow, you can actually sniff out the leaflings. That's crazy. Kobe said, Ochi's a beast. I have him so he can carry 50. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Those are the two best things. I just I wanted this command, you know, the command power or whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought Ochi could, maybe I have to switch to Ochi, right? And then I have to go here as Ochi, right? And that's how you can, like, basically do, like, in Pikmin 3 where you could go here. So we could have Ochi go there, and then we could switch like that. And we can go handle something else. Because, yes, you are right, Kobe. Thank you for being here. Ochi is grand old beast. And so since Ochi's going to be that way, we probably want to move here, like, to land. So this will be the strat. Let's do this, and we'll try to collect anything we can. There's that up there. We can start that, the digging process going. Okay, thanks. No, you... God, I hate this auto-aim, man. Sometimes it's okay, but stuff like that, I'm just like, ugh. Okay, so we've moved base. Thanks. Let's do that. Let's see. So Ochi's going to get that treasure, so we want to go here. So let's switch to Och. Cancel. Can he carry this whole thing? I think that's going to need more Pikmin, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, good news is, Ochi can command his own squad, too, a little bit. But we are going to need me. Okay. Let's see. Let's, uh... There you go. Oops. There's some pigment for you. And so, what was I looking at? I was looking at some treasure over here somewhere. These treasures, okay. Switch. Okay. Okay, let's go. And while this is happening, let's do go here. Uh, that. 
This is real Pikmin strats, right, you guys? This is why we speed run all the treasures. What if we could finish the whole thing? That would be crazy. We'd have to go in the caves, though. I do need to go back in the caves. Huh. Didn't even think about it. Yep. Gonna need to do the caves. Okay. But I'm at least getting all this land treasure right here, so... That might be the last one, is that big ass pumpkin. David S. Pumpkins. So yeah, man, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll try to go to some caves. <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. Can we just all charge it? Will that? No, it won't. Okay. I wonder if Ochi could just send all the Pikmin at it. Did I not bring enough? Okay. Yeah, I didn't bring enough. Uh, switch. We'll just walk up there. Let's first grab this guy. There we go. Uh, I'm sitting there like, yeah, this is the pro strats, and then I didn't bring enough Pikmin. So what would actually be smarter is to send a go here, pull Ochi off that task. Switch. And then Ochi can go do something else. Where should Ochi go? In fact, there may not really be anything else other than the cave, so... I'm sitting here trying to be all in my, what is it, 3 a.m., close to 3 a.m. state. Ochi can drag that back. Should have had him drag back a bull board. We may want him up here just for the sheer power of, and speed of carrying this thing. My math. My math is shitey. Okay. Should have just charged. I'm being, see, I'm, uh, I'm sleep, uh, sleep deprived. So I'm making dumb decisions. Alright. Yeah, the caves don't harm the time, so you're right, Game of John, we just gotta jump. The problem will be trying to identify which caves I've, like, done and not done. <laughs> That's gonna be the main thing. But it'll be okay. Cool, we got that. Okay, so cave. Let's go here. Oh, they're gonna be... They're gonna have that flag on them. Okay. That helps. Man. Good. That is gonna help. Enter. I guess I'll try sub level one. I don't remember what was on it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take out some icy boys. I feel like you need a lot of them. We don't really wanna lose them. At least at this point, they're not required to get us, like, a new onion or something, so... But still, I don't want to lose them. <laughs> Please, no. <clears throat> we speed running, boys. Let's see. Uh, okay, so there's treasure there. This is the good stuff, y'all. Watch that thing land on us. There it goes. What's up, hoes? Alright, Game of John's gonna head off, you guys. Said, have fun with the cave grind. It's gonna be good. Thank you. It's gonna be good. Pop. Send Ochi at it. <laughs> Ochi, are you doing nothing? Man, I sent Ochi at it. Man, 2,000 Sparky Liam collected. Can you believe it? It's a whole lot of Sparky. We need even more, so don't let up. Okay, that I think will be the last treasures from here.
good stuff. Very good. Uh, let's go this way and grab that guy. There it is. Nice. So then we go up here, right? And I can't. Awesome. Next sub level. Crackling Cauldron. Okay, so this one's 75%. Let's just get this for the balloon. Or not. That's the spray. Um, mm -hmm. We got it. Oh, she can't do this one, can he? Yeah, he can. Maybe. Okay. Okay. We got it. Nothing else, probably. So we can get the carcass. Maybe pluck some yellow. Holy! Get it! It's like the thing that gets you the thing and stuff. Okay. Nice. Good discovery. Worth it. This was good. This was good for us to leave it, I think, to a whole day to finish this up. I remember, what was that, Gamer John, were you telling me? If you're still here. Uh, so, yeah, it was good that we kind of left an entire day. We can get to every cave, maybe try to 100% this. That would be nuts to actually have 100% the whole thing <laughs> in the, just the demo. Yes, <clears throat> It's okay that no one's rescued. I like that dusty bed. Illumination goo. Yeah, what is that deceptive snack? Yep, it's a macaron. Investigation complete. Got our flag there. This is probably not too important because we're just going to go back into another cave. Explored 75% of the area, you guys. Crazy, crazy cool. So we got two more caves. I cannot believe it. How cool is this? Hundo percentage. Hundo percentage. Okay. This one looks like it has a lot. Which one was this again? We're going to need yellow. It's pretty much always the case. So, pretty much yellow and red, probably. Let's do... Like that.
Industrial Maze. Yeah, the tech deck. That one's awesome. I made my own little tech deck, actually, for Splatoon. I made a little Splatoon tech deck. Okay, let's get on OG and charge that. You think something bad would happen if you tried to charge off the cliff? That would be nuts. Pikmin are gonna have some troubles with that one, so that's why we're here. Nice. And the tech deck. Isn't that awesome, Jesse? Sheesh. There we go. Okay, are they going to need a... Yeah, they're going to need a button push. Ugh. And they're going to need another one. Once they get down there. Yeah, tech decks are fridge. I actually used to skate, like a skateboard. Um, guess I would have been eighth grade into getting about my sophomore year in high school, approximately. And I did have some of the tech deck. It, my friend had, like, he, like, collected them, but I had one. And then, like I say, I've made one. Custom one. Okay. So we're going there. We got this ish. <laughs> That's how sleep deprived I am. I'm trying to jump down it instead of just press A to actually enter and go down. My brain. It's mush. Oh. Guess we'll go. Hmm, yeah, we'll just go that way. Rubber ducky. Very nice. We actually need to go around. Well, there is a train over there, but I don't think we need to go that way. Yeah, we can just get the train. There you go. Triple timed it. Now we'll collect this. Sweetness. That's gonna work. No, oh, chief. Let Ochi in, you guys. There he goes. <laughs> See, look how much faster it goes with Ochi. Man. Beautimus. Complete. One more cave left. Ladies and gentlemen, shouldn't they do something special if I 100% the demo? You know? Like it just ends for anybody else, but if you hundo it, they're like, eh, you've unlocked the whole game. Just kidding. Wouldn't be like that, but...
<laughs> Star shaped metal. Rest tinker with the appraisal AI. Now you'll be able to see when you've collected all the treasures in a series. Mm-hmm. Detective's truth seeker. Stately rubber cutie. I think that's funny. Personal injury plank. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I didn't have any t bad injuries as when I skated. I, uh, the only one thing I did, and it was actually from being stupid up here rather than just something else, but I was listening to music with headphones in a CD player, you guys. That's how old this ish was. But, um,. And there was a part of the sidewalk that was way raised up, but it was at night, and I was listening to this. I just couldn't see or hear, like, anything that I was doing. I was just, I mean, I could see. I'm just saying I couldn't see that the sidewalk had different rays. So, basically, the board stopped. I went forward, and I fucked my CD player up in my pockets and everything. All right, let's see. Let's go over here. It's the last cave. I can't believe it. I'm feeling it though. Oi. This is six hours, 18 minutes of this demo. Wow. Oops. I didn't look at what I needed, but hopefully this is all right. Oh, you can tell. Man, when I, on launch day of this game, I need to make sure I'm well rested, well fed. <laughs> Just order food in, or pre-make food. Can't have none of this. None of this foolishness, all right. See, that'll be the question, is if we need yellow Pikmin, can we get them? Yeah, no. Seems like we can get that. Cool, man. Creepy ass Russian dolls. There we go. What's this? What's this? <laughs> Problem is, I like to ride Ochi around so much that. To actually do the Pikmin charge, you have to be off of Ochi. So, I keep, like, you know, not being able to charge for efficiency. Gotta not make it a habit to ride on his back. Yep. Thought I had enough Pikmin to do this, but I done left it minus two, like an idiot. It's because those two got stuck. That's what happened. I had the full amount, just like an idiot. So one thing I'm going to do, I don't know, I, I presume I get to take them with me or like stockpile them. I am going to ride up here and we're going to pluck those ice Pikmin because no onion. So we got to stockpile them maybe. That's what I hope.
Nice. Sub level two. Daddy. This place looks just how we left it. Well, go figure. Peter. So, I'm probably gonna need yellow here. And I don't have them. Nice. Pikmin gods are with us today. Oops. So that ball that we got earlier, you guys, it's the Kendama. It goes to this. We're getting the complete set. How wonderful. That might be a hundred percent. Not seeing nothing here. It's a hundred percent in here. That might be hundred percent on the game. I'm still in awe that it let us go this far. Aspiration ritual pull that is hilarious. Uh, yep, investigation complete. Here with my no sleep self, trying to keep the enthusiasm. Oh man. <clears throat> Perfect. So yeah, it says explored 100% of the cave. I'm seeing 99% on Sun Speckled Terrace. So we have to see what are we actually missing. And we have to figure that out because I don't want to miss nothing. I guess we should just beat up these enemies. Maybe that's what it wants. And then I think that's a hundo. Let's get the blue. Carrying the red seed. See these fools underwater. Nice. It's the last one in here. Oh yeah, there's the blowhog up there. Man, to 100% this, we're gonna need the ice back out. It's gonna have to be ice and fire, I guess. So there's a big blowhog up there, fiery blowhog. Let's land back over here. Day's getting close. This is tough. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, ice. That's all we need, man. We didn't have enough. Okay. I should. I should never do this on zero sleep. But that's all we got. Come on. 
We gotta hurry. Rush the waters. Nice. Okay, ouch. You. Thank you. No. Oh, we have to. We have to climb up. Alright. Sup, Will Hog. Boom. There we go. I think that's what takes the 100%. And if not, then I did waste time doing that. And I don't know what the 100% would be after that. Sun Speckled Terror is 99. Trying to see if there's anything, anything left on the map. What could it possibly be, you guys? Oh, is it these, uh, there's probably carcass right there. Okay, we gotta be, uh, nope, oh. Ochi, you go here. I think there's some enemy carcass. Karkai. Alright, alright, alright. These ice. That one red pickman's gonna die. I'm sorry. I have to. I left it up there. those little guys and then this big dude come on let's do that switch oh my god we're so gonna be like oh my gosh okay is that the closest oh god come on let's oh cheap rush it rush we're gonna lose a bunch of Pikmin and maybe not 100% this. Oh my god. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Hurry, 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 hurry. I think we did it. <laughs> that might have been the most clutch 100% ever. It looked like it made it. My heart right now. <laughs> my heart is just. <laughs> Wow, you guys. That might have been the most clutch hundo in the entire world. <laughs> what a moron I am. It's just my sleep depravity made me make bad decisions. If you want to be all uh, efficient, like. Man. Crazy. Beautifulness. Imagination. Man, can you guys believe it? Three, four, one, one. That's nice. If we're gonna restore the SS Shepherd's radar and expand our search area, we need you to go out and gather more sparklium. But look at that. This will expand our range and help us pick up the distant SOS signals. Let's give it for uh, give it a spin. Beautiful. Almost done. Hope this gets us closer to finding our missing officers. Make a record of that area right away, Colin. Colin this, Colin that. Wow. 
We did all of that. <laughs> we were just saving it all. Great adventure series complete! Mm-hmm. I'm nervous, man. 99%, I think we left one more. No. Oh my god. I think there was just one. It might have been the big bull barb. It might have been one of those little, <laughs> tiny, die. <laughs> Why do we fight? Why does everything have to be a competition? What? Just strikes me as sad. We should be friends, not foes. <laughs> it's an entirely different situation. So fighting with other people like us, bad. Fighting creatures, good. Wow, you guys. Can you believe it? I think we hit 99% and not a hundo. Completed the demo. Can import completed save data into the full version of the game. But isn't that going to suck to just have 1%? You know what I mean? All right, let me make sure that I do get this in. Pikmin Bloom, send confirmation that you completed this demo now. Mm, right there. Okay, send. Confirmation completed. Just scan the QR code. So, I should have done that right now. Pikmin Bloom. Yep. Learn how to redeem. It's to get an Ochi costume. An Ochi Rider costume. Open that page. Okay, and select redeem. I did that. Sign in. Gather the sign in. Amazing. Can you believe it? So does anybody have any questions before we head out? Again, it was just an absolute pleasure to have everybody. Um, seriously, that was like seven hours, almost seven hours. Can you believe it? Jeez. I'm doing the little capture thing where you have to verify all the bicycles and stuff. Oh my gosh, I have to verify my identity and all this stuff. You guys, amazing though. Incredible. So I'm just going to kind of hang here for a hot second if anybody needs anything while well, obviously I do this too. Uh, okay. Verification. Anybody? Otherwise, please have a wonderful night. I'm presuming that we're not going to see anything else, but I'm sticking with it. Redeem. Redeem. Got it. So that should be hitting my Pikmin Bloom. Yep, I got a reward code. Awesome. You reach the end of this demo, you can enjoy the rest of the adventure in the full version. So awesome, man. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Mysterious caves. Find yourself in a toy box? That's going to be interesting. Harsh environments. Yeah, there's the frosty bulborbs. Damn, look at that. Go on dangerous night expeditions. But yeah, you see, they don't have any other Pikmin at night. I think it's just glow Pikmin. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jesse's like, you did, finally. I did it all. And Addisic is up in here just as we finish it off at 3.10 a.m. This time, complete, uh, compete. Yeah, I'm so sleep deprived, it's insane. My God, that was so much fun, you guys. Crazy. 
holy hell. Can the demo do this? Can it do bad? Okay, yeah. So, no, we can't just do Dondori battles just because. I can't believe it. Basically, 100%, we were missing one piece of corpse that was probably right by the, the ship. I cannot believe it. We were robbed. I'm calling it 100%. Okay. But yes, please, if you're not subscribed, I do appreciate it. Only if you're going to watch the content. I obviously don't subscribe just to do it or whatever. It's only if you want to hang around here. I love you all. Please join the Discord if you want to keep up with me. And so much love. Peace.